team of Sahara Seven and La Rosa Negra. I'm gonna tell you right now, I like I like two girls that wear big hoop earrings and that likes to fight and that has tag team gold. So I I'm a little bit biased, but when I look over there, I say La Rosa Negra and I see Carly Shay. Oh my gosh, oh that's team wagon right there, huh? I will be canceled by the end of this night. I am sorry. I'm not sorry. We have Casey Dillon as referee for this tag team contest to start things off here. We want to thank WrestleCade for having Ladies Night Out here for the first time ever. Full show of Ladies Night Out 11. It's hard to believe it's already been four years since the start of Ladies Night Out. Of course, Title Match Network has been working with WrestleCade since its inception in 2012. We want to thank them for having us here. It was at the last WrestleCade event where Ladies Night Out first appeared in a showcase of champions, a fatal four-way for the Ladies Night Out title. But here we go, a full night of women's action, only the best here on Title Match Network. How about that lockup and then that side headlock takeover? Man, she is quick-witted. Robin and Charlotte, a very formidable team. Oh, but then La Rosa Negra, you won't, don't want to count her out. Nice set headlock takedown. Oh, she's a veteran of the game. You're not going to count her out. She has traveled up and down this world. She's a world-class athlete. There's no doubt about that. Same can be said about Sahara Seven and the Renegade Twins. We want to thank all of you for joining us live on Title Match Network. The very best in women's wrestling is available here on the Title Match Network. Please follow us on all social media using hashtag WrestleCade, hashtag Title Match Network. And there's a big cutoff from La Buzadora, the abuser, earning that nickname. Right there. Single arm, single arm lap, flapjack from uh, La Rosa Negra, former Mission Pro Women's Champion. Woo, child. <laughs> Big oh, child. Oh, kick to the mush right there. <laughs> Ladies are showcasing there. I mean, okay. Uh, We're talking about a showcase. Here's a cover here. Ooh. Draping that leg right over the throat. She better stay on her. She can get a quick tag right there. She might just keep it where she is. It's the Renegade there. Twins. We've only been teaming for a few years now, but as Hands twin the sisters, they've got that experience, Mike. She's got the head twisted all in that throw. That's not good now her sister does. Now come on, Charlotte, using the tag rope almost to choke out La Rosa Negra in the corner here. You know, it ain't cheating if you don't get caught, so that's pretty cool. I'm and there's a tag, Charlotte in. It's be hard to keep track of these two. They look so much alike. Maybe we'll see some twin magic. Twin magic indeed. They've oh. already been, oh! The Rosa Negra. She's just a one man, okay. woman wrecking crew here. Here's a cover and got a one count. Oh, she's not playing. They tried a double team move right there on her. and She actually had that well scouted. Again, the experience coming in the factor right there. And there you see Sahara Seven tagging in. Oh, you got this beautiful Nubian Egyptian goddess, Sahara Seven. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, knee lift up. Big hair takedown. The Cleopatra of the Sahara Desert cover. Got a two count. Now, I will say that uh, me and Sahara Seven, we're a little on again, off again. You know, we can't, you know, I don't just call it like I see it, but you know, we off right now. But she, again, she is a world-class athlete. You know, she's done tours in Japan. She's been up and down this world. Woo! Well, she's definitely on her game here, really taking it to the Renegade Twins. I mean, they've been, they haven't had much of a showing so far, Mike. I mean, they came in, Big dripped with gold, but they might be getting a cover here. Two count. Yeah, La Rosa and Sahara Seven actually looking more like the experienced team. Like, they should have been dripping gold. I mean, Mike, you know from experience the differences between tag team and singles wrestling competition. Oh, yeah. And which, are you a little surprised here as uh, two sisters who know each other so well are having a go against uh, two women like Sahara Seven and La Rosa Negra? Not to take anything away from those two women, but as you mentioned, first time ever tandem here against an experienced team like the Renegade Twins. But you can't, you know, discredit the, the experience that La Rosa has and Sahara has separately. And they put those years together, it doesn't matter if you've done singles or team or not. Oh, we got some, what's going on out here? What is the referee doing? Now Charlotte, now come on now. Oh. She just took that head first right to the post. 
Sahara's face bouncing off the ring post on the outside. This chaos. Referee's oh. got to get some control here. This is what maybe the Renegade uh, twins, they might have needed right there. That, that's, a, that's a big deal right there. Well, Rosa oh, never not gonna not gonna take anything from it. No. Pulling. Uh -oh. Ooh. This is this is completely broken down here to start things off Ooh. on Ladies Night 11. It's a hard, it's a hard buckle right there. Oh my goodness, right in the face. And finally, Robin getting out, but now tagging Mealy right back in. Double knees right there. Big tandem offense. And you know, that hurts a female. I'd say worse than the male. Taking those double knees right to the chest. That's just my opinion on that. These fans coming alive for Sahara 7. She gets put back down, though. You call her what? Renegade Twin 1? <laughs> That's Robin in the ring. Charlotte already got her boot up in the corner. Nice. There we go. This is why you're the man out here. Robin and Charlotte, okay, with the big old hoops. They like to cheat, that's all right. This oh. is a battle of experience versus the battle of an experienced tag team. Which one will win out? Rich Henlock went out, here comes Robin, now wait a minute. Are we gonna, oh! Woo! There we go. Shades of Ladies Night Out at Showcase two years ago, wait a minute. Here we go. We got chin lock on chin lock on chin lock action oh, here. I thought that might have been it. We got a quadruple kick out there. Man, oh, solid kick right to the side. All four women in the ring. This has been chaos. Tag in the Renegade Twins corner. Sahara Seven staggering in the center of the ring. Oh, caught, caught Charlotte with a big heel kick. La Rosa Negra back in the ring. Oh, just threw her down, man. La Rosa ain't playing. She don't play. I like her a lot. I would like to buy her. The Black Rose from Puerto Rico putting oh, the hurting oh, man, she don't play. on Charlotte. Got her up. They'd be going for a big airplane spin right here. Big airplane spin. Had to wear to fill that clothesline. Picks her up, another hey. spin into a big spine buster, almost a power bomb there. <laughs> big slam. Big and now up bomb. again. Look at the confidence and the strength of La Rosa Ooh. Negra. La Rosa, that experience just ran to twin one and twin two. <laughs> Here's a cover here. Another two count. There's another tag. Taking it in Charlotte immediately, very wisely. Sarah maybe made a mistake there, allowed the twins to get the tag. Now wait a minute, here we go. R and R! Renegade's revenge! That's it! Little mama right there, she decided to take on two. That Puerto Rican temper oh. might have gotten the best of her. You don't want to just two on one here. Oh, Lord, mommy. That wasn't a smart move. The Renegade Twins hold, hold their own. I mean, they, they got a big win right there. That's a good win. The Renegade Twins showing why they have become a dominant force in women's tag team action. The Rosa Negra, Sahara Seven, all the experience and put up one hell of a fight. But in the end, the Renegade Twins, Charlotte and Robin, come out on top. Yes, they do. And yeah, they look good while doing it.
doing it. <laughs> against her. Exactly. We're talking about Dave's wife, Yoletta, who's in the corner of Thunder Rosa. Gabby here, who says she's in the corner of Thunder Rosa. And so you're asking yourself, why is Lainey representing Dave LaGreca? Well, the reason for that is they have prior beef from their days in freelance underground. Lainey told me directly that she saw Thunder Rosa as a bully. She claimed that she was the underdog and that Thunder Rosa was a bully to her. So she is for herself and she wants revenge against Thunder Rosa and keep in mind Lainey has wrestled Thunder Rosa in Freelance Underground and AEW and has never gotten a win over Thunder Rosa so there is a lot at stake here not just for Dave LaGreca. I couldn't have said it better a win against Thunder Rosa would not only put her in good standing with her co 
cohort, David LaGreca, but also put her in good standing for amazing opportunities on the independent wrestling scene. And as we are seeing, she has become known as Lucha Laney, pulling out a hurricanrana against Thunder Rosa, who's no slouch here. Laney Luck with fearsome chops to Thunder Rosa, getting back in the ring. Springboard arm drag to Thunder, throwing Thunder Rosa for a loop. Ooh. And we mentioned that she's never gotten a win over Thunder Rosa, but that doesn't mean that she can't tonight because that just means she knows Thunder Rosa a lot more than probably somebody else would have stepping into this match against La Mera Mera. She definitely does. She actually worked one of Thunder Rosa's first tours in Texas with Thunder, and that was among the first encounters where she kind of got, you know, bad vibes from Thunder, but I don't know how I feel about that statement. Uh, she, after all, is on the side of someone like David LaGreca, who seems tremendously irrational. He does, after all, credit himself with much of Thunder Rosa's recent success. As you know, in mid-2020, Thunder Rosa did sign with AEW after a slew of appearances for that company. David LaGreca claiming that it was him that got her the contract. Side Russian leg sweep by Thunder Rosa to Lainey Luck. Gabby, what do you think of that statement, that extremely strong statement that that David LaGreca got Thunder Rosa her job at AEW. See, that to me is the big problem here. No one is responsible for getting anybody else's success. I'm sorry about that. Thunder Rosa works her butt off, and she has every minute of the day into where she is today. Dave did not, was not responsible for any of that, and the fact that he says that is just ridiculous. I'm sorry. And Thunder Rosa has faced a lot. Oh, he just shoved her. Dave LaGreca just shoved Thunder Rosa. And this is the physical encounter that we have been waiting for. But Lainey Luck was not far behind, delivering a cannonball to Thunder Rosa on the outside. I cannot see the action. The crowd is on their feet. We're going to stand up to call the rest of this match. And they're pulling out some sort of cardboard piece. I'm not really sure. But they're pulling this canvas out, putting it, to, putting it into the ring right now. What do they have in mind? What do they have in store for Thunder Rosa? Humble reminder, this is a Falls Count Anywhere match, which means anything goes and that a pin can be made at any point in time on any surface of this venue, not just the ring. And we talk about the fact that Dave LaGreca has wanted to take the opportunities, take credit for the opportunity, opportunities Thunder Rosa has earned for himself. And Thunder Rosa has gone through a lot. She is not going to let Dave LaGreca or anybody else try and take credit for her work. And now we're seeing all these weapons get tossed into the ring. Absolutely. Typical of Dave right now, guys. I just want to let you know, he is just amping up another female to do the work for him. Something I've, you know, handled firsthand by producing the show. I kind of do everything, and then Dave just, you know, puts the face on. That's what he's doing right now. Lady Luck's doing all the work, and Dave's just angry on the side, yelling about Thunder. So he just wants to take credit for everything. Am I right? He, he's not stepping in the ring. Is he getting physical? He's just walking around angrily right now, throwing the objects. Lainey, you do the work, and you handle Thunder Rosa for me. That's my problem. You deal with it. Typical Dave. Typical Dave. And right now we are seeing classic Thunder Rosa with some staggering, staggering chops to Lainey Luck. Both of these ladies on the outside, anyone's game. Thunder Rosa very much so looking to prove to Lainey Luck that she can hang with her as well as prove to her that nothing she's gotten has been because of David LaGreca. This is a self-made woman. Thunder Rosa was hustling on the indies for the good part of five years, working sometimes for $20, $60, traveling 12 hours at a time just to make her name. So I will not have anyone speak poorly of Thunder Rosa. And she's definitely not going to let Dave LaGreca come out here feeling like he has won this battle. Once again, we talked about the fact that this has been ongoing for months, and right now, we can't even really see what's going on as of this moment. So they've taken things to the outside of the ring, and in this area here, in this brewery that we're in, there's lots of things to play with as well. Yes, right now we have a couple of weapons in play. We have a chair, we have a trash can. Uh, we have a, a table of sorts, a wooden board of sorts. And now Thunder Rosa delivering blows with a tray to the back of Lainey Luck. 
I bet you Lainey is wishing she was back in the Windy City right now and not in the great state of Texas getting this beat down. And Thunder Rosa wishes she was giving that beat down to Dave instead of Lainey Luck, but this is what she has to do because he won't get in the ring. He's too scared. He talks a lot of talk and he's no action, guys. Yelling on the sides. And I've got to say, Lainey, she, she did call in to Busted Open Radio and demand to be that person to defend David LaGreca's honor here tonight, but she's not stepping down to Thunder Rosa. Both of these ladies, very much so, going tit or tat. Uh-oh, are they gonna drink some beer? And we shouldn't be surprised of how far this feud has gone because there has been so much going down between Thunder Rosa and Dave LaGreca. She shoved his face in cake. She has tied him to his podcast chair. She has put her dirty sock in his mouth, which has been nuts, taped his mouth shut. This has gone very, very far. They're chugging beer. Both of these ladies pairing beer with forearms. This is Pro Wrestling 101, if I do say so myself. Thunder Rosa getting in a couple of sips for herself just now. Gotta hydrate, gotta hydrate in the middle of the match. Now they're just going back and forth. It's really any woman's game right now. Uh-oh, Lady Luck. Thunder Rosa ducking a chair shot by Lainey Luck, chugging the last oh! lap there, and a Sunner calling to mind one of the all-time great Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, I just love what she did there. Drank the beer, did the Stunner. What an homage. What an Back homage. Day, tries to claim the success of a female like Thunder Rosa, who just did that, is absurd to me. She is such a strong female role model to all women, and him saying he has anything to do with what she has done and what she just did is insane, guys, and that's the problem. It's an abomination. He is delusional. And right now, Lainey Luck may too be a little bit delusional in the ring, but only because she could be seeing stars after those blows from Thunder Rosa. Thunder back in the ring. Ooh. What do you think is running through Dave LaGreca's mind right now as he sees his future in store? I think Dave is praying to the heavens right now that Lady Luck can pull through. Or his reputation is on the line here, guys. He's talking all this talk, building up to this moment right now. If there's a loss for him, I don't know what's gonna. I don't know what's gonna happen next, guys. Well, I know what's gonna happen next if there's a loss. The loser of this match. Oh, Thunder Rosa placing the head of Lady Luck in between the chairs, pushing David Lagreca out of the ring. You stay out there, Dave. You're not involved in this match, even though he technically can be. This is Falls Count Anywhere. Let's see how ballsy David Lagreca gets here tonight. But I digress because the loser of this match tonight is going to have to get a real life tattoo affixed to their body. I don't know about y'all, but that is a high risk for me. Not something that I would I would sign up for. No, and I told him not to do it. Once again, doesn't listen to me, and that's the problem. And I don't know if you guys know this specifically, who's gonna put the tattoo on his butt. My goodness, and he had strong words for Thunder Rosa earlier today, telling Thunder Rosa to kiss his butt. How obnoxious is that? Thunder going for the pin, gets the two count. Lady Luck kicking out. Ref Lane is our referee for this match. And we're starting to see some frustration on the outside on, on Dave LaGreca's part right now. Yeah, he's going to pop a vein in his head soon. I'm going to have to deal with that. I'm busted open on Monday, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? If he loses tonight, he might be calling out on Monday. He might be calling the tattoo parlor very shortly after this match, guys. And Dave's going to have that appointment real quick. Please take photos. Oh. I feel for you, Gabby. I feel for, for you. Sure. It's going to be an interesting work week. Wow. The shove on the outside to Dave. That was a very light shove, Dave. Come on. A little, he's a little drunk. That canvas still set up in the corner. Oh, back elbow by Lainey Luck to Thunder Rosa, who is staggering, but on her feet again, delivering a side kick to the head of Lainey Luck, hoisting her on her shoulders. Oh, Lainey Luck elbowing out of that. Can she do it? Yes, she can. Oh, big discus. Punch. Uh-oh. Thunder Rosa's in trouble. Oh. Ryan 
right through the wooden board she goes. The crowd is on fire here tonight. Can Thunder Rosa get up after that devastating move, Denise? What is your take on the current state of this match? It is honestly so upsetting that it's Thunder Rosa that had to go through that canvas when in reality it should be Dave LaGreca. He should be thanking his gods, thanking whoever that he is not the one in the ring taking the punishment right now. For sure, but Thunder Rosa is not down and out yet. She just managed to kick out after that devastating move, but Lainey Luck seeks to continue this physical onslaught. What does she have planned? This is not looking good for Thunder Rosa. She's gonna break Thunder's ribs if she gets this. Oh my gosh, but Thunder! Oh, Lainey, look out! She is in la meta meta for no reason. Pulling out all the stops. Big clothesline to Lainey Luck. Followed by a big double knees to the chest. See, this is the moment where I feel bad for Elaine Luck. Clearly talented, and she did not know she sided with the wrong person in her match. She sided with Dave, and now she's paying for it. And it's a shame. It really is a shame. Sometimes you don't know until it's too late. Oh, oh you know that was just painful. And the trash bin over her head getting kicked to the face. Oh! Lainey Luck still showing life. I'd imagine Dave LaGreca would be very upset at Lainey if she were to lose so early in the match. See those sweat beads hanging from LaGreca's head, guys. He's getting nervous. I'm telling you, I know Dave. He's very nervous. He's thinking in his head he should have taken back that whole thing about the tattoo because what's he going to do? He's going to have ink on his body of Thunder Rose after his match. It's going to be really bad. He, should, he quite frankly should have thought. Oh, oh my Dave! God. Dave! What a cheap shot. What a coward. What a coward. If you were going to lay hands on Thunder Rosa, you better be prepared to deal with the consequences. And his wife, Violetta, getting angry, calling him a cheater for going into the ring. She's not happy with him now. He's going to go home to an angry wife. Oh, my. Violetta! What? No! Violetta! No! Not the Thunder Rosa. She's a Dave LaGreca girl! No! This is the ultimate act of treachery. Violetta had been siding with Thunder Rosa. David LaGreca hitting Thunder Rosa with the lid of the trash can. Violetta is the Benedict Arnold of this match. The double cross is real. Oh my oh God! My God. and Dave LaGreca in this month's long feud. Now, right now in the ring, we're seeing Lainey get the upper hand here for a second. They're both fighting for the chair, actually. And both of these ladies, the sweat is dripping down their faces. Oh! Thunder hitting Lainey Luck with a drop kick with a chair. Woo! Always, always. You need the chair. This has just gone above and beyond. This is madness, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh! What a maneuver! Thunder staying on Laney, hooks the leg. Oh! And gets the win! Face tattoo. Bring that motherfucker right here. Also, giant thank you to David LaGreca because he has helped Mission Pro Wrestling grow over the last couple of years. champion this is a wow some amazing chops there so now if harlow wins or loses does she have to be a part of the cult no she doesn't i, I don't believe so i don't believe i was in this no, no, back 
suplex by MB Young, excellently executed. I know both of these two are a little cultish and they have their following. Right. Not for nothing, if we could have a lumberjack match with one cult in one corner and one cult in the other. That'd be crazy, right? Yeah. Oh, Emmy Young oh. bringing the hardware in already. This is no rules. This is the Polyam Cult Invitational. Nice boot to the chair. Chop to the chest. Forearm. Forearm again. She's laying those in. Wow, one stiff shot from Emmy Young. Emmy Young used to giving him stiff. Oh, reverse right to the corner. What is he going for here? Suplex oh, into, into the, the corner. corner. Jeez. Excellently done by the returning Harlow Hara. The oh, religious no, icon work. is back. She is mother to all and looking to end the leader of the Polyam Colts. You know what? I, I'm all in, I'm all for Harlow. This guy, MB Young, he freaks me out. Oh, oh what a drop kick to the corner by MB Young. Rolls it forward. Oh, oh, super kick to the back of the head. Goes for the pin. Only a one count. Only a one count. Only a one count. I thought we had a uh -oh. thing going on. Yeah. I tell you, Harlow, he's not no showing any signs one. of ring rust. Here we go. Now they're going to the outside. Now we're not going to have a wrestling match anymore. We're going to have a fight. Absolutely, Harlow going in there with a vengeance. When was the last time Harlow has actually had the sides of the fans? Well, I mean, Harlow is a, is a favorite out here in Jersey. Normally Harlow on the dark side, but the dark side, they're embracing it out here. They're outside the ring here, ready to do some major damage. What is that? We should probably get some security around here. Oh! The action is spilled to the outside, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! They are trading back and oh, forth. Envy wants more. See, he enjoys this. He's out of his mind. Oh my goodness. For Envy Young, this is just a normal Saturday night. Right. You got to give it up to Harlow, who's adapting to the style of an Envy Young. Jeez. They are going back at it with some stiff, hard hitting chops. A cherry to the ring. What is MB Young setting up here for? What is I he have no up to idea. Next? Hopefully the demise of one of them. What the hell is going on here? MB Young setting up both chairs now. Arlo Hara, who is returning back just in time oh, for the franchise championship. Before her hiatus, she had been eyeing that title. Oh, boy. This will not end well no, for either no. one of them. They both are heavy hitters. Well, we're about to find out what they got. Oh, slap, slap to the, the face. face. Slap to the face back. Reciprocated by Emmy Young. They are both going at tooth and nail. Oh, my goodness, that was a fitting match. Stiff. The harder Harlow hits him, the more he's enjoying it. Oh, right to the rib. Right to the rib cage. Oh. Big stiff kick. Oh, he's biting her! Oh, goodness! Oh, Emmy Young with a short clothesline! Kick out. Harlow kicking out of two. Yes, a very close near fall. MV now, gee, what kind of sick thoughts? I mean, just on a Wednesday afternoon, the sick thoughts that go through his mind. What do you think's happening inside that brain right now? Just sort of, just this no, out, just pain and punishment on Harlow. Whatever the case may be, it's only furthering MV Young's ability to absorb all this pain and continue to dish out more. It's not pain for him, it's pleasure. He's a sick freak. They're going back out to the ring, outside of the ring, I should say. This match, once again, brought to you by the At Uncanny Attraction. I want to thank them for sponsoring this match. Now, what kind this, of sick freaks are they to sponsor a match like this? I mean, they're probably part of the Polyam Colt. Oh. So they've definitely Emmy, got something. Emmy Young coming, hailing from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, rich with his wrestling history. Ready for the kick. Whoa! Oh. Throws the chair at him. 
you gotta give it up to Harlow O'Hara who has just taken her own environment here and this situation and just matching MV Young in, in her own aggression. Well, if she wants to win this bout, she's not going to have to match it. She's going to have to overtake him. She's going to have to get even sicker and more twisted than he already is. I, I You know what, Gino? I have to agree with you 100% on that. because I'm right. Get used to that. It's going to be a theme for the rest of the night. What, where the hell is MV going? Where's MV going? He's going towards the stage here. Hopefully home. Harlow getting the fans what is right that? Is that a door? Is she? Where does she find a door? Yeah, why, why is that door under the ring? Why is door under the ring? I don't even know. I can tell you, I didn't put it there. All right. We're in a situation. We need the fans to oh clear my out of the way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh suplex onto the floor. I hope that... Yo, Kim, you have a better view than I do here. Everyone's standing and looking through this match right now as it spills to the outside towards the stage. You know what, boss? I hope that there's enough fans to cover the amount that this building is going to invoice you when they destroy it and take it down. Well, if they destroy it, they destroy it. What are you going to do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last show we're going to have in Ridgefield Park because these two are about to rip this building to shreds. All right. They're right by the stage here, continuing to brawl. The fans are surrounding them. They have to make way, their way here. Oh, my goodness. What the hell? They're, they're now going to the stage. Yeah, you got to get away from the fans because the smell alone from those people in the audience will take anybody down. Every Young's on stage now. Is Harlow MB following is up? bleeding. Envy's bleeding, yes. Oh, oh my what goodness. a shot. What oh a shot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And we're going to have our first murder in Battle Club history. We may have a. What is going on here? They are going at it tooth and nail. You have to get a credit to both Harlow and you have to give credit to MB Young. Oh! Wow. And kaboom goes MB Young. MB Young taking a nasty spill off the stage, right through the door. Uh, Harlow needs to. He, he needs to get this pin. Can you get a pin on the outside? Yes, you can. In this match, falls count anywhere. There are no rules. There are no regulations. This match can take place in any part of the building. Harlow going with that pin and not getting the three count. That is quite amazing. Harlow, Harlo, no, is she, she looking for more ring. artillery? What the hell's going on with her? I feel like she's probably got some more surprises for uh, MB Young. Moving those stairs out of the way. These stairs out of the way. She's, she's pissed. What is she doing? Have you doing? ever seen Harlow in a good mood? I, 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 I've I never actually seen her in a good mood. That's no. a good yeah, point. that's for sure. You know, angry people. It's, you know. What is she getting? No, Harlow. It, oh, my God. It's what a, is that? It's a barbed wire crucifix. Wow. Harlow was What the hell? Them. And today's match is sponsored by the letter T. That is indeed a barbed wire cross. You have got to be kidding me. What is she up to? What is she going to do next to Emmy Young in an effort to win, to win this match, to be victorious in her return to September of 2019? This match has no longer Oh my God, oh my match. God. What the hell they is she going to really do? really going all out here. In the opening contest to Battle Clubs, may the franchise reign. We're going to get kicked off title match, and it won't even be my fault. <laughs> this may be a high possibility. I can't. Where the hell is she going to bomb on crucifix? One of her minions, I would imagine. Oh. Those cute little yellow guys. Oh, my God. Here? And be young with the power bomb. No. What is oh, power bomb up to the apron. Don't say it. Don't say it. We're not going to say it. We're not going to say it. You know that's the hardest part of the ring, right? Oh my God, you said it. Uh, well, well. Back on the apron. This is a dangerous position for both no. these individuals. Oh my God! 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 Oh my God. Holy shit! Wow! Um, Harlow oh. has. Oh my goodness. Power he it. just power bombed her from the ring to the outside through a crucifix. Wrapped in barbed wire. 
So she's dead, right? My goodness. Referee Nixon needs to check up on her and see if she can continue this match. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have Harlow O'Hare's GoFundMe set up shortly. I can't believe that just fucking the happened. The fans are chanting, let him go. Can Harlow O'Hare still continue after that devastating powerbomb off the apron? Through the floor, pretty much. Well, I mean, if you're going to come back, that's got to be, be it. That's got to be, gotta be it. it. Two. Wow. Ladies and kick gentlemen, out. how the hell did she kick out? Because Harlow she's Hara. been resurrected. She went through a cross and she's been resurrected. Harlow Hara proving I feel it in my bones. that she is the R mother and continue how to take punishment. Hell? It's, How the hell it's unexplainable. I, I, unexplainable. I, I, I cannot believe it. What's, what's he looking for? How I seriously hell? thought she landed on her head in the outside. I, I can't believe did. she's still she breathing. She died. She came back. She resurrected. She resurrected. It's the second coming. She's a zombie. The only way you're putting her down is to put a bullet in the back of her it, brain. If I'm MB Young, I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned that this is not. she has not lost yet the will to continue winning this match. If I'm MB, MB Young, Young, I'm going to the walking clinic tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. That side slam. Oh, oh my goodness, she just barely kicks out. just kicks out. You gotta give Harlow Harrow all the credit in the world. What physical abuse has she I taken? I can't believe that happened. At the hands of MV Young. How much more can she take? I, I don't know. I don't, oh! What is going on here? Is she hitting the last right? right? The last right! The last right! This should be it! Oh, oh my down. goodness! That is the Hitty the Fisherman DDT suplex known as the last right. How did MB Young kick out of that? Harlow's first mistake was What the hell the is she doing? More energy. Harlow, what is she doing? She's going out. She is not known to be someone who goes to the top row. Where the and hell is she going? Somebody that goes to her crucifix. Oh my god. Going to the today. top. What the hell? What is she doing? There are no rules today. Oh, oh my goodness! That is a sub assault leg drop from the top! Harlow wins! The Harlow hangover from the top row! Wow. I'd hate to have to follow that. Those two went at it tooth and nail. And Harlow. Victorious. Oh, she wants the mic. Oh, now up. she has something to say. She's now the leader of the Pollyanna cult. From the religious icon, Hala O'Hara, she is back. What a fight. What a fight we just experienced. That was not a wrestling, that was like indeed a fight. That was a fight. Between Harlow O'Hara and Envy Young. That's right, girl. Yeah, we, we, need, we as a crowd need to put some respect on Hollywood, Haley Jane's name. And she's letting everybody know that. I mean, look at that. You, you, we, we talked about the swagger. I love the confidence. We'll see if that confidence translates into how she performs in the ring here tonight. I've seen a little bit of tape study here on Haley James. But like I said, this is the first time that OVW title has been defended outside of Ohio. First time we're seeing her here in Texas. And Jasmine Delore with a quick roll up. Already with the roll up. Going on the attack early is Jasmine Delore. Did the bell ring? Jasmine may have jumped the gun on that. Already with the lock up. Jasmine showing some power here. Jasmine Allure, of course, making a name for herself, showing up on AEW Dark, competing on AEW Dynamite. 
there's a reason why she's getting this title opportunity here tonight. And she's here to show out. For sure. I'm liking what I'm seeing early on in the match. I'm liking the aggression. I'm liking the fact she's trying to take oh, control. Take down. There we go, getting the vertical base away from Hollywood, taking her right down to the mat. Roll over count. Only able to get a two count there. And Hollywood objecting to the wrestling acumen of Jasmine Lear. There you go with that wrist lock. Wrist control. Not a whole lot of wrist control oh. as Jasmine works her way out of it and moves into a submission. Oh, no. Wrenching on the back of Hollywood Haley James. Well, Hollywood should have been watching her on AEW Dark. You would think so. You would think that with the amount of tape out there on Jasmine Allure, Hollywood would have done her research. But I think that that swagger translated into some arrogance. And she walked into here not knowing exactly what to, uh, what to deal with when she stepped between the ropes. Now Jasmine maintaining that wrist control. A little snap mare into a headlock. Jasmine Allure clearly in control here, trying to slow the pace of the match, keep uh, keep Hollywood off of her feet. Smart, smart strategy from top tier Jasmine Allure. All right, with the top wrist lock, Hollywood. Haley J's got some wrestling chops. She's, I mean, she may be from the streets, but that doesn't mean that everything that she does is gonna translate into a street fight. This is somebody who can wrestle, as we are seeing right here. Two Jasmine count. needs to watch out those shoulders. Arm drag, takes Haley J off. A little frustrated there. And there we, there we go. I said that Haley J is from the streets and she will turn things into a street fight. Not 100% of the time, oh, arm drag. but she's willing to go there. Another arm drag. Yeah, Jasmine is not letting Haley J stay on her feet for long, which is a smart strategy. Because eventually she's got to get that pin or submission to get out of this match. Ooh, what a strike. Yeah, Haley J is not the biggest performer I've ever seen, but she can lay him in. She's got some striking acumen. Jasmine flying crossbody, one. Only a one count that high risk maneuver. There you go, regroup. Regroup yourself, Haley. Champion rolling to the outside, taking a breather. I need a minute. But remember, Haley can do this all that she wants. She's the champion. She can get counted Haley has out. the champion's advantage. She gets counted out, she keeps her title. Exactly. I don't She's smart. Regroup yourself, honey. There you go. She's young, she's smart, she has ring acumen. There's a reason why she's carrying that title here into Rise of the Vixens 2. And now you see Jasmine giving chase, rolling into the ring. Oh, she missed the elbow. Haley thought that she had Jasmine right there with that elbow drop. But Jasmine counters with a drop kick of her own, sends Haley right into the corner. Smart move, smart. Take down into the corner. And that now Haley J working the head. I'm gonna have to have the ringside medics do a concussion protocol at some point here. Cover one, two, only a two count for the champion there. Got to keep focused, Haley. Okay. Excuse me, is this on? I don't think it is. She just took off her eyelash. Yeah, I think she. Uh, I think she lost. I think she lost her lashes there. That may upset her more than anything, short of losing the title. Double knee stomp to the back of Jasmine Allure's neck. That'll give you a whiplash like nobody's business. Goes for the cover. One, two, only a two count. Almost a three, it looks like to me. The toughness of Jasmine Allure showing through here. Yes, stay on her, Haley. If you want to win, champ, you got to stay on her. The champ has Jasmine on the ropes, literally. Which is not where Jasmine wants to be, but it's exactly where Haley wants her to be. She already declared the win. I love it. There's a cover. Just a one. Stop to the foot. 
dirty tactics. As I said, the streets. And there are the dirty tactics that we expected out of the champion. I don't think that she can go very long without taking things in a direction that maybe they don't need to be taken. I feel like Haley J is much more talented than these tactics would lead on. Hey, but you do what you got to do to keep your title. You know what I mean, Jacob? Yeah, we'll, we'll see how well it plays out. She leaves herself vulnerable to attacks like that whenever she showboats and tries to let that swagger shine through. Haley J is one of those performers who wants to go out and perform. She wants to show off. She wants to show that she is the best. She wants to show that she's a champion. She wants to be a showboat. Goes for a cover here. One, two, near fall. As I was saying, Haley J wants to show off, wants to, I don't necessarily say earn the respect of the crowd, but wants to show that maybe she thinks she's better than everybody. And oh, goodness. Oh, that was so close. And always leaves herself susceptible oh, to maneuvers like that. To the face. Go pin me all quick. Huh? That must have knocked some teeth out. For Jasmine's sake, I hope not. I'm not sure if she has top tier dentistry. And Jasmine really does not want to turn this into a fight. This is a wrestling match up to this point. Despite what Haley J is trying to pull, Jasmine has been successful in keeping this as a wrestling match, but it's getting far more physical and intense. As you can see right there, taking Jasmine down by the hair. And now the champion trying to stomp a hole through the midsection of Jasmine. Only a two count from Haley J. There she goes, slowing it down. Take your time. Take a little breather, Haley. Regroup. Haley wants to regroup, but the crowd really wants Jasmine Moore to make a comeback. And there, with a sit-out jawbreaker, and now taking Haley J to the mat with a series of vicious clotheslines and clubbing strikes. Oh. Swinging neck breaker and a cover. That is as close as it gets without the hand coming down for three. Very close. And Jasmine, either fired up or frustrated, we'll see. Laying in. The there two competitors go. exchanging hard elbows. You said this is the first match uh, with this title being defended outside, right? Correct. It might be the first time it changes hands, too. That is a very good point. We could see a title change here very quickly, or we could see a no contest if neither of these women are able to make it to their feet and answer the referee's 10 count. I know we want a winner. We want a clear winner. I want a definitive winner one way or the other. Yes. Haley back on her feet. She says she's done, but she's not. Jasmine hasn't been pinned yet. Haley oh. taking the belt. What, is, what does she think she's doing? That's how you keep a title. That's how you Haley. keep a championship. Haley going. Jasmine picking up the win via disqualification. But Haley J gets to walk out with that OVW title, which I think to Haley, I think to Haley, she's much more, she's much more content to walk out with the title than a victory.
Perhaps Melia J will have more luck in singles competition than she had as one half of the connection between her and Uju earlier here today. Well, I mean, she did already get a couple hits in on Uju, so she does have that one up Fair enough. already. Fair enough. Uh, all, all unintended at the time. Now she's going to have to telegraph those shots. And there's a face palm that uh, makes it pretty clear that she doesn't accept blame for that giant L earlier here today, that L in caps lock, if you will. And Uju tried to end it right there. Shot downstairs. Jay doing the smart thing. Uju being one kick. taller than her and of more size, trying to keep her down on that ground there. One. An attempt here again. Do we see that knee brace on Uju as a, a potential weapon, uh, as it were? You know, shouldn't the ref check that? If I've learned anything in the sport of professional wrestling is that if you have a device attached to your body, there is a good chance that it is going to be used <laughs> at some point as a weapon to inflict damage on your opponent. Although I may not agree with that philosophy, Uju, I think, would be misguided not to employ that strategy, especially if the young man in the zebra shirt did not stop her from uh, starting the match with that knee brace on. Uchu now with a lateral press of her own. Miss J slips out. Some compelling and unique matches scheduled here on part two of this all-day marathon, Ladies' Night Out 9 from the World Gym Arena, streaming live on Title Match Wrestling Network. Certainly one that I am very much looking forward to later on here tonight, Brittany, is Heather Monroe versus Roxy, a matchup that we have not seen yet. One, two, kick out once again from Malia J. I'm very excited for that match. I mean, you have a champ and a champ. I mean, you have two of the top tier competitors going against each other. There, there's no way that it cannot be a good match. Also, Miranda Alizé will be back in action again against Phoebe in a matchup that many would consider one-sided. But again, if we've learned anything, it's that anything can happen, especially here at Ladies' Night Out. And if Phoebe is able to pull off the upset of the century, boy, would that write headlines around the wrestling world. She has confidence, Uju. She knows. Going back to that Miranda and Phoebe, it is... Kick out of two. It is, you know, one-sided, as you say, but already tonight or today, Phoebe has had a win and Miranda has had a loss. That is very true. Phoebe as well, picking up the biggest win of her ladies' night out career. Some would have considered that unexpected, but again, don't sell her short as a talent. Uju, of course, selling her opponent short right now with that pin attempt using just the right boot. We'll also determine a number one contender for Ivelisse's LNO crown in our main event when Jordan Grace takes on Sue Young. Last time we saw Sue Young out here, there was glitter and blood everywhere. I mean, Sounds like a night at an Atlanta strip club, quite frankly. I mean, I feel like that's how every ladies' night out should end, right? Get no argument here. There was a <laughs> unicorn helmet as well. Leah 
split legged moonsault, one, two, and a kick out there. Perfectly executed shades of vintage Rob Van Dam. Even though it was beautiful and it did some damage to Uju, Miss J over here has also done a way more damage to herself. I have to agree with that, especially if our viewers at home had tuned in for the earlier edition of Ladies Night Out here today, where at one point she was treated like a human crash test dummy, a human pinball, if you will. Even her own tag team partner, who she's in there against right now, made sure to get her licks in. Me, Leah. Underneath. Irish whip into the corner. Uju for a moment there using those royal instincts. Looked like they may have backfired again. Springboard off that top row, Malia! I feel like that would have been a three if she would have been able to catch all of it, but she only caught a little bit of that. It seems Uju's confidence, cockiness is kind of getting the better of her. Have to agree that and, and potentially her anger as well, although she may turn it around right here. Look to finish her off. Roll up here. I mean, he seems all right. I don't know if he's a good catch, though. She's, she's telling her to try, try, telling Micah to try some Dr. Pepper. I mean, I don't see what the problem is that. I mean, Dr. Pepper's delicious. I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm English, so we don't really get very much of that. What is your Mr. Pibbs? No, no, uh, fitamins, botanical beverages. Fit, fitted, fitamins, fitamins. Oh, he's. Colby is doing a very thorough job of checking Skyler Slice there. And Micah. Oh, the, the fans wanting her to be more thoroughly checked because uh, they already sent some uh, shadiness in Micah. I'm gonna understand. I, I've I've you noticed. Know, you see, the problem with with Oklahomans is they just don't trust mononyms. <laughs> that car elbow tire. Ooh. As Skylar Slice making an impact saying, I'm from Oklahoma, showing what Oklahoma women's wrestling looks like. A strong lockup again as Skylar overpowers Micah. Mike complaining that uh, Skylar Slice grabbing her hair. Oh, and Micah. Micah choking Skylar. That's, I mean, come on now. What? Micah. Oh, Ooh. double knees. Micah is a veteran in wrestling. She should know better than to than to be choking on the ropes there. No, I think that was just an attempt at chiropractic adjustment. Yeah. Hence the double knees along the spine. Very, very new age. Very. Oh. Oh. Well, and Skyler does some chiropractic of her own. Well, no, I think that would mean that 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 Micah needs a chiropractor after that. Oh my goodness! Uh, whatever the case oh. is, she's gonna need one after that leg drop. <laughs> 
Oh. And oh! Basement drop kick. Ow. <laughs> and Skyler's not done. Ah, and Micah putting the brakes on. And chops to the back. Oh, and again, Micah using the ropes, but our referee Colby not having any of it as he quickly was counting her out. Oh, what a thud to the back there. And another Clubbing club. Clubbing forearms, oh my goodness. Oh, but Skyler returning the forearm love there to Micah. And chopping. Oh. oh, face first into the apron. Now, come on, referee. Just because she's got a sponsorship deal doesn't mean that she can take people's teeth out. <laughs> I mean, she was, she did exactly what Micah's been doing to her. Micah's been choking her on the ropes. She's been using Those things to her. Those were all attempts to help stretch the back, realign the spinal column. The, and again, still outside the ring, as Skylar had rolled in oh. to break the count there. What is, oh, look at this. Oh! Oh, oh they, they seems perhaps ill-advised. Skyler catching Micah. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> Tornado! <laughs> almost, 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 I don't know, it, pendulum style DDT just driving Skyler Slice's head into that hard wood. As Micah rolled back into the ring to break the count, but now sits pretty there on the apron. <laughs> calling, calling the camera, <laughs> doing a little uh, creative directing there, calling the camera to get a little closer to look at Skyler's face, laying in those clubs against the chest there. I'm always delighted when people from Oklahoma think they understand numbers. <laughs> oh. Well, what I understand is that these fans here are still behind Skylar Slice. Regardless of what's happened to her. Oh. <laughs> oh. Double overhand chops there and now driving that shoulder. Micah is just, oh, but again, Sky, I mean, the size of Skylar, just the height of her in general, she lays in one good hit there on Micah, and Micah might be done for, but here she goes for the Texas Tarantula. Stretching again, Skylar Slice. Our referee. Colby one, keeping a very watchful eye on Micah, not letting her slip when she's using those ropes, but jawbreaker. Micah staggered her. Oh! oh, oh Micah's oh, not oh, standing much longer. Oh. Oh. Leg almost taking Micah's head clean off. It's almost a leg lariat if it wasn't a standing heel kick. A little slice and dice here. Oh! Ooh. Micah still, still fighting. <laughs> what oh. a German suplex there. Oh. Very, very, very close. Only a two count. Dr. Pepper. I wonder if she gets paid each time she says Dr. Pepper. I wonder if I can get paid. Oh, when I say Dr. Pepper. Oh. 
they might be looking to Vermica to be their sponsor. If this, oh, she almost. But Skyler overpowering her, not even letting her get up on. No, 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 no. Sit out. Skyler slice. In the corner to my left, the challenger. From a city so nice, they named it twice. New York, New York. She is a former TNA knockout. A participant in the first ever May Young Classic. And a competitor on Univision's Exactolon. Close enough. The Dominican Dynamite. Marty Bell! Oh. Okay. In the corner to my right, the champion from Toledo, Ohio. She is the new gold standard, AKA Fixie Langston. Her milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Your reigning, defending, BCW Women's Champion, Faye Jackson! It seems almost the crowd is split right down the middle for this one, AJ. I mean, no matter what Faye has done here, she has been the standard bearer here. I mean, look at the quality competition. Do you hear the chants? I don't think they're as split as you think. The crowd chanting new champ. I don't think Faye's gonna let that happen anytime soon, but they're both, they both used to compete in Ring of Honor. The only thing is Marty over there was an impact knockout and competed in Mae Young Classic and that's going to be to her advantage. 100%. I mean, yeah, former member, member of the uh, the Dollhouse, Mae Young, classic competitor. I mean, that's a hell of a resume. I gotta say one, what? I, one thing I gotta say: the the championships here at BCW are beautiful. I was eyeing that because if you if you notice, it's purple and blue. Matches her hair. Yes. Both women lock up in the middle of the ring. Again, Marty Bell seems to have the hometown crowd on her side. Her first time competing back in New York in I think almost five years. It's a pretty nice welcome home. Yeah, you got a BCW uh, Women's Championship opportunity. That's fantastic. This crowd is right behind her. Well, I mean, her resume, I mean, got her this match. As, as Riley said earlier, former TNA knockout a competitor in the first May Young Classic. She has been a competitor in Shine, in Shimmer, in WSU. I mean, Marty Bell has a very lengthy resume. Most people may only recognize her from the May Young Classic, but they forget that Marty Bell had been in the game for a very, very long time, trained right here in Brooklyn, New York. But does all that really equate a championship opportunity? I mean, people have competed here, these women, and they kind of might be feel lost in the shuffle. What about a Kristen Statlander? What about Davian? How about a, a Tasha who rips someone's knee out and uh, thinks she wins that way? Well, she did, she's the number one contender, so. I know. And I'm sure Tasha think. would have been here. This probably would have been her matchup, but she's not here. And with the Queen of the North Tournament, a lot of these other women have to now earn their way back up the mountain for a shot at the BCW Women's Championship. And again, it brings prestige to this championship the way that Faye is defending against some of these, these competitors. Again, her first competitor 
Sumi Sakai, not exactly a slouch by any means. No, I've, I've faced Sumi in Women of Honor, and she took it to me. She became the very first champion of Women of Honor, and to have that as her first title defense and Faye win over her, that in itself is pretty darn amazing. That was a fantastic match from both women, I do gotta say. That was a great match. And Faye proved why she, she's the queen of the North. Faye and Marty right now feeling each other out in this ring. Respect bit, being shown. A little bit of respect there, nice. See, that's how you do it, AJ. We'll see how long that lasts. Faye has a mean streak in her. I think Marty does after that shot to face face. Oh yeah. Well she's Dominican, so I mean that's just instilled in her. She's just a little crazy. Yeah. Dynamite. Oh, she's a Dominican boom. dynamite. Went for a top rope maneuver. Looked like Faye tried to reverse it. Faye's they both tumbled down to the floor. It was all too soon for that. Faye still has a lot of power left in her. Faye rolling out to get a breather from all those shots that Marty just gave her to the face. That does not feel good on your jaw, I'm telling she, you. I think she was a little surprised that Marty went for something so high risk uh, so quickly. But Faye's gonna get her wits about her. The Queen's a little stunned. I don't think Faye expected that. Can oh! oh! Marty took to the air and took Faye out. Faye definitely was not prepared for that and she could not block that. And our first fecal chant back at the church. Marty with a tope through the bottom and middle rope as referee Giuseppe was making a count and Faye hit the floor hard on that. I'm pretty sure her brain got rattled from her head hitting the floor that hard. I've never seen Faye in this much, this much danger so early. Wow, almost a page out of Faye's book. I was gonna say, doesn't she do a triple spun milkshake with the same kind of hip move? Almost covered here by Marty, two chip. No, only a two count there. Marty's really playing mind games. Look at that, even oh. Faye's, like, Faye's like, are you serious right now? I thought she was rattled, but Faye doesn't seem rattled in the least. Oh, that just brought, I think that's gonna bring out the mean streak. That's that mean streak you were talking about earlier, AJ. Faye coming in like a freight train in the corner. Oh. Yes. Oh, triple spun milkshake, I told you. There it is. She's not gonna be one up in her house. Number one, two, kick out by Marty Bell. Like you said to AJ, that's legit Faye saying, not in my house, miss. Oh, not, not at all. Not in my house. I think they used another word but miss at the end of that sentence. All right, I'm, I'm polite, I'm sorry. Oh, roll up here by Marty, cover one, two. Wow. This is, uh, there, there we go, see. Faye is not gonna stand for this. Oh! Faye's been here from almost day one herself. Faye came in a little later in the game, but yes, Faye's been here for a very long time, made her way up the women's division, and became the first ever Queen of the North and BCW Women's Champion. Yeah, it's a who's who of who she's faced and beaten. I mean, she's faced people like Lufisto here. She's beaten somebody, I mean, like the list, like Nikki Adams. She's beaten Coming Chris again. Oh, Marty sidesteps it, sends Faye right into the buckle. I mean, look at who she beat just to win in the tournament. Chris Satliner, AJ Perara, Tasha Steeles, who she pinned already. That was shoddy officiating, but. Or Tasha trying to hit her with the belt and missing. She's and trying to hand it back pinned. to the referee. Hmm. Marty putting the boots to Faye in the corner. She gonna go for it again? Oh! Oh, Faye just comes right out of the corner. Charging with a clothesline there. And there's the pit bull in Faye. Cover there, it almost... There's that Ohio demeanor of hers. Another cover by Faye, but Faye almost kind of like, not really putting a lot into that cover, just kind of putting the arms down. Oh, this is one of her, oh, modif no, this, this is one of her moves. This time I could say it, this is called the sit down, bitch. The single leg Boston Crab. Marty's reaching. 
This is one her a lot of, she has used this to win a lot of matches all over. Queens of Combat in. Got Anadi's. to the ropes there. Oh, she's got a break. Faye bringing her right the, back to the middle of the ring. The, I get a championship match, but that, yeah. Referee's letting it slide, referee Elvis. I miss referee informer tonight. Junior, junior senior official. Junior you, senior official. Are you right over there, pal? No. It's been a very long day. It hasn't AJ. been. I was up at six in the morning, AJ Pan. Why? You were probably just getting home from another night of drinking. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, but work. Right. What? He doesn't do anything. Oh, another big kick by Marty Bell. I was preparing for tonight. I had I had to get my commentary notes ready. I had to get my cue cards ready. You had to find somewhere that would I sell you that damn how to get a outfit haircut. you wear on. All right. I love you, Pete. I LARP you, Pete. But it's not about you in this moment. It's about Marty, who just took it to Cover! the Cover! Oh, my God. Wow. That was only a and two? Wow. Wow. That was... Almost. Two counts. That looked almost like... That was... Wow. That could have been a three, but... Shocking. Marty Bell almost became the new BCW Women's Champion. Oh, she was setting her up for look like one of her patented moves. Uh oh. Oh no. Fireman's carry. Samoan drop. Big Samoan drop there. Can Marty she get over Bell to her? Holding her head and her neck, and Marty has has had some neck issues in the past. That's got to be the beginning of the end for Marty. Cover by Faye. One, two, kick out by Marty. Barely got the shoulder up. Wow. Everybody thought that was a three. Faye looks shocked. Faye's wondering what she has to do to keep Marty Bell down. Oh, Marty with that front side Russian leg sweep planting Faye right in her face. Cover here. One. Two. No. Oh. Faye is not going to give up this championship without a fight. PCW did almost get a new champ, but she Faye got the shoulder up just in time. An incredible matchup here and shows Riley sh shows the depth of our women's division here. These are all talented, hard working, competitive women. Oh, uh, looks what? like she's going for the pedigree. The, 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 the front face muscle. Faye's got her up. Oh! Oh, dear oh. God. Drop it like it's hot. That's Drop got it like it's dead. A variated, still the champion. A variated mission over the driver there. Of the match. And still. I think she knocked Marty BCW right back out of New York women's City. champion, Faye Jackson. Battle Club Pro, streaming now on TitleMatchNetwork.com. The following contest, scheduled for one fall, is for the Battle Club Pro Franchise Championship. The man in charge of the action when the bell sounds is Battle Club Pro Senior Official Steve Dumain. Introducing first is the challenger to my left, fighting out of Austin, Texas. She weighs in today at 160 pounds. She is Big Mama Pump, Jordan Grace. And her opponent, to my right, fighting out of Nutley, New Jersey. He weighs in today at 100, at 225 pounds. He is the five-tool player, and he is your Battle Club Pro Franchise Champion, Anthony Time Jordan Grace Anthony Bowens. Two icons in the indie pro wrestling scene. Jordan Grace, a former progress wrestling champion. Jordan Grace, more importantly, 
the first ever Icons champion. Also true. Does she still have that title? She does not. No. Nope. Yes, that makes her a loser. Wow. You're going to tell her that wow, to her face? Wow, wow, No. <laughs> Probably one of the most beloved women in pro wrestling. Yeah, she's moment. loved all over the world. A feminist hero. I mean, I can give or take. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do you feel about Bowens? Bowens, on the other hand. Bowens had an incredible, hellacious match against Tessa Blanchard at Anything You Can Do, where that he won. That, I mean, they went at it. Friends, for almost a decade, they just beat the living hell out of each other. That, it was one of the least technical Bowen <laughs> matches I've right, ever watched. Right, right. I mean, he's so crisp. They crisp, were just punching each yes. other in the head for most of it. Talking all the crap in the world yeah, to each other. Yeah. So Bowen's looking to go 2-0 against the Broads, basically. <laughs> hey, there is no, no, no gender tied to the franchise championship. Anyone can go for it. She can go for it, but, you know, she's obviously not going to win. Well, we'll find out. I mean, Jordan's great and all, but it's Anthony Bowens. What do you think she's, she's going to do? Already in control with a side headlock. Headlock takeover. Oh, that head scissor reverse. Sweep the leg. Cover. Only a one count. Sweep the leg. Whoa. Cover. Whoa, ducks under. Rolls. Oh, she went for a head nice. kick. Here's a cover. Whoa. Only count one. Look at, oh, oh, what a, that's it. Two, wow. You would think they would, they've wrestled each other before. No, right? there's so much fluidity. <laughs> and, and this is Anthony Bowen. It's only his second intergender match. His first was against Tessa. Wow. So we don't see a uh, sex and gender around here. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Calm down. I'm talking in terms of specifications to fight for the championship. Yeah. He fought the broad last time, and he's fighting her this time. Can he win this time is the question. Uh, Jordan, she has the crowd solidly behind her back. I mean, it just shows that how good both of them yeah. are, that they've never wrestled each other, and yet they're countering each other's yeah. consistently. Consistently, for sure. They both got YouTube. Look at that. Bowens. Bowens Normal. trash talking. Right. Crowd. You do not see that a lot. That is the one thing Anthony Bowens has always been missing, and that is a mean streak. So hopefully he takes that into the ring and slaps Jordan right across the face with it. It's true. I wrote an extensive profile of Bowens for 137, and he is a Maybe kind, one day somebody will read it. <laughs> he's a kind-hearted guy. He's a hard worker. I have never oh, seen Oh, the cartwheel out. Get into the face of an audience member. But Jordan's getting into his head. He's not the brightest tool in the player. Look at this. What? Reverses and reverses again. Oh! But finally, but someone lands. But he is big and strong. Wow. Bowen. Anthony Bowen's asserting his dominance. I'm not used to seeing him show Bowen. This is a new side of Bowen's that I've never yeah, seen. Yeah, he's a, he's almost turning like like this is a whole different, you know. Smart. A whole this different is a smart thing. Smart Bowens. I yeah. It, it, it's Gino's not wrong for once. That's that right. Bowens Look. The trip can turn up the aggression somehow. Anthony Bowens saw exactly what a female can do in the ring with Tessa Blanchard, and he was not going to make no. that mistake again with Jordan Grace. He's going to take the fight right to her. Make sure he keeps that franchise uh, championship. Stuck Speaking of the last franchise championship. Since the Amante Look at snap suplex. won the match and got the Icons Championship shot, I think the next up to bat should be Mr. KC Navarro. Ah, that wouldn't be sad. Jordan oh. totally dives. Jordan takes out Bowens. Bowens is on the ground, but Jordan is back to her feet, slamming the mat. If she was smart, she'd be slamming Bowens' head into the floor, but she's showboating instead. This crowd is 100% wow. behind Jordan Grace. Jordan's pissed too. Yeah. Did she, something happen backstage? Because I don't know. She's a so angry. Water on Bowens. There's a cover.
something is, is affecting Bowens right now where he's pissed and Jordan's just sort of condescendingly playing. Wow! Anybody that wants to take the strap from the champion, he should be pissed. Well, true. Jumping back elbow. Look at this. Oh, and a cravat! Wow. That Not was like an abdominal stretch cravat neck breaker. Bowens is not only a monster, but he is a technical wrestler, hence all of the five tools the player has. <laughs> Bowens is taunting the crowd. I cannot believe this. My nice boy. Looks like he's uh, incorporated a sixth tool into the repertoire. I, Gino, you've infected the entire locker room. <laughs> he is right oh, to the lower back. Not to the lower back. Right not in the, the kidney. She'll be peeing no. blood for a week. <laughs> Again. Ooh. Jordan is on her knees right now. Oh, joint up. Whoa. High and angle lift. slam. Yeah. Look, Jordan's got to be one of the most powerful people yeah. who's walked into Battle Club. But the fact of the matter is she's small. And she bridges out for a pin. Yeah. She's one of the most powerful women that has stepped into Battle Club. No, competitor period. Period. But she's smaller, so Bowens can pick her up pretty easily. Apples to apples, Anthony Bowens has got her in the size and strength department. I don't know. As far as strength goes, I do think they're evenly matched. Well, then we'll you'd be to, wrong. We'll have to see who... who see Look at this. She's, she's, pa she's powering out. She's powering out of exactly. the full Nelson. Bowens might not have gotten his grip right. No, no. She's just simply powered out of his grip. Oh, she chokes him up with that top rope. Intelligent move by Jordan Grace. Back elbow. They're both such smart wrestlers. They really are. Jordan with a kick to Bowens' face. Both temporarily stunned. Bowens gets in. Oh! Catches him and then stomps him into the ground. What's Grace thinking of doing now? Oh, oh, a senton from the second rope. A pin attempt. Bowen oh. kicks out. Not enough to crown a new champion. Frustration coming across the face of Jordan Grace. She's got Bowens down. She needs to attack while the getting gets got. The crowd, 1,000. I can't, I can't believe this. At, at anything you can do, it was split. It was Bowens and Tessa, but Jordan firmly has this crowd in her grasp. I mean, Bowens had to fight some real beloved people. And, and right. The Battle Club audience does Oh, love man, I was it, a stiff right hand. Just another example of Anthony Bowens not getting the respect he deserves from these people yeah, but you as know what? their champion. He's got a bit of an attitude that I think he's he, he's showing it that he deserves more respect. I think oh, these oh people God, have just put it on him. That was one of those punches that grazes in the most dangerous Yeah, way. no, those are the ones that, that get you. Yeah. So the shots to the chest are a little less. There might be more painful right in the way, but that right. looks like he could have broken her nose or something. Ducks under. Ducks under. Oh, oh. kick to the head. Jordan is dazed and confused. Both on the apron now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is going to suck to no somebody. Way. No way. Jordan trying to get Bowens up for a pile drive. Oh, my drive goodness. On the apron. Bowens kicking his legs out. Oh, He's my God. What the hell her. is going to happen? He's going to oh kill Oh, my her. God. Alabama slams to the outside. Jordan slipped oh, out. Right hand. Bowen decks her with a punch. Oh, oh, a sling blade on the apron. The back of Jordan's head just hit the ring apron. Bowens might have done some damage to himself falling to this hardwood floor. Also true. But he's back up. Pushes Jordan into the center of the ring. Is he going to go for a pin attempt? Probably a good idea. Only two. Just like the champion he is, he's not trying to showboat. He's not trying to do damage. He's trying to win. It was a smart move to roll her in to the center, but it might have taken a little bit too long. Jordan had enough time to recover. Kicks out. Bowens is struggling to get back to his feet now. Bowens not used to the crowd not being yeah, behind that's, him. Yeah, it's got to be a brand new feeling. I mean, it feels like his entire career, the crowd has always been behind him. That's true. Yeah, he's always been that mush. 
Oh my God! Wow. He just took a slap to his. That is a proper bitch slap. <laughs> oh my God! And another. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's covering up now, and Jordan going to work. Jordan's had enough. Oh! Ho, ho. Super Bowen's kick to Jordan. He smeared her lipstick with that kick. Oh! Spine Buster! That's it! That's it! New champ! No way. Bowens is still in it. Jordan either exhausted or frustrated or both. Ridgefield Park is alive for Jordan Grace. Shot in the corner. Yeah. Setting Bowens up on the top rope. Oh my God, what's gonna happen here? Oh, still with the bitch slaps. Jordan following him up, looking to do some damage. Bowens trying to block it. Can't quite do it, so he's going for gut punches. Pushes her off. Jordan looks a little dazed. Oh. Kick right He's to the be mush. More dazed after that. No, blocks the kick. Oh, there's another one of those. We, you, you're so <laughs> nicely put it, bitch slaps. <laughs> oh, she's looking oh. for that muscle buster. No oh way. my goodness, How the power of Jordan Grace. Me. Oh this my is goodness. Insane. Muscle buster. How That's gotta be all. Grace. That's gotta be it. Oh, oh my God, just, just. Just kicked out. Jordan Grace more worried about these fans and counting to three than hooking that leg. She might have had the victory and the title. She goes for a second pin attempt. Bowen's able to catch himself. I, I, it just, she never ceases to amaze. Her power is just leaps and bounds. Just, oh my God. But I is it enough? She just picked him up like that. that yeah, it's incredible. incredible. The picking up was fine. The drop on the back of his head was another thing. <laughs> walked him around the ring first. Oh. Big back elbow to Jordan, still standing. Oh my, that second one was vicious. Jordan's taking a bunch of shots to the head at this point. She must be dizzy, her ears must be Oh ringing. my, round the world forearm. It is going to be hard for her to clean some dishes later. Jeez. Oh! Only a Ooh. count of two. Jordan's fading. That was not a strong of a No, it wasn't. Seen her. She's getting tired. But Bowens is not doing so well either right now. Bowens no, is this frustrated. Is... Both are showing signs of exhaustion. Both are having trouble getting up to their feet. This is one of the most even matches I've seen. Yeah. Bowens has really had to fight for his champion. <laughs> he absolutely each, has. Each title defense. No, that, but that's why he's the franchise champion. This is no, no title match will be easy. He's going to be met at the peak at the top with the best talent available. Look at that. So strong. He, will, he, can't, he can't even Irish whip her. She's trying. She's holding on to the rope. It's a smart move. Oh, another bitch slap. <laughs> the, the bitch slap. Oh, oh, oh wow. What a kick. kick. Bowens is over it. Bowens is not getting bitch slapped anymore. No. Match. Something just snapped. Look at the look in his eye. He just suddenly Again, died. she just refuses to let this this Irish whip happen. I've never seen Bowen's get Oh my god! She's going for that go home driver! Ooh. To the back of the head. Again, it's vile. Ooh. Oh. Looking for those Vader shots. Clubbing blows back and forth. Those Look at like this! Easy. Baseball bat to the front and the back of Bowen's. Oh! The right, catch! Carry. Whoa! Oh. DVD into a neck breaker. Oh, oh my goodness! Big knee! Oh, it's boom! One. That's it! She's unconscious. She's out. Oh. No way! You gotta be kidding me! I seen Bowens take out bigger, meaner, yeah, but well, not tougher than Jordan Grace. The, I, the crowd is so with Jordan. I cannot believe this. I wouldn't have predicted that. No. I thought it would have been split. I, yeah. Anthony Bowens is a, a resident of Nutley, New Jersey. He, he wrestles almost exclusively in New Jersey, but this crowd just loves Jordan Grace. Traders, that's what they are. <laughs> Bunch of disloyal hacks. No loyalty in Jersey, as you both know. 
Bowens picks Jordan up. Jordan slips out, goes for a standing switch. Bowens go behind off the rope. Oh, he's got to roll up. No. Whoa. Oh, she's got him. She's got him. A submission attempt. We don't normally see that from Jordan, but it's a smart counter to what Bowens was going for. This crowd is chanting for Bowens to tap. Jordan might. I, she might have him here. She might have him. That's like a Kimura clutch almost. Yeah, he, she's got the, the 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 body vice in the. She's got a grasp on. Yeah, him. yeah. You could see in his hands, his fingers. Are yeah, he just with. nothing. He's got nothing. I don't know if he can breathe. His ribs might be breaking. It's if two. It goes down one more time. This is over. Oh! He's, in He's still in it but just barely. Yeah, Bowens is, oh my goodness, just in it. It looks like he's trying to roll Jordan onto her back, maybe go, get into a sneaky pin attempt, but Jordan sees it coming, gets back on top of it. She's just, she's got him. She's got him, like, just all over him. It's Bowens getting to his feet with Jordan on his back. And this is just where the size advantage comes in. He just can stand up while holding her. Oh, up against the corner. Slams and again. The corner again. Bowens can't breathe though. He, no, he can't. His trachea is all wrecked. Oh, he's spitting. His I bet, throat I hurts too. <laughs> Back oh. elbow. To the damaged neck. Oh! Ford, Bowens catches her. She's in a predicament now. She can't seem to get out. Oh, she held on. She held on. Oh, she's going for that Jordan bomb here, Jordan. It's a little far. Oh. She Nobody missed, home. She definitely miscalculated the distance, and Bowens was able to escape. Blocks a punch. Of leg punch. lariat. A leg lariat. Oh, he's got her. Burning hammer? No. Looking for that. Grand slam. The cover. Is this it? Oh. This is it. Oh, the crowd is mad. The crowd is pissed. Wow, look, this crowd. They're out of here. Happy. Bowens retains his franchise championship. I can't remember in recent memory how an Anthony Bowens wins a match and gets booed out of the building. Lock up. Very standard. This is, uh, you, you see a lot of wrestlers do this, and I'm going to tell you why. They're gauging the strength of their opponent. They're trying to figure out what they're about early and easily before they start taking shots or attempting moves. What am I working with here? So you see a lot of these holds, a lot of these squeezing type actions going on because they're seeing how much can I squeeze out of this person? Oof. Well, Kaya seems to know or have made up her mind on what she plans to do to notorious Mimi. Quick reversal by Mimi. Now Kaya Dream's the one who finds herself in the lockup. And another and another reversal. Wow. Beautiful stuff right there. Yes. Clap for that. If you don't, you're crazy. Athleticism of both of these competitors. Oh, man. Hey, okay, sportsmanship. Sportsmanship, okay, good. And then right back to the competitive aspect of a wrestling match. But you know what? 
it's good that these two came out, checked each other out, went through some motions, figured out, okay, who am I working with here? And then recognized and respected. But now back right into the action. Wow. Took Mimi right off her feet. But only a two count. I think Mimi honestly probably just using one of those uh, one of the seconds of that count to take a, a beat of rest before powering out of that. Knowing she was about to do something like that, that is a cluster of need to face pain. Oh, nobody home! Kaya Dream wisely did not advance. Oh, but she could not have seen that coming. The flexibility on Notorious Mimi to get her leg up that high to knock Kaya Dream down. Pretty impressive. Nope, just a two count. Just a two count again. Oh man. So many takedowns so quickly, they are going to get tired. And when they get tired, that's when you can start getting sloppy in a match. Wow, that collision. I think it shook the camera. Oh, Timber! Still only a two count. A lot of gas left in the tank for both of these wrestlers. Let's see what they can do now. I mean, I could use a break and I'm just watching. Oh my gosh. Mimi, the strength for the slam. Kai Dream, not happy with that. Oh, not happy with that either. She's probably going to go for another pin. Yes. No dice. Kai Dream comes from Hot Lana. And they don't go down easy in Hotlanta. Oh, that was an inventive and innovative and interesting way to try to uh, pin her and keep the shoulders down, but not quite enough. You really have to put a lot of your body weight. Just using your legs is not going to cut it. Maybe when your competitor's really tired. Kaya Dream nowhere near down and out yet. She's in a headlock. But I think she can get out. Oh. Down she goes yet again. Mimi really bringing it to Kaya Dream. She's just not going to do anything except push. Push her down. Keep staying on her. Oh, and it's caught. Oh my gosh, double clothesline. Now they're both down. Ow, that hurt from here. I mean, yikes. Wow, back to their feet. They didn't even take as much time as they probably could have. I think they both had the same idea. Let's just take this, let's just finish this. But I don't think it's gonna go that easily. Coming off the ropes with a knee to the face of Notorious Mimi. Kaya Dream hyping up the crowd. That was beautiful. And you know what? Crowd actually chanting for Mimi here. Oh! That is one of the meaner slams you can do. Oh my God, followed by kicks to the face. Certainly got back up to her feet if that's what the crowd wanted. Oh! Right down in the center of the ring. Once again, these competitors, incredibly talented, putting on one hell of a match so far. Oh, she goes for a kick, misses. You can tell they're starting to slow down just a little bit. This match is taking its toll on both of them. Only a two count. 
Kaya Dream's starting to get a little bit annoyed. Can that Southern Charm come through for her? Can she take it home at her debut here? Oh, wow, to the throat. Oh, man. Keep in mind, these are professionals. Please don't go attacking the throat of your buddies at home on a trampoline. Oh, do not try this at home, folks. This can be really dangerous. Oh, 619. Wow, Rey Mysterio's move never looked so gorgeous as when Mimi just did it. She's got those long legs. She's a little bit taller than you, you might think, um, being that she's, she's also very skinny. So she doesn't necessarily look like a powerhouse, but look how easily she lifts up Kaya Dream. It's pretty impressive. Um, Kaya Dream trying to power her way out of it, do something. And Mimi just has to dump her because she was not able to grip her the way she wanted to anymore. Yow, that can be bad. That could be bad. <laughs> Wow, and that's all she wrote, a surprise, quick Here's ending. Your Kaya Dream! Yes, Kaya Dream, absolutely fantastic match for her. Rosario here backstage with Notorious Mimi and Kaya Dream. You guys had a very hard-fought match tonight, and Kaya, you came out the victor, um, but you guys had a really nice moment at the end. You were showing some respect for each other. Like the sportsmanship was incredible. I mean, how can I not respect her? She's really, she's really tough, and I respect that a lot. I respect our match a lot. So, I mean, I told her that I am pro wrestling's number one angel, and I can beat anyone on their best day. But today, today she brought her best day, and it was enough to beat me. So, even though I might not have wanted the match to go that way, I cannot have anything but respect for the way that she fought tonight. And, I mean, round two is always an option. Yeah, you know, the dream always comes out on top, of course, but... Well, I guess we'll, we'll, have, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next for you guys. Introducing the challenger. Being accompanied to the ring, Savage Gentleman, Victor Benjamin. Champion Victor Benjamin. Somewhere cold, weighing in 10,000 snowflakes, she is the coolest wrestler you'll ever meet. Steele is holding both those titles with pride, and rightfully so. Tasha Steele is the love child of Little Wayne and Rosie Perez. <laughs> Lady Frost making her Battle Club debut, and what better way to debut than to take the gold right off of Tasha Steele's? She's been ducking everybody for too long, hiding behind Kira. She's not here tonight. So she's got to do this one-on-one, -on -one, and Lady Frost is here to take home that title. Lady Frost with a hybrid of, you know, ability to not only throw down, but also train in Muay Thai as well as a former gymnast. So, I mean, she has the agility, but you also have to realize Tasha, trained by Damian Adams and currently signed with Impact Wrestling, uh, has a lot of experience, and boy, can she throw down as well. I asked Lady Frost what she thinks about Tasha Steeles and that title. She said three words, let it go. We'll see, Miss Lady Frost ready to tie up for these two. Go behind, right into the waist lock. 
is a struggle. You know each one of these moments that these two are going to be in there is going to be a struggle. Not one person is going to let the other take advantage. You got to understand the history between these two meeting at a tryout at the Performance Center and un being unable to outdo each other to the point where producers called it a tie because neither one of them would quit on the up-down drills. Referee Steve Dunberger just Dun needs to keep his nose out of the Savage Gentleman's business. I wonder if that's going to come into play. You have the Savage Gentleman, Victor Benjamin, out there. I don't know if that's going to be a safe play for anybody, especially Tasha Steeles, I'll say that. Snapmare right there, slowing down the pace. Tasha Steeles realizing she's a champion. She does not have to, she, I mean, she essentially has nothing to prove. She is a champion. She is one of the toughest people I've ever met in my entire life. I think Lady Frost is, is also kind of just measuring Tasha just to see where, where she can take advantage. Look at the amazing Look shape headlock. of both of these athletes. Both of these two are superstars. Both of these two competitors are not even at the top of their game. They're not even in their prime yet. They are doing it so much better, and they are so good right now. Just Hope like right you said before, Tasha Joe Kim, going right one for one, these two are more equal than one would think. Look. Neither one are giving in. Neither one. You Neither have one to believe that it's also a psychological warfare right here. It can't be psychological warfare. Tasha's this, not that smart. Hey, don't let her say that. She can't. She'll come over here and beat your ass. Don't Please. tell her I said it. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't recorded, right? Lady, Lady Let's Frost. Let's go, Frost! They're taking this moment right now to kind of measure each other. It's a smart tactic. Look. Kick to the stomach by Tasha Steele, the champion. Looks like Ch Tasha's got the whole hood behind her here. What a chop. Followed by another one. Just pinpoint accuracy with those chops. Tasha whipping into the corner, Lady Frost. Shoots it for an up and over. Rolls right up to his feet. Jumps oh, to the, the stomach. athleticism. That uh, gymnastics background. Have you so ever helpful. seen anybody, male or female, or whatever the hell MB Young is, more athletic than Lady Frost? Lady Frost showing she's a overall athlete here. Looks like she's going to the outside. Gets caught by Tasha. Tasha Steele's experience allowed her to, to know what was coming. Getting in the face of the Savage Gentleman. Referee Steven Dumain getting in the middle of that to break it up. It's Dunberger. <laughs> I know him personally. What do you, you've never even met the guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Head but Tasha Steele. Did anybody check Effective. her braids? Have you checked her braids for foreign objects? What? Her braids? I thought she was family. What happened? What did I miss, Gino? <laughs> a year and a half off, huh? Yeah, I guess, right? How people change. She has a count of five. Tasha knows the, the rules in and out. She's been doing this long enough to know what's going to be effective, what she can do within the boundaries. Yeah. And plus, if she gets to qualify, she's still a champion. You have to know the rules in order to break them, which is exactly what Tasha Steele does on a daily basis. Tasha Steele's in control right now. Elbows to the back of the head, loosening up and weakening the neck. You have to believe that it's going to help garner a victory for her. Double chop to the back. Uh, that's, I don't care how athletic you are, that's painful. Tasha getting the fans into it while controlling the pace. I have to admire that. This is like 1995 Angie Martinez in Hot 97. She's just controlling the crowd, controlling the pace. Going for the snap suplex. Nicely done by Tasha. Goes for the lateral press. Hooks the leg. Tasha not letting any moment go to waste here. Making every movement count. So intelligent. Who? Tasha, you... you. Seriously, dude. I thought, like, what the hell? Are you watching the match? 
It's I'm I'm in awe. I'm literally just watching them go move for move. You it's should incredible. should be in awe because Lady Frost is one of the greatest competitors we've ever had step in the ring here at Battle Club Pro. Right now, Lady Frost is certainly not able to showcase that. Oh, she goodness. came right to the face, and Tasha should go for the pin. Tasha showboating. This might cost her. I don't know. I don't know if it was a smart idea. Kick out, strong kick out by Lady Frost. That's right, that's how tough she is, that's right. Tasha's just laughing. Maybe yeah. she should stop showboating. Listen, I completely understand, Tasha's done a lot. She's competed with some of the best. She's an impact former, or two-time, knockout tag team champion. Thanks to Kira Hogan. Along with Kira Hogan, of course. Elbows to the gut right there from Lady Frost. She has to fight back up here. Grabs it, whips it right to the corner. Reversal by Tasha. Lady Frost double foot. Grabs in. Cartwheel, very unique. Ooh. That was super unique. Lady Frost reminding me of primetime Mr. Perfect. Two count there by referee Stephen Dumang. Oh, pump kick. Mr. Perfect, one of the greatest IC champions of all time. Lady Frost looking to become one of the greatest icon champions of all time. I tell you, Tasha can't let herself get frustrated with this. She has to realize Tasha she's a champion. Tasha walked in here frustrated. This Tasha walked down. around Daring frustrated. Down. I told, did I not tell you that neither one of these women were going to give in? They're not. They're not. This goes back years. The rivalry between these two, but it's been so quiet. And, and it's just an honor to be able to put it on the stage finally. Which is shocking because nothing Tasha does is ever quiet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Neither one giving in. Oh! Heavy chop by Tasha Steeles. I've taken that chop by her. The it's not fun. icon champion and she is showing why. She, she wow. has to get hit and she got hit. Tasha steals, plants one on Lady Frost, but Lady Frost's chop takes Tasha to her knees. Forearm by Tasha. Big oh! Forearm caught her hard Frost. coming in. Lady Frost smart following her in. <laughs> Tasha doing Roaring the same. Forearm Definitely. By Tasha. Running back in. Catches oh her right God. with the point of the elbow. Kick to the midsection. Ducks under. Oh, right hand. Big right hand by Lady Frost. Oh. Back roll, showing signs of gymnastics. How again. beautiful is every move that Lady Frost does? what I say? Picture perfect suplex. <laughs> Close to... A three. Tasha I, has to be worried. I now, think if Lady the Frost pressure's on her. It, she would have had it. If she would have hooked the leg and finished up with the perfect flex, she would have had Tasha Steeles. We would have a new champion the right now. The tides have turned. The tides have certainly turned. Tasha has to be worried that this reign may come to an end. Lady Frost has been able to answer back. Elbow to the face from Lady Frost. It's been very back and forth. Banderas to the outside apron. Shot to the gut. Right over. Flip by Tasha Steeles. Oh! That Running pump. knee. Yeah, she pumped with that Come knee. Come on, Benjamin. You got to grab her leg on that one. Cartwheel right into the side. Oh! Caught her! Oh, wow, cut her Why completely off. Why would you off. yell the move that's coming? Everybody does their own thing, Gino. Come on! I if can't Tasha believe that. The heads up. You know, you got to give Victor Benjamin credit. He hasn't gotten involved. He's managed to stay sure. aloof for this whole thing and be fair with it. It's got to be rough watching his wife. What a wow. shot from Lady Frost. Mike, she... She may have knocked her too. She might have. Get caught her right Superplex in the face. from the top rope now. Tasha blocks it. Is she going for a superplex? Is Tasha going to allow this to happen? If so, she's going to be in danger of losing this title. 
Forward roll off the top. Oh, head kick. Roadhouse. They did it, they did it again. Oh, this time, this time it connects with it. That's is that, that, is that it? We have a, so we have a new champion. Matter. You know it's coming. It's coming. Oh. Rope, rope has, break. There's a rope break. Once again, Dumberger cost the match. She had a rope break. She did not. Are you blind? Yeah, she obviously did. My mind. No. What? That is he dumb. didn't even say anything <laughs> intelligible. What a kick to the head. Is this it? She is just continues to punish. Oh, oh, she's going is she up. Going is this it? it? Lady Frost going up to the second. Is she going for the temperature drop moonsault? No. no. Crafty Tasha pulls a leg. Oh, no. no. Tasha with the cutter. Oh, she kicked out. Are you kidding me? Lady Frost at the near last second. I kicks have out. never seen anybody no kick one, out of the cutter from Tasha's No field. one's cut out of Tasha's cutters. Tasha's getting the crowd behind her. Is it gonna be enough? Spin kick. Oh, she's Fires got her up. carry. Rolls right through. Sunset. Kicks right out. Back roll. Super kick. Tasha going in. Front transfer. The Falcon Arrow. She knows it is a drop. And she goes in and wins. And still, your Icon Champion. I knew she could do it. I had her back the entire time. Tasha Steele is La Familia. Nobody's taking that title from her. Tasha Steeles has something to say.
You want to talk about family affairs? Listen, I didn't want to get disrespectful, but her company is making your company their bitch. Oh, shit! So, so now you want to you really open up? Listen, Tosh, I've told everybody time and time again, no BS. I'm probably one of the youngest, hottest free agents in the world right now. And I just go to wrestle. up with you, which I know I can. If I gotta throw your ass around, which I know I will. And if you're such a knockout tag champ and an icon, then you'll accept my challenge and wrestle me later tonight.
and don't show up late. The bell is about to ring. Denise, why don't you give me your thoughts on what happened last month, Jasmine Allure winning that Mission Pro Wrestling Championship from La Rosa and having Holly Dead come out and pull one over. Well, here's the thing. I think we learned a lot about Jasmine and who she is because she did help. She had help from the Renegade Twins to win that title, and she was going to be happy holding up that belt, knowing that she didn't fully earn it on her own. So I, for one, am glad that Holly Dead came out and kind of showed her a lesson, and now we have a champion in Holly Dead. But here's the thing, though. Jasmine Allure is clearly coming into this match with a lot of anger. You got two rising stars here but you got all of the anger coming from Jasmine Allure and that is bound to play out in this match. Certainly she has a lot to prove as someone who was technically a title holder here at Mission Pro Wrestling to lose it so quick to Holly Dead who earlier in that night at, uh, at Don't Fear the Reaper managed to secure the Bury the Hatchet cash-in which is what led her to cash in on Allure following her victory against La Rosa but Sky Blue is taking it to Jasmine Allure in the ring. Sky Blue knows slouch a product of Chicago style wrestling she is one of the hardest hitters in the indie game someone who is well respected all over the country for her work ethic and Sky Blue is definitely one of those persons that wherever she goes she tends to make a name for herself she is very good at first and second and third and fourth fifth impressions how many ever times you've seen her she is always going to leave a memory in your mind at the end of every match that she has and speaking of making memories this has certainly been sky blues year appearing on aew dark the aew all-out battle royal and of course nwa empower where she competed in the pre-show extravaganza so a lady making her rounds on the indies and being in chicago in that weekend i remember all everybody was talking about was sky blue sky blue so you definitely knew who sky blue was after that all-out weekend most definitely and jasmine allure also making appearances on aew dark based out of orlando or rather from orlando florida based out of texas at the moment she is proud of two things and the, oh oh wait what's this sky blue staying on jasmine allure She's very cautious also to look to her left, look to her right, because she has the Renegades flanking her on both sides of the ring. Now we can't, dis and here's the thing about Sky Blue, you know, I mentioned the fact that she's very exciting. She now has a background in gymnastics, which she did for several years. She's a high flyer as well, so we're bound to see some of that incorporated into this match as well. So, if we're taking bets right now, who's your pick to win and why? Well, here's the thing. I think that even though Sky Blue is immensely talented and we're seeing that right now as she has the upper hand in this match right now, I do think that Jasmine Allure, she has a lot to prove for herself. You mentioned that she held the belt for what, I don't know, three minutes or so. And to have that taken away from you, I could only imagine that that hurt her ego and you know she has an ego. Absolutely, she does call herself top tier, of course. Sky Blue getting the pin. But Jasmine Allure staying on Sky Blue, kicking out. We have to wonder, how are the Renegades going to figure into this match? Are they going to be as heavily involved as they were last month when Jasmine Allure faced La Rosa Negra? Well, I think our answer was just what we saw in their match themselves. I mean, they pulled out almost every single dirty trick in the book. So I would be very surprised if at any point in this match they didn't get involved. We will certainly see. Oh, backslide pin to Sky Blue. Sky Blue to her feet, pulling out her own backslide pin. 
Sam, we were talking about two evenly matched opponents, and I think we're starting to see that right oh, now absolutely. as each girl has gotten a good moment in here. Backslide for backslide, Oklahoma for Oklahoma. These two ladies are tremendously talented and obviously telegraphing each other's moves right now. Jasmine Allure must have done her study, and oh, she's taking a water break. The princess needs a water break, Denise. The nerve, though, I gotta say, if I'm sky blue on the opposite side, I would be so angry right now. This isn't a time for a water break. In the same token, that is a way for Sky Blue to also bide her time, right? Jasmine Allure wasting time, sometimes to her detriment, as we're seeing right now. Oh! Big drop kick to the side of the head of Jasmine Allure, hooks both legs. And here's the thing, when you have two rising stars, they both have each something that they want to prove right now, so whoever gets the win here is going to have something to brag about. For sure, and it's in Sky Blue's last appearance here at Mission Pro Wrestling, she actually defeated Zoe Sky, another Sky. And look at her, she's calling her out, she's calling her out. What a kick, bringing her down, she's using this momentum now to build up. Giving Sky Blue a drop kick of her own, these ladies are going tit for tat, move for move. The telepathy is in full force right here tonight. I gotta say, if these are the future of wrestling, then wrestling is definitely looking very bright right now as we see both of these ladies go at it. I don't know if Jasmine Allure would agree with you though. She's she's a bit of a narcissist, a bit of an egotist, and she does not want to share the spotlight with anyone, especially Sky Blue. Right now, Jasmine Allure is looking to capitalize off the momentum of that brief title win. We can only hope that she's able to capitalize tonight. Like you said, she doesn't call herself top tier for no reason a lot. You gotta have a lot, a lot of pride in yourself and your work to go out there and call, some, call yourself top tier. Well, she certainly thinks very highly of herself. Jasmine Allure sending off Sky Blue into the corner. Sky Blue ducking out of the way. Big school girl! Sky Blue can come out of nowhere. She is very good at countering whatever it is that Jasmine is bringing here to the ring right now. Big elbow drop by Jasmine Allure, hooking the legs, but it's gonna take more than that to get Sky Blue down. Goes for the pin, again, the frustration clearly mounting. And I'm not surprised whatsoever that we are seeing all this aggression from Jasmine. This is exactly what I was expecting from her. And look at those hits to the back right now, to the back of there, pulling the hair. Oh, what? Come on now. Right in front of the ref's face, the arrogance on the part of Jasmine Allure. And now mushing the face of Sky Blue into the mat, gloating. This is, I have a feeling this is gonna backfire against her. It often does. And it did, just at our last show. It definitely backfired on her, but will it happen again tonight? And perhaps there's part of Jasmine Allure that wants to prove something to herself, something to the fans. Perhaps the Renegades, you know, will, will stay out of the way for the remainder of the match. Oh, a clean victory in, in, in the works? I, I, I don't know, maybe. I, I'd like to think so. And even though we've been talking about how aggressive Jasmine is, you do got to give her a little bit of credit here because Sky Blue, like we mentioned earlier, is known for her gymnastics, is known for the American style and Lucha Libre, and she is keeping her down from, you know, doing that. She's been making sure she doesn't get the momentum to do and what she's good at. Jasmine staying on Sky Blue. And right now, just... Sky Blue working out of what appears to be a headlock. Coming off the ropes. Oh, Jasmine Allure countering with a kick, sending Sky Blue off. Oh, double clothesline. Both ladies down on the mat. Guys, it is anyone's game. I want to implore anyone and everyone who has any interest in sponsoring Mission Pro Wrestling, please email us at missionprowrestling.com for more info on how you can be a part of one of the most dynamic women's promotions in the US. Sky Blue, big spinning heel kick, rolls out. Ooh, Jasmine Allure. What a kick to the face. Sky Blue not giving up. What's she going for next? Oh, beautiful. 
another. She is definitely picking up the momentum now. She's going to the top rope. Jasmine Allure in a bad position. Big cross body. And this could be where Jasmine has gone wrong. I told you, don't let her get back to her feet if you want to get this victory. And now Sky Blue is back up in her feet. And now it's looking like more of her game now in this match. Ooh, Jasmine Allure. Oh! Thought she was going for a victory roll, but she's going for a regular pin there. The look of shock on the face of Jasmine Allure, hoping for the three count. Ref Lane insisting it was a two, maybe a two and a half. This is not what you need to do to win, Jasmine. Do not distract the ref. Stay on Sky Blue. Oh! If not, this is what can happen. And that echoed all throughout the building here. What a massive kick to the face. Both of these ladies have been very, very impressive here tonight. And if you like what you're seeing, be sure to use the hashtag MPWWatchParty to tell us what you think on social media. Tell me what you think of this full Nelson that Sky Blue has on Jasmine Allure. Oh, Jasmine Allure countering with a reverse jawbreaker. Now Sky Blue. Sky Blue very frustrated by the Renegades, but Jasmine Allure going for the pin, grabbing the tights. What? What? Jasmine Allure perhaps needing a bit of a reality check here, but our wonderful general manager Amanda has made her way to the ring and she's going to speak her mind. Oh, Jasmine, we heard you loud and clear. You want a shot? What? You got one. What? Jasmine Allure is going to have her work cut out for her at Silver Bells. And she is not happy about it. The audience chanting ho, ho, ho.
We're getting started quick here with this ambulance match. <laughs> we got Celsius Arena. with the run-in. I was not expecting that. They caught me off of guard. Imagine how Sadika feels right now. All right, Karisma, I don't know about you, but I'm going to have to stand up. Yes, I am, sir. Struggling. Like we said, they're starting off hot with the run in. I mean, she hit her from behind on the ramp. Zelsis against Sadika. They're already going towards the ambulance. Oh, here we go. Wait. Unfortunately, we can't see what's going on. can't see anything. But it looks like they're making their way into the ambulance. And they're pulling off flags. Crowd wanted Sadika to get her fire back here. And we're going back to the ring. Back into the ring. Snap mare. Oy. Oh, kick to the back of the head. Okay, I'm gonna say standing because I know we're going right back over to that corner. It's okay, you're like an ornament. You can stay up there. Okay, if I fall, you gotta catch me though. I got you. And we're going right back to the outside. And there we like go. I, see, I told you, you should have stayed standing up. Oh, right oh, into the chairs. Into the chairs. We got to get out of the way. Oh, oh she spilled a drink inside of his face. Looks like a few of our photographers Oi. got some. Ah, oh, she hit her with the chair. Some drinks in their face. You know the risk. Hit her with the tripod. Hitting her with the tripod. Oh, That's Stony's tripod. Nothing is safe. Stony only in the house. What the hell are you doing, Stony? Everybody's running for their lives, as they should be. They're going outside. They're not even working. Oh, jeez. Are they making their way down to the ambulance? I want to take this time. Uh, we can't really see what's going on, but uh, shout out to Title Match Wrestling in the house. Hell yeah. Move out of the way, Telly. Yeah, stay safe over there, Telly. We care about you, brother. Have you ever seen World War Z? With the zombies? Yeah. That's exactly what's going on right now. Look at all this crowd. These lucha zombies. It looks like we're working our way. Back to the ring? Back to the ring again. I can see again. Sadika's got blue hair. Yep. Oh, her oh, Rana by Rana To the outside, here we go. Oh, oh, dive right into the chairs. Look at that. They're working their way towards the ambulance. This could be the end of the match. Uh, uh, uh. This could One be, that door door's moving. One door is closing. It's closing. One door's closing. Open again. Look at everybody with their phone. This thing is going to go viral. Oh, they're coming back. Uh, uh, they're coming oh, they're coming back. Sadika's got Celsius by the hair. 
Oh, 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 they're getting closer. De Diego. Don't throw her over here, please. I don't know where to move. Diego. Ah! Gabby, please. Oh, the, now Saiko's got chairs. She's not going to play nice. Sadika hit Sokis with a steel chair. That was a plastic chair, but nonetheless, it was a chair. It still hurts, okay. <laughs> you winding up for something. Here we go. Oh, oh, big drop kick by Sadika. I put her, I, you know, I say this every single time we see Sadika in a match. Oh, she wild, bro. Men, women, and everything else around the world do not want to get in the ring with Sadika. And for good reason, because why would you want to do this? Unless you find a, a good foe like Zosis, who's also known for doing this kind of match. I, sir, will not be interested. No, thank you. I am fine. <laughs> I like to chew my food, not drink it through a straw. Depends on what kind of food. They're working. Okay, here we go. Back, back closer to the ambulance. We're going towards it. Towards the ambulance. Again, shout out to Houston Premier Arena and all the employees, fine employees here because they're gonna have to clean this up oh, afterwards. Oh, they're coming back. Dylan Bryant, photography running for us. his life. Only here for local wrestling. Josie's right here in front of us. Just stay away, please. Stay away, please. I got nowhere to go. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, we, got our, we got our own crew protecting the commentating <laughs> table here. Thank you, guys. Stop it, Josie's. She's got her hair. She has a Josie. steel chair. She, that's a plastic chair. Same difference. Very chair. huge difference between a steel and a plastic chair. Nonetheless, deadly weapons in the wrong hands. Oh, oh. right on the head. Got a fan with an LWO shirt and an air horn. Jaime Martinez, get out of the way, brother. To you by title match. That steel chair. That's yes, that steel chair. That plastic steel chair. Oh boy! Oh! Right to the face. That chair moved last second. She kicked her right in the mouth. Can I just say I'm glad there's no light bulbs in this match. Don't jinx it. Damn Don't it. jinx it. Damn it. I think a chop is the least of, of their worries right now. 
That's just, you know, that's just being mean. Like, you know what? I'm going to give you a chop because I can. Oh! oh! Right in the booby! Hey, oh! Reversed it, reversed it. Oh! Oh, double knees to the face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have yes! Snapmare to the mat. We got fans from all over the place, all over the country here at the Houston Premier Arena. We have the talent from the back locker room out here watching this match because this is just, just as a, a spectacle in itself. The brutality. Oi. We need like chair patrol. Just to go collect chairs for them to We use. need more officials in this match. I'm gonna talk to Reggie. We need more officials in these type of matches. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have a talk with him as we soon as he wakes up. We need crowd control, okay? I need my personal bodyguards. As soon as he wakes up from that match oh, yeah, uh, with right. Papa Dingo. Are you sure he's not in the ambulance? Did anybody clear it to make sure he made it to the hospital? Got the lights flickering in the ceiling. something about it. I know it's a no disqualification kind of thing. He's got to get some kind of control. Oh! We have a fan getting in Sosie's face. Do you really know what you're doing? Get away from her. She's a beast. Jay Davis still getting involved in this match. A fan just threw her drink at Jay Davis. Is that like a I jungle mean, it's juice well or something? Well deserved, but I wouldn't get involved if I was in the crowd. That's not very smart to do. That's a that's a death wish if I haven't it heard is. it. You know. They're, They're making their back. way back into the ambulance. One of the doors is starting to close. Looks like somebody may be in the... Who is it though? I, I can't see. I can't see. Okay, never mind. Uh, they're making their way back to the ring. We are at a disadvantage here considering there's so many people not sitting because no chair is safe in the Houston Premier Arena. We have Sadika fighting back and Jay Davis still getting involved. Still getting involved. Somebody needs to come and equalize that. Look. You know what I want to know? En donde está el rey de 420? That's what I want to know. Where's he at? What a piece of garbage.
garbage day Davis is. You know, a, well, what a and not just a small of piece of garbage. He's like a whole bag of garbage. Hot garbage brought to you by Jay Davis. Also brought to you by Loco Wrestling. <laughs> and title match wrestling. Big one. Big one. You jinxes, Diego. Look what she has. Oh, geez. Life you know what? I'm sorry. Oh, no. Well, I'm yeah, sorry. Apologize to Sadika. Don't apologize to me. I did not mean to wish those into reality. I actually I wish to did. wish those away from reality. Now, Jay oh. Davis going up the top rope. What is he doing? What is he doing? Agarra los sadica, oh, no. get him with the lights fixtures, get him! Oh! We just got hit with glass. I think I'm okay, I think. It hit me in the hair. I'm okay though. Don't worry about me. Sadika back on top of both of them. Who? Ladies and gentlemen. Ninja Mac! Look, it's Ninja what Mac. What is Ninja Mac doing? I couldn't see. There's so many people here. There's so many things that are happening. We just got you know, a wave of life fixtures thrown our way. But Ninja Mac we had a, is on the ramp, and there's Jake Davis. We had a spectator also on the side in the line of fire of glass. This isn't an easy place to watch wrestling, nonetheless get involved as, as a spectator. Look, Sonica going to the top. Oh! 360. Oh. And, and we have another door. There's another door. I'm fresh out of not not jokes. Diego, <laughs> fresh out of them. Yes, since uh, 1967. And we got Pentagon Jr. in the crowd, look at that. Oh, hell yeah, shout out to Pentagon Jr. in the crowd. I think this is a good time to mention again. This is Loco Wrestling I Niveles. And oh, there's been many Niveles tonight. We're many. At, we're at the top of the top right now. We have both women. There's two chairs on the bottom ropes. And they're on them. So that's not a very good sign. I don't know what happened to the uh, door. I'm guessing it's on the bottom. Oh, jeez. Don't do it. Ah, oh. to the door. We have a dead door and two possibly dead luchadoras.
Good night, Celsius. Safe travels. You're from local wrestling. And your winner, Sadika. Is there anybody that can stop Sadika? Is there anybody? The only woman that I've seen match her is Black Widow, and she's not here. That's why we had Celsius here tonight. that toilet paper right back at the audience. are certainly chopping, uh, rather striking a chord in Holly Dead. Maddie Rankowski not going to back down from the challenge from the juggernaut that is our Mission Pro Wrestling Champion, Holly Dead. Oh my gosh, these two ladies are like two bulls in a china shop. You've got to think, after that slight, slight mental break we were seeing from Maddie Rankowski on socials, cutting her hair in a dramatic fashion, something that has become so iconic for her, her beautiful long locks. Um, I'm expecting to see a more aggressive side of Renkowski here tonight, Denise. There's gotta be the second a woman decides to just chop off her hair, you know she means business. And here's the thing too, you mentioned that cryptic social media post, we saw her cut her hair, we saw her take off those gloves that she wore, and now you're gonna wonder, what new things is Maddie going to bring to the table, and is Holly dead? prepared for those things. Holly Dead is prepared for any challenge that comes her way. She is a six-year veteran of the professional wrestling industry, trained by Gangrel at Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum, and she's had two successful title defenses already, the first being at FEW in Miami, and the second being at Hybrid Wrestling against Tasha Seals. I had the pleasure of calling that match, and she fought valiantly like a champion, as she's doing right now, hoisting Maddie Renkowski up on her shoulders. Maddie Renkowski having a hard time fighting out, but fighting out she does. Ooh! Could she be going for a sunset? Oh, that was a bad move. Deadliest thighs in the game. 
They don't call her that for nothing, and we're seeing it right now, an exemplary example, ch choking Maddie right now. But Maddie knows that she has to hold on, fight for dear life if she's to become the Mission Pro Wrestling Champion here tonight. Ooh, nice sweep. Float over into the headlock, working over Holly dead. And here's the other thing that we should mention as well. This match was supposed to take place a long time prior to tonight, but given that Maddie unfortunately got an injury, got a nose injury, so that took some, that obviously she had to take some time off and we're finally getting this match. But now it's different stakes. It's not just, hey, these are two women that don't like each other. Now you also have the Mission Pro Championship on the line. For sure, before both of these women had something to prove. But right now, the one with more to prove is Maddie Renkowski. Perhaps the one with more at stake is Holly Dead because she is the championship holder and risks losing that title. But I'm excited to see where this match takes us. Maddie Renkowski currently on top, working on the left arm of Holly Dead. Ooh. And she is manhandling someone of Holly Dead's size, definitely seeing that aggression. And there we go, seeing Holly Dead use her lower body strength to her advantage right now, trapping Maddie. Definitely a position she does not want to be in. Maddie quickly kicking out, but she's back with that abdominal onslaught. Holly Dead clubbing blows to the back of the neck of Maddie Renkowski, who probably can't breathe right now. But she's up, she's moving quick, and she's back on that arm of Holly, dead. Working smart, working hard here, wrestling big. She's got to take every opportunity that she can because one of the things that Holly Dead has going for her right now is that she's running on a new momentum, given that she is champion. She had three wins at our last show. You got to tell me that is definitely a confidence booster on Holly Dead's part, incorporating the additional aspect of all the in-ring experience that she has garnered over the years wrestling throughout the world. I couldn't agree more. This is a lady who is well versed in singles and tag competition. As we know, she used to tag team and maybe might still with Thunder Rosa one of these days. But right now, Holly dead. How's Maddie Renkowski firmly in the corner? Renkowski working out. What's she gonna do? She's gotta think on her feet, and she does, sweeping the legs of Holly dead. Goes off the ropes. Big boot to the chest of Holly dead, goes for the cover. Gets the two count. Firmly staying on Holly dead. This is a great strategy, but that veteran experience coming into play here, countering Maddie Renkowski with a jawbreaker. This is giving Holly dead an opportunity to get back on her feet, breathe a moment. Oh. But Maddie, she's just tunnel vision focused tonight. Right, Denise? Every time you think one of these ladies is going to gain the momentum and the upper hand in this match, they outsmart each other. They're playing this mental game, and you're seeing it unfold where every time one of them thinks they have the best of the other, the other comes in with a sharp surprise, sort of taking the other a little bit by surprise here, which is kind of nice for us to see because we're getting some very nice back and forth action between both Maddie and Holiday. Both of these ladies presently on the outside, unloading blows on each other. There is a rather large gentleman blocking my view, but I am here to grab the action. Denise, can you see a little well, bit of I am actually seeing Holly dead right now lift up Maddie and running her into the post. Uh, definitely a brutal spot right there and is going to cause uh, definitely a shift in this match after that moment. And it doesn't seem like she's stopping either, Sam. It does not. Holly Dead is going to stick on Maddie Renkowski. Oh! Driving her into the wall. It just goes to show Holly Dead has no intention of losing the Mission Pro Wrestling Championship here tonight. She's gonna hold on to that by any means necessary, holding on for dear life. I do not know how Maddie bounces back from that. How does she bounce back? 
from that. She just took two brutal shots right now to the back. We're gonna have to wait and see because Holly Dead just broke the 10 count, got back in the ring, fully intends on continuing the onslaught, the physical abuse on the outside. This is the perfect way to break down Maddie Renkowski in a quick fashion, using the outside to her advantage. We've been talking about that reality check and I think that Maddie is receiving one from Holly Dead right now. As of late, Renkowski had become a bit disillusioned. A bit of a mental break. I'm wondering if we're gonna see a second break from reality here as she's being torn apart presently by Holly Dead, the Mission Pro Wrestling Champion. And right now, just looking at that chest of Maddie, it is red from those chops that she got her just outside the ring from Holiday, and you are seeing that right now. So uh, Holiday is definitely doing everything in her power right now to weaken Maddie. Holiday goes for the pin. Quick, quick uh, kick out by Maddie Renkowski. She's looking to awaken the beast in Holly Dead, who's now delivering the second blow to Maddie Renkowski in a row. Could she be going for a third? Maybe not. Okay. She, she is putting Maddie Renkowski. Oh, I'm going to have to stand up for this one. Oh, my God. Holly Dead unloading fearsome forearms to the chest of Maddie Renkowski. I know from my wrestling experience that it really, really blows, getting blows to the chest. Right now, Maddie probably can't breathe, and she's about to be totally asphyxiated by the deadliest thighs in the game. Holly Dead with a fearsome blow to Maddie Renkowski. And Holly Dead is definitely not holding back. She's attacked the back of Maddie. She's attacked the chest of Maddie. What else is there left? You got to give credit right now to Maddie for hanging on. This could have been over a long time ago, maybe after those first moments where she took her out and got her those two pounces on the back. You're right, it could have been over a long time ago, but there has to be something motivating Maddie Renkowski to continue against someone as formidable as Holly Dead. And here we see that she is busting out some forearms of her own, giving Holly Dead a taste of her own medicine, uh, whipping that, that left arm into the post. I was gonna say that I hope Holly Dad doesn't Holly Dad doesn't get frustrated, but now I'm thinking she should. Maddie just found a new fire right now, and look at now she's sort of reaping that rewards now on Holly Dad, stretching her out, posting, putting pressure on her back right now. Uh, she's trying to. She's definitely getting this upper hand now, turning the shift in this match. Let's see if she can keep this momentum. Gotta stay on Holly Dad. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. You give Holly Dead one moment to rest, and she will make sure that she takes that moment to recoup, and that's exactly what she's doing on the outside, favoring that left arm. You've got to think of Maddie Renkowski can perhaps get Holly Dead in a submission that favors that arm. It could be it. We could have a new mission for wrestling champion, but Holly Dead, oh my God, suplex to Maddie Renkowski, completely breaking her in half on the outside. Adding more pressure, more pain to the back of Maddie. Could this be the final straw that Maddie has? How much more possible pain can she take, especially when it's targeted to some of the, to the exact same area? And who knows, if Maddie Renkowski were to be defeated tonight, we might see even more drastic action. Maybe we won't see short hair next show. We'll see a shaved head a la Britney Spears. Oh, I really hope she doesn't go that direction. Me too. But you know what? We do got to give credit where credit is due. And Maddie has not gotten this far in Mission Pro Wrestling by taking, getting taken out by one single, you know, bump or anything like that. No, she is hanging on. And this is a testament to why she's gotten so far in Mission Pro. Ooh. A little shot to the nether regions. And Holly Dead right now is hitting her own head. Uh, either she's, where is she going with this right now? She's full of surprises. I think she's very satisfied with herself. Going for that pin. 
But you've got to think the frustration has to be mounting in Holly Dead. She might have thought that this would be an easier victory than it's turning out to be here. Maddie Ronkowski with tremendous fight. Oh, sending Holly Dead into the buckles. But Holly Dead countering with a back elbow. Ronkowski still going for it. Sweeping that leg, bumping that face. Headlock. Headlock is an oh, or is that? Oh, no, it's, a, it's an armbar variation. And as we said earlier, oh, Holly dead. Renkowski only has about two or three more seconds until she has to break, and she does. How much more pain can that arm of Holly dead take, Denise? I honestly, at this point, I don't know because every time I think that each of these two competitors have hit the precipice of pain, they come at you some more, and Maddie right now with that chop, and oh, there you go, and a very nice clothesline um, from Holly dead right now. Holly dead with one more last ditch effort. Guys, it's anyone's game right now. I'd like to encourage you at this time to become a sponsor of Mission Pro Wrestling because the action is hot in the Mission Pro ring right now and always. Contact us at missionprowrestling.com for more info. Holly Dead sends off Maddie Renkowski, trails behind, big clothesline, still favoring that shoulder, but she continues on like the valiant champion that she is. Renkowski very much so fighting back, but I don't know if she's going to be able to come back after that throat chop. Now you just got to wonder, it's a game of who can handle the most pain since we're seeing each of these competitors target a different body part into their opponent. So now it's like, who can hang on the most? I, this, is, this has been a very, probably, a, probably the most aggressive fight that we have seen tonight. Just proof Mission Pro Wrestling really bringing the hottest action here. And we're seeing Molly dead just completely choke Maddie out right now with those with that knee with those thighs that she's been she's been bragging about absolutely and we couldn't do it without you guys this show would not be possible without sponsorship thank you thank you thank you to everyone we love you the wrestlers love you Mel loves you and we're gonna keep up with this action in the ring Maddie Ronkowski dropped toe hold Holly dead is in a precarious position in the corner Maddie Keeping going, oh my gosh, the fight will not quit today with Maddie Renkowski. Maddie is definitely fired up right now. Holly Dead has definitely met her match and Maddie Renkowski goes for the pin, oh! At what point do you think Maddie is starting to feel frustration on her own part? She knows this is the champion. She knows this is going to be a tougher competitor to beat, but she's sort of bringing everything she's got. Holly Dead countering. Goes for a big boot. Maddie Renkowski spine bustered like a rag doll. Holly Dead staying on her, going for the pin. Gets the two count. Denise, you had mentioned. How badly do both of these ladies want it? You know, I think that Holly dead right now, she's starting to think, you know, I'm tired, my body hurts. But Maddie too is thinking the same thing. Oh! Holly dead going for attempting that patented tombstone. Let's see if she can hit it. Oh! Maddie had the purview to counter, oh! You, met, you asked me how badly do I think these women want it. I mean, goodness gracious, you're literally seeing them pull out every single trick that they have, and every time you think it's enough, it's not enough. Maddie Renkowski trying to break apart the arm of Holly dead. Is she going to be able to get to the ropes? I do not know. Maddie Renkowski has her fully, oh! This is just further proof that when you are champion, it is hard to stay at the very top because you've got people like Maddie, Maddie coming towards you, coming for that championship. And I'm sure Holly Dead does not want to have a short reign. That would just be uh, something that she's definitely not obviously wanting. Oh, big Samoan drop to Maddie Renkowski. But Holly Dead unable to make the immediate pin. I think coming out of this though, I think the audience and myself included and Sam, I'm sure you're feeling it too. You gotta have respect for both of these competitors 
because they are putting their entire bodies on the line right now to a whole other level. I have respect for any competitor who steps into that ring, putting their mind and their body on the line. This is tit for tat competition here. What we have become used to seeing excellence here at Mission Pro Wrestling, and it doesn't stop because next up, the main event, Thunder Rosa versus Lainey Luck with David Greca. David Luck Greca in tow, but Holly dead. Pick it up, Maddie. Oh my gosh. Maddie with a face buster. Oh my gosh. I thought for a second that we were going to be seeing a brand new champion and the crowd was literally on their feet chanting, this is awesome, and you can't help it, but I feel like getting up on my feet right now and chanting, this is awesome. Me too, I am on the edge of my feet. I don't know what either of these ladies can possibly do to get the three count because no one wants to lose in this match. The stakes are high, the rewards are even higher. Will Maddie Renkowski be able to get it? No, Holly dead catching her in a crossbody. Oh! Wow, this has been a roller coaster of a ride each time you think somebody's got the upper hand. It doesn't happen that way. But if you are enjoying this match just as much as Sam and I are, please head on over to social media. Share your thoughts. Use that hashtag, hashtag MPW Watch Party. Make sure to use that hashtag, hashtag Mission Pro, and follow us at Mission Pro Wrestling. 100%. And we love our sponsors. We love you, Josh, Face for Wrestling, David Mabry, Los Increíbles Network, and the Nation Corner. We couldn't do this without you. We wouldn't have these ladies doing the beatdown that they're doing. All these ladies tonight, if it wasn't for you, so thank you, thank you, thank you. But the action is hot in the ring. Both of these ladies look like they're starting to get tired. How can they not? I mean, they've taken just about every single Oh, day. package, small package! Could this be it? Holly Dead kicking out! Oh, one last ditch effort by Holly Dead, but Maddie Rinkowski! Oh, could this be Crucifix pin? Holly Dead going for the pin! Maddie Rinkowski with a pin of her own, neither of these ladies willing to give up. Oh my gosh! I for a second thought that that was it right there. You got people in the audience literally with their hands up right now. Some arguing that it was a three, some arguing that it was a two. People are torn apart here because both of these competitors I think have won the hearts of the people here at Mission Pro. These two competitors have polarized the audience. We have a split audience here tonight. Some want Maddie, some want Holly Dead to win, but it appears that Holly Dead's gonna hit that tombstone face buster. Perhaps it's enough. Firmly hooking the leg. That's all she wrote. The fans laying in that rose chant. And in this house, Rachel is queen. She is. Charity Kane, oh my goodness, girl. Go ahead and rub it in, Charity. You just walked in here, sweetheart. Why don't you give her a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice in it? You just walked in here and you want to try to insult the queen? Rachel. That ain't the right thing to do, baby. Rachel walks into this knowing she has to prove something. She doesn't have a title around her waist. She hasn't felt that feeling here at RWR for, what, over 600 days? Exactly. Basically two years worth of time she's had that title around her waist. And here tonight she walks in without it for the first time. You know that... Even if she feels like this match is part of the norm for her, you have to imagine that she has something to prove and she's going to try to show out here tonight. She's going to try to prove that there's probably another title shot in her future. We do not have an automatic rematch clause here in RWR. Whether she lost her title by default, whether she was pinned, whether she was screwed, however you want to put it, I'm not giving Rachel another title shot 
just for the sake of who she is. She's got to earn it, and that starts here tonight. Charity Ken with the ring awareness. And Rachel is proving it here, showing why she was the Vixens champion for so long. All right, the disrespect. But that's okay. That's okay, though. These two locking up. Rachel goading Charity. And there's one thing that Rachel is good at. She knows how to trash talk, but she backs it up. And that trash talk is not just attitude. That trash talk is a weapon. Rachel will lure you into a false sense of security. She will get you off your game. She will get inside your head. And I think that's what she's trying to do with Charity Kane here tonight. And knowing this is her debut match, and she's going against the queen. Look at the strength on Charity Kane. But the strength of Charity Kane, that's what I was looking at whenever we booked her on this, on this program. I wanted to see somebody who brought something just a little bit different. And Charity Kane is one of the strongest young female performers I've seen in a long, long time. Yes, I've seen um, her matches. She is dominant. I always talk about how whenever you match two competitors up, you've got to look at the strengths and the weaknesses. And whenever you talk about Charity Kane, the strength is the strength. The strength is the strength, you're the right. Whereas Rachel might have the experience and she might have the height advantage and she might have what you would consider a hometown advantage or a home field advantage, Charity does not walk in at a deficit here. Charity walks in knowing that if she wants to and if she can maintain control, just like she's doing right now, she can toss Rachel around like a rag doll. And you also got to add in the experience that Rachel Rose has. And Charity's stomping right on Rachel's chest. But Rachel's not going to take that lion down. She's going to try to fight her way out of it. But again, I talked about strategy. I'm not entirely sure that going strike for strike with a power hitter like Charity Kane is the right way to go. I'm not saying I doubt the queen, but I do question her from time to time. I mean, you got to do what you can in a desperating moment. And that is a textbook. Fisherman suplex into a cover one. She gets a two count out of it. Almost as perfect as Mr. Perfect's. Almost. You got to imagine if she would have followed through and kept a bridge, we might have seen a victory for Charity Kane right there. And now, just taunting Rachel in the corner. Not laying in those those hits, just doing enough to and insult those forearms Rachel. forearms to the face. And that stiff knee lift, knocking the wind out of the queen. A snapmare. Ooh. Takes her down. Goes for a. I thought she was going for a cover, but it looks like she's just going for the good old ground and pound here. Laying those forearms into the face of Rachel Rose. Rachel, you got to get your hands up if you want to protect yourself. We don't want to see you get knocked out here, but she reverses into a cover and gets a two count. Rachel back to her feet. Ducks a clothesline. Running crossbody into a cover. Gets a two count out of it. Rachel, you're gonna have to keep keep going. Yeah, Rachel Can't cannot get tired let up. Now. She cannot let up. Charity. Another These impressive hard -hitting, hard -hitting debuts suplex. tonight. Hard hitting suplex. Goes for the cover, gets a two count. You did a very good job with these debuts, Jacob. I've been scouting. I want to make sure that the future of RWR is safe. And we can only do that if we're constantly bringing in impressive young performers like Charity Kane, like Will the Thrill. We're going to see more making their debuts tonight. We have uh, Kenny Calypso, who is going to be making his debut later. All right. Charity locking in the Boston Crab. Wrenching back using the hair. No, that's the camel clutch. Oh, God. See, it is so hot here, and I am so dehydrated that I oh can't even goodness. tell my camel clutch from my Boston crab. Thank you, Haley. Can you pass me that water? 
Yes, I sure will. Scoop slam from Charity Kane. As expected, Charity going for these high impact moves, trying to knock the wind out of Rachel Rose. If you can't breathe, you can't fight. And you have to imagine, Rachel is giving it her all. But maybe there's Another not quite one? as much oof behind oh those, goodness. those blows as there would be. And She's Charity, just dominating all. Charity is feeling herself here. Rachel Rose. Back elbow from Rachel, staggers Charity. But Rachel is on the ropes. She is wow, what defensive a kick. here. She needs to get back on the offense if she wants to walk away with a win. And there's a close line. What a close line. line. And another. Rachel might be getting her second win here. Off the ropes. Sidekick. Off the ropes again. And oh, there's the spear. spear. There's the spear. Can she go for the cover? One, two. Oh. Oh, and a kick out. I, I would have sworn that was three. I, I thought it was a three. That was three. She still has a lot of fight left in her then. Rachel standing tall. Off those ropes, oh, right into a clothesline. Oh my goodness. Charity almost picks up a win there with a two count. That was She's a hell got, of a clothesline too. I'll tell you this, Charity has Rachel well scouted. She knows what Rachel's gonna go for, maybe before Rachel does herself. As I said, Rachel was the RWR Vixens champion for over 600 days. That's a lot of tape to study. It's Charity also Kane. why she's called the Young Vet. And Charity's got her up. But Rachel fighting out. Shoots her off into the ropes. And there's the super what? kick. I know what oh that feels goodness. like. I know you know. Another. And another for good measure sends her down to her knees. And the fans are feeling it. Off with Rachel. her head. With a shining wizard at the back of Charity's head, goes to the cover, one, two, three. And the queen has picked up a victory here tonight at Flash Forward over Charity What Kane. a statement by the queen is about to speak.
Rachel Rose has called out Vixens champion Nyla Rose. She wants that Vixens championship back, and I do not blame her one bit. As RWR chairman Scott Bruce has made his way to the ring. July 31st, Texas Indie Showcase, Houston Premier Arena, Rachel Rose, Nyla Rose, War of the Roses. Josh, is that it did not seem like Eva Lise and Diamante are forming any sort of partnership here. It looks like it's essentially every woman for themselves. Oh my goodness. And we have word here, and There Josh. it is. That is what is on the line. And this is a fatal four-way elimination style match for the ladies' night out championship. We have, we have been told this is elimination, so you have to wonder, will now we see Ivelisse and Diamante pop perhaps come together? As you yeah. see them on the same side of the ring right now, this is not a tag team match, folks. Fatal four-way, the last woman standing will be the ladies' night out champion. Diamante and Kiara Hogan in a, a a nationally known they're in a relationship they're in a personal relationship absolutely it's all over social media groundbreaking relationship between the two and you got to think if that's got to play in here tonight because diamante being the newest member of Eva Lisa's gang kier hogan on the outside looking in you know she doesn't she can't appreciate that but it's almost like two brothers playing against each other in major league baseball you go out there one's the pitcher one's the hitter yes sir all bets are off once that bell rings that's it all four of these ladies definitely eyeing that ladies' night out championship. So Alizé and Hogan starting to get into it. Eva Lise has the experience advantage of this match as a 17-year professional, but I don't know how much that's going to really factor in. As Kiera Hogan just wow. tossed right to the mat, and Alizé oh! Tope suicide to the outside, right to Eva Lise and Diamante. Wow. Not often do you see suicide dives from a ladies match, but that just goes to show you how important this championship is. Now here goes Kiara Hogan. She's picking up some steam. Woo! And the girl on fire is smoking <laughs> here inside the Benton Convention Center. Ooh. And remember folks, this is not one fall to a finish. Eliminations do apply. Pinfalls and submissions are at stake. Come on, ladies, bring it in. Oh. And you have to wonder, referee Ben Grayson here counting away. He might need an assistant out there. Yeah, yeah I don't ref, I don't envy Ben Grayson Eva right Lise, now. He opens the cockpit door. And right out of Miami International, <laughs> Diamante flying right through. That's a direct flight to Charlotte. Oh, wait. Eva Lise. Oh! And she comes tumbling down. Right on all four ladies. Once again, it's every woman for themselves. Throwing their bodies on the line to try and gain an advantage here in this matchup. As Ladies Night Out has really established itself over the last couple of years in Houston, Texas, recently coming apart here in Winston-Salem as well, putting on a great event. But what they really established there with the Title Match Wrestling Network has really put all these ladies on the map and really given them a big time outlet to shine. Yes, sir. Last time Kiera Hogan and Diamante were in this building, back at the end of August, they uh, Diamante called out Kiera Hogan for that match that they just recently had. They went to war with each other. They say it didn't tarnish their relationship. They're stronger than ever, but we'll see when 
Ladies Night Out Gold is on the line. And once again, folks, we're gonna do our best to call the action. You saw Eva Lise right there. Send Kiera Hogan right into the guardrail on the opposite side of the ring. Miranda Alizé and Diamante going at it. Now it looks like Diamante and Eva Lise. Yeah, Diamante not too happy with what Eva Lise did to Kiera Hogan. They briefly look like they're getting back on the same page. Diamante sidesteps Alizé, and Alizé takes out the Ladies Night Out champion. Ooh. And I would put Diamante up against anybody else in the world of professional wrestling. That is one tough young lady, and she gave it to Miranda Alizé. Indeed, ducks underneath right there does Diamante. And a sliced bread right in the center of the ring. Our first elimination could be on its way, too. And a near fall. Wow. And Miranda Alizé took Ivelisse to the limit uh, in their title match. Ivelisse ultimately the victor, and who was the reigning and defending champion here in this matchup. So she's no short... She no shortcomings, I should say, coming into this matchup. And Diamante's aware of it. And, oh, wait Absolutely. a minute. Absolutely, and it looks like the triple sleeper here. Ibalise is in. And you never know what to expect in the showcase of champions, I believe, for the very first time. Oh, my goodness. A four-person sleeper hold. Oh, wait a minute. Ibalise looking for that uh, leverage advantage. How is this going to work? I don't think I'd want to be Miranda Alizé. Oh. There's a jawbreaker by Alizé, and the arm drag takes down Diamante. Meanwhile, Ivelisse continues the punishment in the corner there against Kiera Hogan. And you notice that she was doing that while Diamante was otherwise distracted. I don't think she'd be too uh, kind that she was bending the rules. As Hogan has Ivelisse in a very precarious position as she ascends to the top here. Superplex could be on its way. Wait a minute, Diamante, she puts herself in position. Josh, here we go. Miranda Alizé's in there. We could see the German suplex. Uh -oh. Superplex combo, oh! power of doom. Wow, that one took out everybody. A superplex, a power bomb, and a German all into one. That sounds like the start of a bad joke to me. As all four ladies are down, three of them are in the ring. The current reigning and defending Ladies Night Out champion is laid out on the outside in the form of La Sicaria. And, you, and curious, the referee is counting. It is an elimination style match, so somebody could be counted out here. That would be a very interesting caveat here to this elimination matchup. Miranda Alizé going to town. And Alizé wallops Diamante there in the near side corner. Gets Hogan there in the far side corner. Miranda Alizé having her way right now with two of the competitors in this matchup. Picks up Diamante. Let's just go for a pump handle. But Eva Lee's comes to the aid of her partner. And now it looks like a double team on its way. The Ooh. double DDT on Alizé, the former champion. One, two, three. And Diamante has eliminated Miranda Alizé. And so now you got to wonder what kind of game plan is going on there as Eva Lise let Diamante pick up that pinfall. Certainly a feather in her cap, but at the same time, don't want to do too much Steiner math right here, but I do believe the percentages now increase for Eva Lise. Yeah, it's almost like a two-on-one handicap match here, but you got to think of the personal relationship between Diamante and Kira Hogan might change those odds a little bit. Adds another layer to this story here inside the ring that's set to unfold right in front of our eyes as Kiera Hogan. Diamante did not want to take those orders. I think someone might be sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> as Eva Lise there sends Kiera Hogan right down. And look at Eva Lise there stopping a mud hole at Kiera Hogan and set to walk it dry. Diamante begging her off there. She wants to win, but at the same time. That looked to be a little excessive for Diamante's liking. Yeah, that, uh, that plane ride home might be a little uncomfortable. As the former member of LAX. A little bit of a. Uh, Trying to come to the aid here of her. Yeah, we've got all kinds of conflicting relationships going on here, professional and personal. A personal relationship and a professional relationship. What's got to give there, Josh? 
don't know, but it looks like right now Eva Lee has only one thing in mind, and that's winning this championship. Diamante right now is on the clock, so you have to think the professional relationship might take precedent. Yeah, you definitely want to see where their loyalties lie. And, and you see that she picks up the intensity, but briefly regrets it. Diamante certainly having second thoughts about dishing out the punishment towards Kiera Hogan. Yes, sir, that look of remorse. It, it bends, it bends, but eventually, Blake, it's got to break. You have some real veterans in there. As Eva leads with a stiff kick right to the kidney region. I don't know how well that's going to sit with Diamante. Ivelisse barking orders. The Irish whip here, the double team. And the double flapjack. Down goes Kiara Hogan. This could be it. Kiara might be eliminated. And Josh, what happens if she is eliminated? What's going to happen between Ivelisse? Now they have to question, why would Ivelisse break up the pin? Very good point. Diamante may have gone for the cover, trying to save her, right? Save her additional punishment. Go ahead and eliminate her. something else in mind. It looks like Eva Lee wants to be the queen of the ring right now and have things go her way and her way only. And she's ordering around Diamante. Let's see if she's able to follow these instructions. They go for the double back suplex. And Kiera Hogan. Her trainer, Mr. Hughes, is in the house tonight watching very closely. Like I said earlier, if you think these young ladies are going to go easy on each other, you've got it wrong. And Hogan comes back with a blow against Diamante. She needs to be careful right behind. Oh, as Eva Lee really collides there with Diamante. Oh! And Hogan, oh! Sweeps the leg, forces a cutter right there. Here we go, stacks her up. Two, three, and Diamante's gone. Whoa! Kiara Hogan. Getting the pinfall on Diamante, eliminating her. Wow. So Diamante is gone, Miranda Alizé is gone. And that leaves Kiara Hogan and Eva Lise. La Sicaria, the defending champion here, looking to keep that gold around her waist. And it's only been a couple of weeks. She wants to head into 2020, still that champion. You gotta think that this personal relationship, just because Diamante's been eliminated, does not mean it is over. And Josh, going back to what we were discussing just a couple of moments ago, Diamante now off the clock. Does that change her allegiance, perhaps, with what's going on inside the ring? I gotta say it does. She's looking at Kiara Hogan, has this look in her eye like she's sorry, she's remorseful, but you gotta leave her to her own, it's, it's her job. And Diamante watching very closely what's going on inside the ring as Eva Lee's going back and forth here with Kiara Hogan. Hogan, a four-year pro. Eva Lee's a 17-year pro. Certainly an experience advantage for the champion here, but I don't know who has more heart than Kiara Hogan. Right now, she is giving it to Eva Lee. And a series of kicks right now by Kiara Hogan. And Hogan, oh, runs her face first. Into that top turnbuckle. The look on Kiara Hogan's face as she drives Eva Lee into the turnbuckle cover. And now right in front of us here, Josh. And Kiara Hogan really picking up the pace. You gotta think, you gotta think that aggression from Kiara Hogan. Eva Lee's calling out for Diamante's help. She's a bit reluctant. Hogan kicks away the hands there of Eva Lee. She might have knocked her out. We might have a new champion here. One, two. Oh. Diamante up on the apron there. But Josh, you have to wonder, was she coming in there to break up the pin? Or was she coming in there to celebrate a new champion? That is definitely a good question. We heard Eva Lee screaming out to Diamante, go ahead, come in, help me, please. And you've got to think Kiara Hogan, the frustration she's had over Diamante being sided with Eva Lee. I just, I don't know. We've talked about John Hawkins being a difference maker tonight, the Thomas Thomas being a difference maker tonight. With Diamante hanging around ringside, she very well can factor in to who walks out of the Bed Convention Center with the Ladies' Night Out Championship. Eva Lee's begging off here. What? As Eva Lee's here, what is she trying to do? Oh! And oh the my God! Ben Grayson 
His glasses fall into the fifth row. There's Miranda Alizé. Alizé's in the ring. What the hell is she doing back here? Alizé and the cutter out of nowhere. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, what? Alizé, Ivelisse has no idea what's going on. It's like a Christmas present wrapped up for Ivelisse. And she nails her there with a big kick to the face. The referee somewhat coming to. Two, three, and Ivelisse is still the champion. Miranda Alizé wrapped up that victory for Ivelisse. Now wait a minute, I was all concerned about Kiara Hogan and Diamante's relationship, but why would Miranda Alizé, who has such hatred for it, why would she come out here and help her? Well, it looks like the tide might have turned here, Josh. Whoa, wait a minute, Blake. As Alizé's in the ring, she's got something to say. I is she trying to join here? I think she said, I want in. And Diamante, it looks like Diamante does not approve. Something does have to give here. She wants in, Blake. You didn't do anything. You sat on your ass this whole night. Whoa. Diamante, none too pleased about this one. Las Sicarias just got a new member in Miranda Alizé. In championship wrestling, Mother May I May event is scheduled for one fall and is for the GCW. Division Championship. Introducing first, standing to my right, the challenger, hailing from Des Moines, Iowa. She is the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. And her opponent, standing to my left, hailing from Guinea, West Africa. She is the current Generation Championship Wrestling Diamonds Division Champion. She is the African Woman Wrestler, Queen Aminata. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Diamonds Division Championship on the line. Mother May I main event. The Killer Bay against the Queen. Let's go, Queen! <laughs> Trying the belt on for size. I don't know if that's a, a good idea. here on Title Match Network. My name is Sticks. Be joined here just momentarily by the young professor. This is why we're here. CrossFit Exalted Sanford, Florida. The Killer Bay and the Queen with the gold on the line. You know, I don't know what happened. The Queen came out in all her splendor and all her glory. Yes! And decided to throw trash at me. Because you're trash. You're just, that's just a, her royal highness, Queen Aminata, knows trash and peasantry when she smells it and sees it. And just, certainly, with me sitting this close, let me tell you, she can smell it. Oh, nice collar elbow tie, tie up. At least two ladies here. I'm telling your mom. I think she'd be on my side. Heather Monroe. Heather Monroe. Side, side headlock. Onto the champion. The Queen Aminata. Not one to be trifled with. 
Little shimmy and a shake here early. Queen taking her time. These ladies, I believe this is the first time they've met. It's certainly here at GCW. They're feeling each other out early. Oh, Single leg. Takes Steps her through. down. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Modified figure four reverse. I like it. I haven't seen this before. I like the An roll innovative through. twist on a very effective old school maneuver. Look at the way she's torquing the ankle. Look at the way she's using her feet. No, I tell you what, this is a smart move, and it looks like Heather Monroe has been doing some film study here leading up to this match because Queen Aminata is absolutely lethal in her striking. Not Queen Aminata, in the upper body, but also in the lower body. That was a lethal headlock takeover. <laughs> now Queen, with the side headlock Queen on the ground. Aminata. Wait, going for a key lock. Quick cover there. Your Queen Aminata also recently featured on AEW Dark. Yep. Our champion, our Diamonds Division champion, oh, our look Diamond at this Cup winner. Oh, bar. look at this! Shoulder lock deep. Oh, that is not where you want to be. Oh, look at, look, oh man. So violent. So aggressive, so strong. The Queen has been ruling the Diamonds Division for quite some time here at GCW. Always she finding a way to retain. Winning the championship back in December at the inaugural Diamond Cup. Look at the killer which, bay now, though. Which, by the way, I have it on good authority. The second annual Diamond Cup later this year. It's looking like December. All right. But nevertheless, the first ever Diamond Cup winner and the Diamonds Division champion, Queen Aminata, has laid waste to every single challenge that has come her way. She's looking oh. to add to her resume tonight by going through the Killer Bay. Killer Bay with the side, with the head, the leg head scissors, I'm sorry. That's right. Maybe if you would focus on your work and get all tongue tied. I got a little distracted, I apologize. I don't know how thing. you get when the Diamonds Division matches happen. You need to take it easy over there. Well, I can't appreciate art when I see it. That's fair. Oh! Driving the knee into the mat is the champion. I want to thank our sponsors. I want to thank Title Match Network for carrying us here on YouTube. Of course, you can follow us everywhere on social media, Generation Championship Wrestling. I want to thank our friends here, too, at CrossFit Exalted. Awesome location, fantastic venue here for this great show. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, all right. You think she give me a signed 8x10? If you pay for it. I mean, I have plenty of ones. Colored elbow tie up, center of the ring. Side headlock here. Killer Bay trying to take control of this match. The Queen now using what she does best, her fists, to take control and reverse it. Heather Monroe with a few strikes of her own sends the champ off the ropes. Monroe though, oh, double neck neck. backslide. We're gonna put her away. A little too much momentum there. Steps through. The nice cradle. Big kick to the midsection. Queen, I mean, I'm waiting for the Irish whip. Gets reversed into the corner. Here comes the challenger, the Killer Bay. Oh wait a second. I think she was going for a monkey flip. There we got caught. The champ. No! Oh wait, nice lucha nice. arm drag. A little bit of tilt the world action from the top. Off the second, bottom rope. Yeah. Rock kick. Look at the speed and agility of and the killer bay. Wisely moved, rolls to the outside. The champ now has to regroup here. Use your ten count. The she champ called timeout. Out. Time out. There, there, there are no timeouts out. though. Timeouts in wrestling. I mean, they're, they're both recognizing it, but that, right that's not part of it. Go ahead, tell her. Tell her there's I'm no not time or anything. Go ahead. I'm just hoping she's not paying attention. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Smart move, buddy. Look what you did. You time out. Around. She's telling the referee See? time out. See? I'm not sure what she's worried about, though. She's got champion's advantage. Oh, killer bait. Uh, if she gets counted out, yes, she loses the match, but she doesn't lose the title. That's right. Championships retained. So Heather Monroe is going to have to give chase if she's looking to do anything here, but it involves her walking home with some gold. Uh, she needs water. I have water. I'll give her water. She doesn't want your water. She already threw your empty bottle in your face. 
That was your empty bottle. That was your trash. Thank you. Now it's your trash. You touched it last. She's looking for water. She wants somebody to give her some water. Now the champion's back in the ring. The challenger's in the ring. They're circling one another. Here we go again. Oh, look at that. They're using the hair for a little added leverage. I didn't see that. I just saw her throw her down on the mat the hard way. Yeah, you very conveniently don't ever see whenever anybody bends the rules. What do you it's mean? It's amazing. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. Rules are ridiculous. There's no such thing as rules. Winning, losing, and money are the only two things that matter in this world. Snap suplex. And the sooner you learn that, the better off you'll be. Here's one thing I have learned. Whenever Queen Aminata gets that look on her face, it spells trouble for whoever's standing across the ring from her. Killer, they're trying to fight off here. I don't know if punching Queen Aminata in the face is a good idea. Oh, there it is! That big forearm from Queen Aminata! Oh! There it is. Look There's it. what has made her so successful as our Diamonds Division champion. Did you see Killer Bay's head bounce off the second turnbuckle? I sure did. I'm pretty sure she's going to be feeling that for the next few days. She's going to be feeling pain all over her body after the strikes from the Queen. Monroe now off the ropes. It's oh. caught with the clothesline. Champion looking to retain. Killer Bay kicking out here. Heather Monroe stays in it. I mean, you do what the Queen says. Clap. Scoops her up, looking for perhaps a sidewalk slam, a backbreaker. Perhaps there it is, a backbreaker. <laughs> the stall adds that much more emphasis. Now the knee right on the back. Now both knees. Now standing on her opponent. Oh, look at this. He's in the rope. Oh, driving both knees right into the lower back. That lumbar spine of Heather Monroe. Oh, God. I don't know why. What? Look at the look she's giving Lee Canfield. Not yet. She said, is she dead? Not yet. Rolls her up. School girl roll up. Oh, wow, that was close. God, right on the side of the head. That See, is where the, concussions come from. Those kicks, that's what I was telling you earlier. When Heather Monroe was attacking the legs of Queen Aminata, that was a strategic oh, look maneuver. At this, look at this, look at this. But she did not do enough damage to take that face away Stepping from the chair. Stepping on the head with her throat those repeated across kicks. the bottom rope. And now, oh, oh wow. God. Stop it. Lee, you gotta stop this match. She's done. Heather Monroe no kicks way. out at two. No way. You're a smart man, sort of. Would you have kicked out after that? No, I'm not a wrestler. That's the reason I sit over here. Because, I don't know, I don't want to get kicked or punched or slammed or any of that. That's really not what I'm Whoa, interested in. Rolls her up. Oh, wait a second. Hooks her up. A submission of a sleeper. That's a judo move. She's Hooked got it in, locked in. in. This spells trouble for the champion. Oh, look at Aminata. The queen trying to anything she can to break the hole. Wait a minute, queen Aminata pulling the hair. I thought she was going for a cover there. Now she's just ramming her face into the mat. Oh, that'll ruin your day. Uh-oh, queen Aminata. Get out of the way. Coming in hot. Oh, no! Driving all the way through. Yeah, I know somewhere where that's really expensive. Cover! <laughs> Killer Bay in a bad way. With the title on the line as the queen stands tall. You know, I, I just don't know what it's going to take for anybody to take that title away from oh Queen God. Aminata. She won it in a tournament against some of the absolute best women's wrestlers in the entire world. 
She has held on to it. She has fought fierce competition for the last several months at every event. Whatever challenge stands in her way, Mongolian she knows how to come shot. out on top. The only person to beat Sky Blue here at GCW. That's true. I mean, even Sky oh Blue, my who God. has no other blemishes on her record, has fallen before the queen. You got to believe at some point those two are going to meet here in the squared circle at GCW. And I, for one, cannot wait to see it as much as I love this match. Well, right actually, in front of us. Sticks, it's funny that you say that because next month at River City Wrestling Con in Jacksonville, Florida, Sky oh. Blue and Queen Aminata are going to be involved in a triple threat match with Diana Perrazzo, the Impact wow. Wrestling Knockouts Champion. Are you sure? That will be a match put together by us here with Generation Championship Wrestling. I might so want to check, sure you guys your, note. I check well. your notes. Oh, Heather Monroe, somebody woke her up and she means business in there. Chops forearms all over the queen. The champion has just been picking her apart left and right. But here comes the challenger off the ropes, but Queen Aminata takes her down hard. Puts her off in the pass. Goes for a cover. <laughs> The queen getting a little frustrated here with the challenger. What's Queen Ooh. Aminata gonna do now? Something painful! Oh my oh. god! Right to the top of the spinal cord, back of the neck, back of the head. These fans are brutal. And I love it. You would. Queen of not off the rope. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, catches a God. knee right to the face. Heather Monroe, this is her chance. Oh, my Double God. Double foot stomp right to the back of the head oh. of the champion. I love this match. Every time the Diamonds Division is featured here at Generation Championship Wrestling on Title Match Network, they bring everything to the table. It is violent. It is hard hitting. And it is beautiful all at the same time. Look at how much difficulty both of these women are having getting back to their feet. She's asking for it. God, I wouldn't. I'm, oh I've seen enough God. of Queen Aminata's matches. I wouldn't ask for it. Not at all. Queen Aminata now. Walking the length of the apron. I don't know if I would turn my back on the challenger with the title on the line. This is dangerous. Oh my god. This is not a good place to be for either woman right now. It just feels like it hurts from here. Oh, oh no! Wow. Oh no! Right on the steel post supporting the ring. Did you hear that? That steel frame. Oh wow. Oh, it takes down the champion. What's well, good for god the goose? Mighty. Good for the gander. Holy cow. Both ladies eating the apron, which is not something that's good for your diet anytime. She said timeout, ref, do your chop. There are no timeout sticks. Oh my god. Oh no. Using the support of the equipment here in CrossFit Exalted. And the support of the fans. Lucky fans. They're the heading right out. Not just the front row, oh. the second row. Oh no. Oh my god. The fans are getting more than they bargained for here tonight. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! Oh. Good Lord! Oh. oh my God! Oh, that was terrifying. I know this is Mother Maya. Did your mother ever hit you like that, Sticks? Uh, a couple times. Jeez, Jesus! Oh. Enter crashing into the second row. And now Heather Monroe clearing out the foot traffic what? here. Making what some space. They want a little do? bit more real estate to take this out right into the middle of CrossFit Exalted. The killer bay. 
What does she have in mind here? Uh, this is what gonna are we going to see? A crossbody across the chair under the champion. A crossbody at God Cross Almighty. Johnson. Holy cow, on the concrete floor. Good Lord. Yes, indeed. Our Diamonds Division is something special. It's something to behold here, folks. That's why we've got tens of thousands of views. Heck, you put them all together, there's hundreds of thousands of views on Title Match Network on YouTube. Finally back and in right the ring now, here. Heather Monroe might do the unthinkable. She might pull off what we have thought no one can do. She is looking like the favorite right now to knock off the champion. This... Queen Aminata went for a forearm counter from the challenger. The killer Bay has got her number here. What a clothesline from the challenger. Kick to the midsection. Build up Steve, drop kick to the back of the head. The killer Bay has been a champion everywhere she goes. Sent She's on. collected gold all over the Cover. country. She's Move looking to do it here in Sanford tonight. Queen Aminata hangs on a little longer. Holy cow. Could you imagine what would happen if the Killer Bay walks away with the Diamonds Division Championship here tonight? It would change the landscape of things in our Diamonds Division. It's what it would do. And right now, things are not looking good for Queen Aminata. Heather Monroe. That handspring back elbow. Yeah. Nobody home. That is she went in hard to that turnbuckle. Oh, wait a minute. Queen Aminata now. Coming in hot. Oh! Like a freight train running right on through. Chugga, chugga, choo choo. God dang, man. All oh, those vicious kicks. And here you start to see the anger, the frustration, but the calculated violence of Queen Aminata. Here she comes again. Oh, she gets home. home. Rolls her up. Wait a minute, roll through. Oh, wait for a kick. Um, both ladies, one step ahead of each other, big forearm from Heather Monroe. The killer bay using those ropes again. Double knees. Hits her right in the collarbones. The queen still on her feet. Manages to land a kick before taking the dive. Both ladies. This is incredible. Out of it this here. This is incredible. Best women's division in wrestling right now, I, I have to say. I mean, I have to agree. And not just because we work here. No. I mean, what we get to this witness is, every is month here at Generation Championship phenomenal. Wrestling, when the Diamonds Division has possession of the squared circle, it is something special. It is something to behold here, folks. Both these ladies doing everything they can. You see the bruises on the killer bay. You I see think there the, might be a few more after tonight. Exhaustion of the queen. Toe to toe. Challenger with a forearm. One from the champ. Oh my god. <laughs> they just don't feel anything anymore. After taking so much punishment. Oh man. Stop. Knife edge chop from the challenger. The champ trying to gather herself after that one. I think she felt it. Oh, fun from the champion. Queen Aminata counters. Hooks, hooks her up. up. Oh, wait a minute. Remember that swinging neck breaker? Oh my God. With that snapdragon. Right on the head. Big kick takes out the cover, champion. Cover, cover, takes cover. out the champion. She's gonna get her. <laughs> queen Aminata kicks out. Long live the queen. Holy cow. You see the frustration of the killer bay. What do I have to do? How much more do I have to go through to dethrone the queen here at GCW? Well, whoever does it, if, if that ever happens. It may never happen. Because, let's face it, she's going through everybody. And even though well, this she's on the receiving end, 
Queen Aminata. Look at this still alive. Rose, 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 Rose are up. Oh, Big four from the champion, Queen Aminata. Hooks are in. That fisherman's neck breaker. Queen goes for the cover. Can she do it? <gasps> Heather Monroe kicks out at two and a half. Lee Carefield says two. I don't know, man. Goes for the cover again. Queen Aminata. Oh, oh she's going to hook her. She's going to hook What's her. She looking, for looking for some kind of cross face, perhaps. Oh, wait a second. She's trying to grab that other arm, that opposing arm. If she can hook it. Look at that modified stretch! Look at that modified stretch! Cross oh, face. face is locked in! Cross face from the queen! Locked in! Reaching for the ropes! Monroe so close! Another better row. She's got to tap here. She's got to tap. Wait a minute. Look she's how she's inching scooting. ever closer. Oh, so she close. She is a finger length away. So close. Can she get there? She better hope so. If she oh, wants to stay in yes. She does. She does. Holy she gets there. Cow. Breaks a hold. Green Army now holding on for the full five count oh, just to get as God. much in as she can. This, as much punishment. This match is great. Five stars, Meltzer. Write it down. But now, but Heather Monroe, okay, she gets to the ropes, but she's just getting torn apart. Oh, waist lock and Queen here. Aminata is still ready for her. Oh, uh, Monroe hooks the top rope. She's hanging on for dear life, and rightfully she so. Better. Back elbow from the challenger. The killer bay escapes the grip of the champion. Perhaps momentarily. Oh, look at that choke. Look at that choke. Deep, deep choke. Oh, the killer bay looks like she's fading. That's a hook Wait a choke. minute. She picks the champ up on her back. Drops her down. A jawbreaker from the challenger. Queen, I mean, on a rose through, doesn't get, gets that shoulder up just in time. What are we going to see here? What else can they do to each other? What else can they do to each other? So much abuse on both sides for so long here. Challenger now picking up the champion. It's like she's hooking her. Both hands crossed. Choking the champion. Knee to the side and under the back. Just incapacitating her. Queen of Inada, though, oh. fighting her way back slowly to her feet. Oh, look, she's able to escape, roll her over. Oh, wait a second, Queen Aminata picks her up. Wait a minute, run through. Only a two count. Both Big shot from Heather Monroe. That one connects. The Bichinoku driver. Hey, that's how you, she's won every championship you can't that she's ever. That. That's the name of the move. That's the name of it. Oh, the Queen of, oh, oh wow. Man. Feet on the ropes. Feet on the ropes. Get she has the put away so many women with that maneuver. The ring awareness there. Queen Aminata getting to the ropes. It was just bad the positioning Bichinoku there. The Bichinoku driver is what she called That's, it. She has you, picked up gold all over the country. You, you, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Don't talk about my mother. Mama Professor is a saint. She is. She raised you. Big forearm for the challenger. You can just see the frustration from Heather Monroe. She had this thing in the bag. She had it won. Queen Aminata, just out of pure positioning, stays in it. The challenger, though, coming in hot. She's looking to take her upstairs. This is going to end bad for somebody or both. Oh, wait a minute. Queen Aminata showing oh big sides a lot. Huge headbutt from the champ. Oh, wait a second. That kick connects. Heather Monroe hooking her up. Looking for a superplex. She's hooking her up. Top row. She gets her. Can she get there in time? 
Wait a minute. Pick what is she doing? To her feet. It looks like she's going to go for the pitch and open driver again. Green on and gets out this time. Waist lock. German oh. suplex. Aminata now stays right on top of her. Wait a minute, Hooter. She's got that swinging fisherman's neck breaker. That's got to be it. That's got to do it. Aminata's not done. Oh, wait a second. Queen Aminata. Pattern upstairs. Does the queen fly? She does. Looking for that patented flipping senton bomb from Queen Aminata. May her reign continue. Oh! She connects and goes for that cover. And three. Here is your winner. And still. This is it right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the Five Points Championship. That's right. That tournament. The inaugural. The inaugural, yes. Inaugural. That's inaugural fine. championship. Hey, come here. No. like he sees it. <laughs> this is it. These two have had a lot of heated words. Big oh slap. Oh, my God. Oh. Big kick to the stomach from Steve Pena. Big shot. He's fighting. Oh. Big. Oh, my. What? Look at Steve Pena. Yeah. Beat there him. There you go. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. There you go. Oh, he still got her. Oh, he's still got no, her. No, she's not down. She's No, she's right back up. Oh, wow. She what a kill. Almost caught him. Blocks to Saido. Nope. That's one of his big moves. Oh, the backhand. Backhand. Look at the power. Whoa. Just deadlifts him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, my Pena's God. Pena's on the outside. And Pena running away. There she goes. Oh, gosh. Corkscrew dive by Masha Slamovich to Masha. start this Get match him, off. Masha. Beat him. Beat him Fast down. And furious. That is the theme of this match. Oh, is Masha looking for a dive? No, 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 oh, no Masha! Out, don't out. do it! Don't do it! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! The hell is wrong Holy with you? Shit! What is wrong with you? He may have knocked her out. He may have knocked her out. What a shot! He, no. you, he bent the chair in half. Did you see that? He didn't bend shit. Her head bent the chair in well, half. Well, there you go. Oh. That's got to be it. No shot. Look at the bridge out for the pin. Masha Slamovich. I mean, if that shot had occurred in the streets, Pena would be doing time. Yes. Big oh. call line. Here's that series Big of Big to the back. Steve Pena, oh relentless God. in his goal to become the first ever five point oh. champion. Oh. Big oh. Larry! Oh. Come on, Marissa! Come on, get up! No! Barely kicks out. Pena's you have firmly. to be worried about Marshall Slamovich well, at this I, I'm point. I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to give her her space. She's in there, but it's is driving me crazy. What a shot, man. Steve Pena, an equal opportunity. Ass kicker. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Steve Pena showing that me streak, saying he can one up Masha Slamovich. Come on. Masha's Let it mean. go. Pena might be meaner. 
There's nobody meaner on the planet than Masha Slamovich. She just needs to get up and show him exactly who's boss. Pena's firmly in control after that chair shot. Uh, See Pena popping uh, up. Uh, Belly to oh back, gosh. suplex on the Come apron. On. Showing how vicious he is. Yeah, and that's how you, uh, and he sits down wisely. Yeah, Pena doesn't look like he's joking around at this nah. point. He, he might actually take into account. Oh. There you go, Masha, there you go, Masha. Your stomach. Yes, oh, God. there you go. Big shot to the chair to the back. Just so kick that They're gonna break the chair at this point. There you go. I'm gonna choke him. You want a power outage? You death. might as well earn it. There you go. Choke him out. She's choking him to death. Kill choking him. him out with it, the cables it's to the not, lighting rig. It's not murder. It's wrestling. <laughs> they listen. They both want it. Oh well, Masha my wanted goodness. Her to she got it, and she's giving it back. Yeah. Big forearm from Masha to Pena. Big oh forearm from C. Pena to Masha. They're killing each other. There is no remorse. What is Pena no looking for mercy now? No from either one of these two. This is the fight we all expected it would be. Pena looking for something, and I don't want it. What? Oh, crap. Oh, like, where the hell did he find a kendo stick? Masha, watch your back, Masha. Watch out. See, Pena got a manic look in his back. Oh! oh! No! Steve Pena. I mean, this is the most manic. This is the most aggressive I've ever seen him. This is the C. Pena that I think we all are going to go to know. Oh! Stop it! <laughs> Steve Pena does not care. He knows how much this title means. It is in the history books. It is history in the making. He could be the very first five points champion, and he does not want to be denied. Steve Pena is still bitter about the loss at the last Battle Club oh. show. Masha fighting back. She says, no way. Oh. Those, those shots, she must be a little weak. You have to admit, she's been taking a beating in this match. Uh, any, any normal competitor oh, big would be shot out. for Masha. No, no doubt. Oh, my goodness. You see that? Like, with Pena, when he throws they those chops, it's form. It's it, a lot of form. They're like, beating the shit you, out of you, each you've other. You've heard of something called strong style. Huh? This has blown that away. Yeah. This is way beyond that. This is personal. <laughs> this is a beating. This is the fight we all knew it was going to be. There's no denying. Round one was good. Round two will be even better. Yes! Big German suplex yes! from Masha out of nowhere. Finish him off. Oh, looking for that knee. No, 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 no. German. Big German suplex receipt from Steve Pena. Is the finisher close to finishing this match? Masha Slavovic says no. He blocked the that. behind. Big oh line to the back goodness. of the head. Come on, Masha. Both, <laughs> both athletes down, down at the moment. I can't believe this match. Joe, can you Masha, believe it? I cannot. Masha, Masha, Masha. No matter who wins this match, both these two earn their right to be in the finals of this tournament. Yes. Looking for that pin. Oh! Just a two count. A this two goes. count. Pena There's is still frustrated. Some, still some fight left in Masha Slamovic. She will not be denied. Up kicks. Oh! Running knee from Masha Slamovic. Whip to the corner. Hard whip. Running full steam ahead. Yeah. Jacuzzi kick there in the corner. Go. Going for the big kill with the big spinning heel kick. Cover him. Go for the cover. Him. Lateral Here press. Here we go, new champ. Big kick out Woo. from Steve Pena. This close to having our new champion. And Masha saying that's over. Powell drive him straight to hell. Gio got on oh, his feet. I haven't sat down. Well, he had not sat down all the once with Pena. Told you to sit down. Oh my Big headbutt head from head Steve head Pena. Saeed oh my God, he dropped on her head. <sighs> Pena with his patented Saeed Plex. Will this be enough? Oh. 
Last second kick out. Gino's about to have a heart Jesus. attack, hopefully sooner than later. Oh my God. Come on, Masha. You got this. Pena's got nothing. Pena. Look at, I mean, you gotta give to Pena. His transition I give him is nothing. Excellent, man. He looks like he hasn't broken a sweat. He scarred up, though. Oh, welts yeah. all over his body. Oh, yeah. Look at that welts in his back. Yeah. I'll tell you, at the end of the day, by this morning, when these two wake up, they are gonna know they were in the fight of their lives ah. tonight at Battle oh. Pro. Code breaker! The way these two are going, I'm not sure if one of them is going to wake up tomorrow yeah, morning. I, I, Good point. Somebody Good might point. not survive this match. Good point. Oh, oh! No, 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 no! Pops right out. Steve Pena goes front face lock into a chokehold. No, 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 no. Is that tapping? No, no, no. She's telling him no. No way. No way. You're going to have to kill her to have her. Go behind. Waist lock. Headbutt. Oh, Tiger Suplex. Tiger Suplex! Yes! Yes! Pin him! Cover him! It's over! Is this it? Kick out! Oh my god! Oh, I can't believe this match. These two showing why this title is so important. Big oh chop to the god. back! Is she good? Coquina clutch! It looks like he's going for the Coquina clutch! Come on! Choke hold here! Hit him! Pass back no, up no, no, on no, no, her no, back! No. Pena has to be careful. That's a pin. That's a pin. Count His it. shoulders are not down. Count it. Down. Yes. Kick right out. Oh, watch her. Dragon watch sleeper. Dragon, Dragon sleeper. sleeper. She's dragging him. Getting it. Oh. oh. Big kick to the back. Yeah. Oh, that big knee to the back, to the back of the head. That's she it. needs to go that for the pin. She needs to go for the pin. Count it. Count it. <laughs> New champ! Oh! Oh! He just kicked out. Pena I doing the right thing. Pushing aside Masha. So that way she does not get any more advantage than she already has. It is anyone's ball game at I this point. I can't believe this damn match. Come on, Steve. There we go. Still some kicks in there. For good measure for Masha. Oh my God. Slap. What sign of disrespect for Pena? Kick him right in that snaz. Grabs the foot. What is he gonna do? Oh my goodness. Big shot again. Another slam. puts right on her neck and shoulders. Pop up. Power bomb. Kicks out. Last second kick out. What is it gonna take, man? What is it gonna take? Masha oh Slavovich showing the fighting spirit of a two warrior. Let's rock! Jesus! Is this Good it? Night. Oh my god, she kicked out! I can't wow. believe it. I can't believe it. See Pena. Look, look at Pena's face. Steve Pena's face is that of disbelief, Joe. Gino, I can't, I he, can't, believe, I can't this. believe it. I thought that was it. I swear to you, I thought that was it. Where the hell is Pena going? Come on, Masha! Get up, Masha! Where the I think, hell is he going? I, you know what, man? I gotta be honest. I think Pena's making a mistake here. He's giving yes. Masha enough time to breathe to collect herself. What the hell? What are you doing? Uh, Who is that? Who is he's that? He's taking apart a table now? What is he doing? But why? I don't know why he would give her the opportunity Another, to get back here. Uh, more ch he's, he's, he's collecting got, weapons. Oh my because God, what he the knows, hell is he doing? He's, he knows he needs weapons to take her down. I, I got it. Masha go. asked for the no DQ match. I mean, she did and she got it. What are you doing? Stay here, stay here. Let the, like, listen, man. She could defend herself. She's showing that she can. Get what, pick up the chair, Masha. Pick up that chair. What is going on here? What the hell is he doing? He is inviting her to have a seat, and they are gonna go shot for oh shot like you have never seen before. See, Pena shutting up those chairs. No, they're not. What is he going to do? Pena. No, maybe they're not gonna go. Oh my God. Pena. Ref on him. Masha refuses to give up. Look. 
Pena <laughs> showing that in. brutal side to him, the sadistic side that I've never seen in all the years I've been seeing him. Oh my what God, are you going for? Is this? No, no, no. This Don't is do dangerous. this. Don't oh do God, this. What the hell is this? Masha Slam. Oh my God. That was aimed at you. you is this it? Will this be the final nail in the coffin oh, no. of Masha Slamovich? Oh! No! This might wow. Go. Holy shit. Censored Rumble 6, all for a chance to become, or excuse me, to challenge the next Spirit Champion. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of people that are going to be gunning after Jessica Havoc's world title. Let's see who's going to be next in line to go after Marty Bell. We have Taylor Hendricks and Shanna starting off the action here in the sixth Uncensored Rumble. Taylor Hendricks bragging about a short-lived gut check career oh. as a Shanna attacks the knee of TV's Taylor Hendricks. Well, right now, Shanna is looking impressive against Taylor Hendricks. We saw her earlier tonight. You have to imagine that Taylor Hendricks has a little bit of a one up on some of the, most of the competitors, as most of the competitors have already competed once tonight. Yeah, but she's certainly at a disadvantage drawing number one. You're exactly right. Yeah, you know what? Very rarely in these type of matches that number one or two they get that deep into the competition later on in the match. But these two have a lot to prove tonight. Shannon's debut in the United States, Taylor Hendricks coming back to the independent women's wrestling scene. And we have a new participant every 90 seconds, if I'm correct. You're correct. And the way to be eliminated, you just have to be thrown out of the ring anywhere on the ring and both feet after the floor. Both feet touch the floor. You don't necessarily have to go over the top rope, although that's what Taylor Hendricks is looking to do right here. It counts for style points. Well, here we go. Who's going to be next coming out? Sammy Two Donald. I didn't know that she was a wrestler. Well, apparently she's going to try it. She tried to teach me flute once. I didn't completely understand. She's gonna watch going out. On. She's gonna get caught in the line of fire. <laughs> Is she trying to like officiate the match now? I think she's actually trying to tell the other two that they should team up and wait for the competitor number four. <laughs> um, I don't think Flyer Skates are gonna approve of this. Why? Are they trying to be the female nation? I think it just broke. Oh, Whatever smoking device she had. What is that, a peace pipe? They don't even have marijuana in Portugal. Oh, it's our light. Our light man. She doesn't have any more fluid in the lighter fluid. Shanna, oh, oh, she seems more content to go smoke. She and seems more TH content to go smoke than, than challenge for the spirit title. And the THC fueled competitor just finds herself passed out on the floor. Well, that's going to leave us with Taylor Hendricks and Shanna competing for a chance to face off against Marty Bell at a future WSU event. Here we go. We've got another countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, kick to the midsection. Well, here comes Cherry Lane. She made her WCA debut at the Secret Show last night, falling short to Sassy Stephanie. Cherry Lane here. If she'd only debuted at the Secret Show, this could be quite a coup for her to come in and oh, no. winning the Uncensored Rumble. Uh, a little too oh. gingerly approaching this match. Oh. And just as quick as she's in, she's out. <laughs> Taylor Hendricks shattering dreams. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Taylor Hendricks basking the glory for too long as Shannon trying to toss Hendricks out now. Got her halfway over that top rope. But look at Taylor Hendricks now. 
grabbing a hold of the neck I mean, this and the is head. A, this is obviously a contest that's very different than your typical wrestling match. Not only do you have to worry about all these uh, opponents coming out in different intervals, but you're not trying to pin your opponent. You're not trying to get them to submit. You're trying to get them out of the ring. Yeah, that's so a totally different strategy you get to come into a bout like this. Yeah, that's why sometimes you don't want to do high impact moves in a match like this. You want to make sure that you can hurl their carcass outside of the ring like Shayna is attempting to do now. Taylor Hitter trying to use those legs to grapevine around the ropes so she can balance herself. You should better let go of those ropes now. That could be her undoing. As Shayna is now kicking her in the midsection with Taylor Hendricks falls safely back on the inside of the ring. Of course, I believe there's 28 competitors scheduled for this year's uncensored rumble. Athena out with a shoulder injury. Jessica Havoc not in the house today. Oh, we're having our fourth entrant right now. Excuse me, fifth entrant. Oh, here comes Nikki Adams. Haven't seen her in a while here at WSU. Nikki Adams, a blast from the past here. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait a second. Not looking to make friends, looking to get herself a shot at a championship. Hey, this isn't a business where you try to make friends. This is a business where you try to get to your top. Well, I mean, top. if you haven't been competing for WSU regularly, uh, one way probably to secure bookings would become a, a number one contender for one of the titles. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I'm sure she would love to get a piece of Marty Bell. It was Marty Bell that defeated her in her last match in WSU at full steam ahead. Oh, there goes Adams off the ropes. And Shannon and Hendricks actually teaming up right now. You're going to see some brief alliances in a match like this. They might not last long, but they will be effective while they're working together. Oh. Right now, that's not looking too effective as Adams taking it to both Shanna and Taylor Hendricks. Talking some trash, she pulls Hendricks back up. He's gonna be looking to send her over the top rope. Oh, through. Uh oh, Hendricks holding on for dear life. Shannon, she can eliminate both women right now, and she's trying to toss Adams over the top rope. Well, Hendricks saves herself back in the ring. Adams dangerously on the ring apron, but rolls right back in. Oh my God, what a bum rush from Taylor Hendricks. You said these alliances do not last long. Things are gonna start getting a little hairy here at the Uncensored Rubble. As Santana, as Santana makes her way back down to the ring. You said Harry, the source of her power, or so I've been told, is that, ha that hair band, that headband. What's it called? That's the only part of her that's hairy. Let's be honest about here. Let's be nice. Oh my God. You thank God we're on CZWIPBB.com and not on In Demand or whatever. Santana, though, you know, she seemed very friendly, but she had no problem going on the attack as she entered the ring. And Santana looking to toss out Taylor Hendricks. That would that'd be oh, quite, quite a back. victory. Very effective by Taylor Hendricks. Of course, it was Santana and Taylor Hendricks one-on-one -on -one last night at the WSU Secret Show. Again, it's going to be available soon at StreamWSU.com. So some unresolved issues between these two competitors. It was Santana Ooh. Garrett that picked up the victory last night, and she's looking to repeat here at the expense of Taylor Hendricks. Santana looking vicious on the attack of Hendricks. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ring, Shayna trying to kick Adams out of the ring. Oh, that stiff drop kick right to the chin. Again, she doesn't have to throw over the top rope if she can just even slide her into the bottom rope and both of those feet touch the floor. That's another elimination. And we have to be getting close to a, another entry. Here it is. Eight, seven, six, Number six. Five, four, three, two. One. Who's next? It's not Goldberg. Oh, here comes Caitlin Diamond. Participant number seven, Caitlin Diamond. She fell short last night, teaming with Jody DeMilo against Addie Starr and Zandra Bell, who were both victorious today and still yet to enter the uncensored rumble. Diamond sizing up all of her competition, picking her spot. Hey, you want to take your time getting in the ring when you see all these women battling. Shanna not in a very comfortable position right now as oh, Adams no. and Diamond teaming up on her. Take a look at the exchange going on between Santana Garrett and Taylor Hendricks, though. She's trying to use a head scissors to take her over the top rope. Well, Taylor Hendricks now. In a dangerous position. Yeah, and when you know when these matches, of the room. you know when these matches get their most dangerous when there's an odd number of competitors exactly in there. Exactly right. Because that's when you see that gang mentality. 
But then again, how about this? Shayna, she's just taking the opportunity to catch a breather. Yeah, she's Shana. been in here right from the start. Shayna, very smart as she does it. Taylor Hendricks, though, keeps herself in the middle of the action. And Taylor Hendricks definitely has something to prove coming back here to WSU. And Shayna still, still staying rested on the, in the far corner from us. Who's number seven, lucky seven? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Get her, get her. Oh. Here comes Jules Malone. Jules Malone. You know, something I want to bring to your attention. Just a few minutes ago, we saw Nikki Adams was choking her opponent in the corner. The referees are not in this match to call for disqualification. They're just there on the outside. We've got three of the four sides that are covered to see if, they're, if the competitor's feet touch the floor. Well, right now, Jules Malone looking to impress again here. Both corners of the ring, you see it, like you said, that gang mentality, double teaming going on. We've given a lot of new wrestlers a lot of opportunities over the last few days, but this could be the biggest one of them all. A virtual unknown could have been entered into this match and could be challenging for Marty Bell's spirit title on an upcoming WSU event. Well, this is the ultimate opportunity here tonight. You know, I wasn't familiar with Jules Malone before this weekend. She went one and one a victory last night, defeated by Barbie Hayden tonight, but I would love to see what she could do in the ring with Marty Bell. She definitely impressed me tonight with her in her earlier match. And she could impress me tonight by just tossing out a few women and getting herself a shot at the spirit title. But right now it's not looking good for Santana as Shayna. Oh, oh, wait a second, Santana holding on for dear life, but she's still on the outside of the ropes, you know, and that's a very dangerous place. It takes a lot of upper body strength and a lot of energy to hold on to a maneuver like that. She's back in the ring, but she's not safe. Oh, athletic ability there shown by Santana, and here comes Sassy Stephanie. But she is miserable. She's got a wild hair across her ass over what went down with her and her partner in the Midwest Militia earlier today. And word has already gotten back to me that Jessica Havoc heard what Sassy Stephanie said about her. I'm not going to comment any further. Well, you don't want to get in the middle of... No, 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 no. Definitely not. Got to keep your champions happy. And Sassy Stephanie is looking to pick her spot, and she's picked Santana right now. And Sassy Steph will love another opportunity to challenge for another championship to add her resume. Absolutely. She wants to prove herself not only as a tag team competitor, but a singles oh competitor. Imagine if Sassy Stephanie was afforded the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with Jessica Havoc for the WSU World title. Oh, I, wonder, I wonder whether or not she would take that opportunity. It wasn't that long ago where Jessica Havoc held both the Spirit and World Championships at the same time. And maybe Sassy Stephanie's looking to one-up Jessica Havoc now. The action is all over the ring right now. And once again, Portugal's perfect athlete taking a breather in the corner. She's employing Portugal's perfect strategy. Caitlin Diamond the, facing the two-on-one attack from Nikki Adams and Jules Malone. Where's that? Sant Shayna picking her spot right now, trying to kick Sant Santana out. And we have a new competitor. Here comes Sandra Bell. She impressed in our pre-show here earlier this evening. Sandra Bell, after her victory, being afforded the opportunity to participate in the Uncensored Rumble. And out of all the women that have competed tonight, she is the most well-rested. Sandra Bell going right after Caitlin Diamond after the exchange that they had last night. And Caitlin Diamond using her size advantage to throw the more diminutive Bale back into the corner. It seems like every woman has found themselves an opponent here, and they're all, all fighting, clawing at each other. And right now we have Adams trying to toss out Jules Malone, but Jules Malone hanging on to Weren't the- Weren't they working together a second ago? Like I said, there's gonna be brief alliances exactly. in this one. Oh, looks well, at Taylor Hendricks. Like Taylor Hendricks almost Almost being eliminated there by Sassy Stephanie. Taylor Hendricks holding onto the ring apron. Santana Garrett using that side of the ring to build up some momentum, taking Shayna down. 
with that clothesline. And that's something you're not going to get a lot of in a match like this with so many competitors. Almost having the ring entirely to yourself, the whole side. It's going to be very, very difficult, especially in the more. Well, wait a second, wait a second. Look at Shayna. She's trying to, oh, she held on from the bottom rope. That's even more impressive. She just shaved the cat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Who do we got next? One of the trainees here at the CZW Academy oh. making her professional debut. That's where I've seen her. <laughs> you know, her professional debut, how many rookies can you honestly say have gotten a chance to enter in a match like this, come out on top and get a shot at a championship? Should that go in her favor? Well, I believe we do have a second Academy graduate coming into this match later on. She's wrestled before and she's jacked. Right now, Santana might have Portugal's perfect athlete eliminated. Adams and Diamond teaming up to toss out Jules Malone. Bale being dropped down by Hendricks. Now, Hendricks. Is going to bite her foot? She's trying to eat the feet. What is going oh. on? She, 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 don't even say it. Don't even say it. Hey, take a look at the other corner. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Trying to get Sassy Stephanie out of the ring is Barracuda Brittany and Taylor Hendricks. But in the corner that has our focus, Santana Garrett just trying to push Shanna out of the ring. Shanna trying to get parallel with that ring post. Oh, wait a second. The outside. Wait a second. Look at Malone powering, powering. Diamond on her shoulders trying to toss her up, but look, Diamond's got a hold of the ropes and Malone at the same time. Yeah, but Barracuda Brittany, she got tossed out by Zandra Bale. And who is our next competitor? Oh, here we go. Listen to this. Look at it. Even the uncensored rumble is beneath this woman. Listen to the ovation she got, though, coming out the ringside. I mean, she was impressive earlier. Did you see the line she had over the gimmick table? I didn't think we were going to be able to come back from intermission. Hey, like I said, a star was born earlier this evening, earlier this afternoon. Well, look, she's taking her good old time entering this match, taking a drink of her water. Posing for the camera. Hey, she hasn't posed for free for pictures. Well, meanwhile, Nikki Adams has been eliminated. Uh oh. Taylor Hendricks showing some jealousy. I don't think it's jealousy. I think she wants Barbie Haney to get in the ring so she can put the hurting on her. I don't think she should hold the rope for Barbie. Well, this is a good strategy. As long as she takes to get into the ring, she can't be eliminated. Meanwhile, Santana driving Malone back into that corner. Well, Shayna, oh. though. Shayna causing a distraction, probably not accidentally, onto Barbie. So Taylor Hendricks can just go to work it, it, like, on this former Miss Texas. Hennigan almost, almost did a stupid thing looking to get some rest and almost eliminated himself. And here's Hendricks and Shayna now teaming up to try to eliminate Barbie. Hey, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Barbie's still in dangerous territory as we have a new competitor, and it's Addie Starr. It is Addie Starr. A beat down Addie Starr, who earlier this afternoon, at the hands of Chris Dickinson and Shayna, took yep. a heavy, heavy beating. But if there's any woman that can really survive in a Rumble-style match, it would be Addie Starr. That's true, but this isn't a one-on-one -on -one match she's going through. This is right now, so we see there are 10 competitors in the ring that she has to deal with. Sassy Stephanie attempting to eliminate Shayna. And Addie Starr going to work on Diamond. Meanwhile, Santana nearly has Jules Malone eliminated. Oh, Barbie Hannigan trying to eliminate T Taylor Hendricks. Driving that forehead right into the top turnbuckle. Now practicing her stretches as she chokes out Taylor Hendricks, but the hardcore princess, she's still got beef with yeah. Barbie. And now, and now, 
Barbie now being being attacked by a pack of wolves almost by Hendricks and Malone. And here we go, we have a new competitor. Oh, oh what why? the hell? Get this fun gooliated mess out of here. Chris I love it. There's absolutely no control in WSU right now if this man is in the uncensored rumble. Whipping these fans into a frenzy is Chris Dickinson, ready to take out some pent up aggression on Addie Starr, it looks like. Oh, come on, Addie Starr does not deserve this. Shannon's, look at her, Shannon's actually. Oh, what is this? All the women on the attack, and look at Shanna backing completely away from the pack of rabid women beating the hell out of Dickinson. Why would someone do this to Chris Dickinson? Why would Chris Dickinson enter this match? Hey, he's a competitor here in WSU. He, he did compete earlier tonight. Right. Good, I want to see I want to see the bulldozer versus Marty Bell. I like hope you he's said, in this match. Gang and Dickinson thrown over the top rope by Eddie Starr. Whatever happened to men's rights? Whatever that's a good, happened. That's a good question. Men's but not, rights but not to be clever. asked on this broadcast. I am not getting involved in that argument whatsoever. Oh no! Wait a second, Shanna. What happened to women's rights? Eddie Starr now. to add some insult to injury, trying to take out Portugal's perfect athlete, but Dickinson put her back in. Six, five, four. I'm making a men's right movement. I don't want to see men fight in their underwear anymore. All right, you go, into, you go into the rumble then, all right? Claudia Del, Claudia Del Sol is not able to compete in a one-on-one -on -one match due to the fact that she had her nose broken earlier today, but insisted, insisted that she enter this match here tonight. She looks like something out of glow. Definitely making her presence known. Well, coming all the way up from Texas. She almost eliminated Taylor Hendricks. Coming up all the way from Texas. Again, she had her nose broken in that match last oh. night. That's a fellow Texas. She was teaming with Barbie Hayden last night. Yeah, but it's all on the line. It's that Spirit Championship. This opportunity of a lifetime is the uncensored rumble. And it looks like Diamond. Oh! Everyone feeling the wrath of Del Solis. Oh, but Malone now trying to reason with it, with her, but it's not working. Attacking her like a wall. God Almighty! What is she biting? The screams from Malone. She even got Addie Star backing away, and that's saying something. Addie Star just frightened by Claudia De Souza right her? after the throw. She came from Texas. Was this, you didn't do a background check. I think she scaled the Chupacabra away from Texas. The Chupacabra way in her case. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I like when Emil Jake does the countdown. It's less time I have to spend listening to you guys. Oh. Yes. And you want to announce with us later tonight? Uh, I just lost my CCW spot. Watch out, you never know where she's holding. You never know where Andy Social is hiding her brass knuckles. Yeah, that is true. Despite the inspection that Nick Papa Giorgio would love to perform on. Let me, let me bring some attention to Barbie Hayden right now, okay? As if she needed any more attention. No, she she's positioned herself on that top tone buckle on her own volition where she can see everything that's going on in the ring. Oh, However, I think she's at a disadvantage because if somebody comes up quick, they could just dump her off the top. Oh God, look, look, oh. look at the solace. See, see, see? Going right to work on the, on the, Ken, the woman from Kensington who was born with brass knucks on her hand. She's the one that's really from the streets, bitch. Well, wait a second, wait a second. It looks like Shanna trying to eliminate Addie Starr. A little retribution for eliminating her new boyfriend, I guess you could say, Chris Dickinson. I don't think it's like that at all. Well, FWB, like, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. We work together once, ready to propose. Uh, that does kind of sound like wrestling, though. Oh, oh, my God, oh, <laughs> God. oh, my God, that's how she makes her money. She just hit butter her on the mouth. She just knocked her out. That's a former Miss oh. Texas. Why would you do that? Seven, 
Austin. Taylor Hendricks. Oh, still in the match. And we have a new competitor entering right now. There we go. And you gotta think that Kimberly and Andy Social are gonna be working together, right? She, right? You would oh think. My God. She runs right into a big coconut tree. Oh, there we go. Oh! Take him down, Del Solis. Chick's using nasty tactics, but she's right back up. This woman is like none other I've ever seen in WSU, but she just oh. got eliminated. Yeah, see you next Tuesday, right? I've been waiting the whole Rumble to say that. I've been waiting for them to come in. Well, Chick's with yeah, using nasty tactics is really what they want to be called. And right now, they're going to continue teaming up, trying to eliminate Taylor Hendricks and Sassy, Sassy Stephanie, Stephanie yeah. yes. And it looks like Bale's about to be eliminated by Burry. Yeah, she's about Wait to bail from this match, not on her own Santana delicious. Santana now oh, comes from no. behind. That's not fair. She didn't see Santana coming from behind. And Bale, Bale now trying to get in and eliminate Barbie. Meanwhile, Shayna Double has teaming. Got the ref should be counting to five on the outside. Shayna now continuing the punishment on Addie Starr. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh-oh. Here comes the new number one contender. As I was saying, the new number one contender yes. for the WSU World Title. Imagine if she had the opportunity to challenge for both the Spirit Title and the World Title yeah. at the same time. Let's see who she's taking advice from. A couple of youngins on the outside. This ring, ring is continuing to fill up with women all looking to earn the prestigious Spirit Title shot. And there goes Bale. Sassy Stephanie, though, better be careful. She has her back turned to all the other competitors in the ring. Meanwhile, Andy Social and Kimberly continue to team up, beating the hell hey, out of might, Taylor Hendricks. They might team up until the very end. And as you see, Barbie and Santana. Barbie's in a bad position. There she is. Throwing for that water break and using that water bottle as a weapon against Santana. You know, I'm disappointed to see Shayna and Alexis fighting. They're both Portuguese. I thought they would have bonded over the Azores. Not when the spirit title shot is on the line. I think it's different when you're from the island and from the mainland. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Who that? Shayna. A WSU legend. Hey, she ends people's careers. She or does. Naya. Yeah. It was either Jan or Naya getting that spot in the rumble. I didn't see what happened earlier today, but uh, it didn't sound good if the police had to have uh, get involved. And Taylor Hendricks and Shayna have to take note. They've been in here since the very beginning. And look at Taylor Hendricks backing down Portugal's perfect athlete. We've seen them work together and we've seen them fight. No one can be trusted in this match. Absolutely not. Honestly, I think Shayna is just trying to protect her, her, her career in the ring here, her chance. By cowering down, but it might have been to the disadvantage as Taylor Hendricks now trying to shove her out of the ring. Meanwhile, Kimberly being driven into the corner with some massive shoulders by Lexus. Hey. Uh-oh, Jana. Jana about to be eliminated here by Eddie Starr. Oh, but she hangs on. See Sassy Stephanie and Annie Social teeing off on each other in the corner. On the other side of the ring, you see. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Isabel Sueña. Isabel Sueña, who has continued to impress with every outing here in WSU, enters the ring for the ultimate chance at a Spirit Championship shot. Yeah, going right after Kimberly, but that was a mistake. 
And he social hit her right from behind. That's what you gotta consider in this match. You know, I said you can't trust anyone, but Andy Social and Kimberly, at least until it's the final couple people, can trust each other, I believe. Uh oh. Swain is shooting that double leg. But sadly, Barbie, Barbie and Steph now. Barbie's in a bad position right now. Yeah, look at Portugal's perth perfect oh, athlete. No. She's about to get dumped. Sorry, I was distracted. I know there's a lot going on. It's hard to call a match like this. We've got three referees, three officials. Oh, let's do a five-man booth next year. Where's the Addy Star? Let's bring back John oh. House. Oh God. How about John Harder? What happened to that guy? <laughs> let's bring down what the Brian Logan. <laughs> All right, uh. Pete. Right now, so much action in the ring, just trying to soak it all in. And Shannon now. Smart. Oh, the Irish whip into the clothesline. Kimberly and Annie Social on the same page. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, here comes another graduate. Oh. Another graduate from the CCW Academy, and she's all fired up. Well, she's probably also one of the most jacked athletes in the CCW Academy. Yeah, what a specimen. Oh. Hey, when you're talking about, you know, don't use a word like jacked women. It's physically fit. Whatever, she's in beast mode right now, going to work on every competitor in the ring. What an opportunity she has in her first WSU outing. Yeah, it's like night and day between Barracuda Brittany and Samantha St. Paul. But nevertheless, the numbers game finally catching up to her. Believe it or not, I had the opportunity to see Samantha St. Paul in action, actually against Kimberly at the CCW Academy just a few months ago. She's a very impressive competitor. Uh, probably not to, not to the surprise of anybody, she's extremely strong. Hey, she's a product of DJ Hyde. That's all you need to know. Don't put him any more props. They're great and powerful. <laughs> oh man, she's uh, being worked stop. over by Barbie and Lexus. You're gonna think maybe Barbie hated feeling a little bit threatened. No. Maybe there's a new alpha female on the ring. Nope. They're making things up. <laughs> he's found his, he's found his wife tonight. At least this time it's legal. Who's that? Uh oh, the ultimate diva in WSU has made his return to WSU here tonight in the Uncensored Rumble. Being showered and welcome back, Chance. He might have a shot in there. Uh, definitely a, a different uh, a different reception than when Chris Dickinson came into the ring. I think he was in the NCAA Heavyweight Finals back in 1996. Do you think we could get a we could get away with running Dickinson versus Rick Cataldo? Nah, it'd be a hate crime. I wouldn't hate it. Well, Rick Cataldo taking his sweet time getting the ring. Doesn't even just get really turned on by Chris's last name. It's like that, uh, huh? I thought we got rid of the men's club. Not rushing to get back in the ring. We see Jana trying to throw out Swainia. Well, the ultimate diva, though, has not stepped in the ring with these female fighters just yet. Surveying the scene. Samantha St. Paul getting Threaded worked over by the chicks. Jill Sassy Stephanie with the back rake. Oh my god, here comes Nyla Rose. And I thought uh, Del Solis was nasty. Look at this woman. Might want to watch your words. Right, I'm all the way over here. Thank God for that. Oh, just oh. like that, depositing Sassy Stephanie outside the ring. Now targeting the WSU Hall of Famer and Jana. Yeah. There goes Jana. Uh oh. Uh, I'm trying to take the fight to Samantha St. Paul. I mean, that was a rookie mistake. Uh oh. Wait a second. Not a, a bad idea if they team up. There's a good strategy from the young St. Cloud. And Catano finally making his way into the ring. 
Well, maybe. He's still asking it. Catano in the past has been more of a manager in WSU than really an in-ring competitor. Hey, one of the most BFFs forming in the corner there with Barbie and Catano. I'm not I'm not surprised. Uh -oh. Oh, wait a second. That might have been a, have been a signal oh, transmission by the Illuminati coming through. Uh-oh. How would you describe Cataldo's outfit? Is it bell-bottoms? Is it a singlet? What is he taking off? Oh, it's um, string, I believe. What? <laughs> it's almost like a quail, it's a quail man string string. <laughs> oh, man, oh. look at that. Oh, my God. Look at Samantha St. Paul just going to town. She's out of control. Oh, what a oh. oh, man. <laughs> and he just feels her up in the process. I don't think I was oh, feeling no. up. Here. Oh, shit. Shot him. Just leveled to the outside. Taylor Hendricks has been well, the two competitors that started the match aren't going to be finishing it. No. It's starting to get real vicious out here in the uncensored rumble. Things have certainly heated up. The level of aggression, all the competitors realizing the struggle of this match and what's on the line. They're going all out, and we may have seen a casualty because of that. Yeah, Rick Catala definitely making a splash in his return to WSU. Meanwhile, Jesse Brooks taking on that big behemoth herself. Sorry for the terrible uh, adjectives, but what else can you call a woman? <laughs> I don't oh know. my God! And she's paying for it too. <laughs> oh God oh, no. Almighty! Stick face. Jesse Brooks. Oh no! Oh, he's twerking. He is twerking. Swamp ass face. face. Swamp Six, ass face. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and here we go. Novea is not looking to leave WSU empty-handed here tonight. Novea lost earlier tonight against Lexus for a WSU World Championship shot, and she's going right to work on Lexus, trying to eliminate her. A little retribution. That's what's on OI4K's Novea's mind right now, choking the life out of Lexus. In the corner, we see that behemoth. Trying to take out what I've called many times before, that nine on the M. Romney scale, Kimberly. I will say, if anything, Kimberly changed her, her, her wardrobe. From Professionalism. Her Some oh. people dress for success around here. I can relate. Uh, I think Chris, or excuse me, Rick Catano would like to take you on a night on the town. Three yeah, dress. You have to take a brush from all, or the Cherry Hill Mall, whatever's oh. closer. Kimberly's chances at a shot at Morty Bell hanging the balance. But look over there. Oh. Right behind them, Samantha St. Paul. Christina Von Erie. Making her way back to the ring now. Yeah, I just want to provide you guys with an update. Oh no! Oh no! From the back. Not been eliminated. An update from the back. We've got medics checking on Shayna right now. Oh, wait a second, Kimberly! Oh God! It's gonna take a lot more than that. The strength of that woman. That's like moving a brick wall. It's not gonna move. Yeah, except the brick wall doesn't fight back. Exactly. Samantha St. Paul is not looking good at Santana, trying to eliminate her. One thing you gotta realize about some of these competitors who are trying to throw them over the top rope is a lot of them are shorter than the male athletes we often see in professional wrestling, and it's harder to get that leverage to dump them over the top. That's, That's a very good point. Right. To dump them through the middle or underneath the middle rope. Oh, oh. God almighty! That was the only way they were going to get her out, too. And look at Santana smartly hugging the bottom rope as Ezra Val Suenia tries to eliminate her. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Christina Von Eri taking the walk away. Well, what a coup Jenny Rhodes would have returning to the ring for WSU here tonight with a number one contendership for the Spear title. And you know what? Very prime spots for Jenny Rhodes and Christina Bonieri. Wrestling in the opening contest and then getting a late draw into the uncensored rumble. Well, here's an interesting team up here. Christina Bonieri and oh. Samantha St. Paul. Christina Bonieri, one of the trainers of the women in the CZW Academy, teaming up with her trainee. I'm not really sure why you would save someone as they're about to be dumped to the outside, but maybe there's something we know. Maybe there's secret alliances. Well, Nevea now teaming up with Christina Von Erie to attack Jenny Rose. An unlikely combination. Well, it's likely oh, no. when Jenny Rose is that smug attitude she returned with. Oh, no. This being twisted over that apron. Isabel Swainia holding on for dear life, as is Jenny Rose. Sammy St. Paul been eliminated. Saw her in the pre-show. The kickoff, the WXU's Uncensored Rumble. And here she is drawing the prime spot, this 28-woman Uncensored Rumble. Yeah, it can originally schedule to be 30, but injuries, travel issues certainly taking their toll this weekend. All right, let me ask you first, Jake Black. We see the competitors in the ring right now. Who's your money on? Who do you see wrestling Marty Bell? Barbie, clearly. Uh-oh. Bad timing. How about you, Dan? Who's your pick? Right now, I don't know. I mean, Christina Von eri has been making oh. waves. Wow, Nevea. Small piece of retribution for Nevea. Yeah. I don't know. My pick right here, I think I'm going to be going with Jenny Rose. I think Jenny Rose is hot on the comeback. That is true. Right now, any one of these women could walk out with that covenant championship shot at a future WSU event. Of course, one thing that may be working against Jenny Rose is that she doesn't have, some, uh, excuse me, Sammy Giordano, Veda Scott, or Jesse Brooks there by her side like she did when she defeated Christina Von Erich earlier tonight. Maybe she can summon them for support, moral support. Christina, Kimberly's in a lot of trouble in the corner. Christina Von Erich now taking it to Barbie. Number 28's in a lot of trouble too, standing on that apron. Oh, Santana now, impressive. Oh, and I think Santana may have eliminated. She did that for you, Dan. She did that for you. I think Santana no, I know, may have eliminated I think that's more. That's for her own good. That's for her to become a future champion here, possibly. I think Santana may have eliminated more than anyone else tonight in this matchup. I don't, I don't have Wait, Santana Santana is Swinia still in this match. Oh. Looking to eliminate Santana. Meanwhile, Jenny Rose with those shoulder blocks driving Nevaeh. Oh, no! Oh, no! She is that? so getting a condolence tweet in the next 30 seconds. Oh, uh, look at her crying. Why don't you go give her a hug, Jake? Well, I'm working. There's going to be a riot here. Before. There's going to be a riot. Vaneri oh, taking her down. Oh, right. Oh, wait, she's she's, back, back, in she's back in. What Entrant number 29. She didn't even want anybody to hold the ropes for her. Entrant number 29. She's refusing to leave, refusing to leave the match. Barbie Hayden's twin. Arby's Hayden. Yeah, she's sponsored. She's got a sponsor. That's Arby's Hayden. What is it? You know what I just realized? Kimberly just eliminated Christina Von Erie. And if, well, they don't like each other. Yeah, if you remember, at the end of CZW New Heights, last month live on CZW IPBB, Kimberly actually attacked, viciously attacked Christina Von Erie in that whole vicious attack of the campaign on Masada. Yeah, and you just saw Kimberly use foul language against campaign policy against Christina Von Erie. And Kimberly's in a weird position here in WSU, teaming with any social, and then still having to, to follow the, the rule book of Drew Gulak. We got, we got the final five, though. Well, Barbie, these five women are gonna come out and challenge Marty Bell. Well, Barbie finally taken to the back, eliminated. 
as Isabel Sweeney at trying to eliminate oh. Nevaeh and does so. Now we're down to the final four. Kimberly, Jenny Rose, Santana Garrett, and Isabel Sueña. Pick me a winner, oh. Denver, Colorado. Yeah, you're the one that hasn't given us a pick. They weren't giving you the odds. No, I picked. Didn't I pick? I picked. I picked Jenny Rose. Oh, that's right. That's right. Sorry, sorry a lot of time. My pick's still alive. You picked Lexus and uh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I picked Barbie Hayden. You guys, you guys are bad at picking. I had to tweet Barbie. I might have missed some things. I picked Christina Bonieri. Nevertheless, I'm still wrong. But right now, Isabel Suena back in Santana up into the ropes. This mysterious woman from New Mexico oh. is making waves. Uh oh. Uh oh. But holding on for dear life right now. Yeah, Santana. Oh. What a maneuver! And we Santana has been eliminated. Oh, that sucks for Santana. We realized that like four or five times right. during this matchup, and that time, uh, and Santana yelling back at Swain and saying she got lucky, and I think she damn sure did. And Jenny Rose now standing tall in the center of the ring. That's your pick, Denver. Jenny Rose is taking it. What do you want me to tell you? You don't come back hey, from Japan he has, this hot. He has inside information. He's WSU's Reddit guy. <laughs> That's oh, good. That's oh, good. I like that one. Oh, 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 my pick! So my pick! All right, I guess you're not the Reddit guy. But we have the final two. Kimberly looking to challenge Marty Bell. It will be this mysterious and unorthodox woman from New Mexico, as you put it, Isabel Suena. Isabel Suena kind of quietly Quietly getting to the final two here. Hasn't really made much waves, but I mean, that's what it takes in an uncensored rumble. Stay quiet, stay low, and you're going to survive. Yeah, certainly the technique, the strategy of this match now changing drastically. Now that there's only one other competitor that you have to worry about. Nevertheless, I mean, you're still looking to get them out of the ring, but now you get the opportunity oh. to try and wear them oh. down a little bit more. Oh, and Swain almost taken out of the up. ring with that Hurricane Rana. Kimberly now. Utilizing that cut cut Rana and sending her to the apron, but not enough. I don't think that's what she was talking about earlier. She told you about that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, oh wait no. a second, wait a second. Oh! Isabel Suena.
Referee calling for the bell in this women's match. Here we got Christy James and Hai Yan. The Renaissance woman, Hai Yan. The Renaissance. And we are La Carisma. And, and this Di is Di 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 Diego De La Cruz. Di 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 Diego. <laughs> Diego. Oh, they're starting the head games already. Oh, she's going through the ropes on the lockup? Oh! oh. Ryan just slapped Christy James. Oh, but she retreats to the bottom. Do you want to know? No part of a pissed off Christy James. Baseball slide through, she's going to chase her through. We'll oh, get this thing restarted here. Oh, big shot to the mouth. We got a cat fight on our hands. Yeah, we sure do. Go for the hip toss with the block by Hyan. Oh, roll through. Pin. Shoulders are not down. Oh. Shoulders are not down. Roll through. Casita pin. One. Oh. Kick out at two. Oh, to the corner. Oh, bend over to the outside. Oh, shoulder check to the midsection. Going up to the top. Oh, sunset. Oh, kick to the head of Ion. Rep trying to get her out of the corner. Oh, yeah, makes her eat that buckle. Oi. Oh, to the outside. Oh, don't do it. Oh, don't yes. Don't do it. Oh, yes. Oh. Definitely working on that knee. Now she reversed it. She got Christie's uh, forehead. Oh. Yeah, what I saw was completely different. You need a... I have a pole in the way away I'm looking. Oh, Hyun just waiting for her. Oh, big shot to the court. Oh, big shot to the chest. Rev needs to do her job, get him out of the corner. to watch out that could be a disqualification that could really cost you the match yep.
Where's Ayan going? She's got a sign. Oh, she ripped a sign. Oh, big splash in the corner by Hyun. With the crevasse, look at that. Oh! Oh, she caught the second one. Sunset. Oh, Kick out at two. She's grabbing the headlock. Oh, she's on the rope, she's on the rope. Hanging her out to dry on the rope. The crowd definitely showing their uh, quotations like for Hyun. As she chokes Chrissy James on the second rope. A little bit of fight back for Chrissy James. Not going for the suplex, not going. Oh, float over. Oh, she catches her in the head scissors. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Dragging her to the center of the ring. Oh, kicks out at one. Oh. He's got her in a hold. Chrissy Jane needing the help from the crowd. There we go, there we go. Chrissy Jane, bang, oh, big knee in the knee corner. In the face. Rolls her out. Boy. Oh! Stoney only wants her to finish high on. He said finish her. Fatality. She's going up, she's calling him to go up. Let's go. I smell a moon salt. That's exactly what I smell. Oh! oh. Landed on her feet. Hey. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Her, her knees are gone. Ankles her on the ropes. Did she get all of that? She went for that knee. I didn't see her get all of it. Oh. Kick up by Christy James. Oh, Hyan coming off with the gauntlets. She's let. Wow, she's getting mad at the ref. She acts like it's the ref's fault. Chrissy can't get up. Christy fighting back. Oh, 
Roll a one, two. Oh, big drop kick to the corner. the back of the head of Hayan. And the match goes to Chris C.J. Chris James with the win. Here we go. Chalandra Royal, Caitlin Marie. The crowd wanting a sing-off. And you know, I kind of agree with them. Who said I wouldn't put this music degree to work? Apparently not liking what she was hearing there from Shalandra. Oh. Oh, come on now. That wasn't necessary. Getting some help on commentary from Ella Envy tonight. Strong words from Caitlin Marie. It's the opera training. She doesn't need the microphone, Ella. Straight from the diaphragm. Excellent breathing technique. Oh! Caitlin Marie grabbing the hair. And here we go, action underway, sending Shalandra across the ring. Caitlin Marie looking to make a name, flawless wrestling. Here she comes, Shalandra in her sights. Shalandra out of the way though, off the ropes, ducking the clothesline. Oh, Shalandra. Narrowly evading that one. Had Caitlin scouted there. Ella Envy, some words of encouragement. Fanning off Caitlin, trying to get her back in the groove of things. Try to get her back in the ring. Pick up this dub against Shalandra Royal. But you can't go into battle without getting your hair fixed. Oh, she catches the foot. Oh, didn't see the other one coming. Shalandra Royal got it lined up. Oh, cross body. Shalandra Royal with the cross body. Oh, and now the face off. Our two singing superstars face to face. Shalandra, though, having the wherewithal, stop the count so she doesn't get counted out. Shalandra can't let Ella get in her head like this. Still got a competition going on. And Caitlin Marie making her pay for it. Grabbing the head. Oh. Oh, draping DDT. Caitlin Marie taking advantage there. Just needed that, that slight distraction from Ella Envy. Now Shalandra in the ropes where she doesn't want to be. 
Chalandra not in a good place right here. Stuck in the corner, but Caitlin needs to stay on her opponent here. Ooh, what a chop. And now back in the ropes, trying to choke the life out of Shalandra. Oh, here we go. With the hip thrust. Oh, and another. Is she gonna go for the trifecta? Here we go, one more time. The third time's the charm. Shalandra may be out. Now being brought back to the center of the ring. Caitlin Marie going for that pin. This could be it. Oh, just one. Caitlin locking in that chin lock. Got those hands cinched in. Letting go, though. Going to stretch out those arms. Really work those shoulder blades. Got the knees placed right where they need to be. Oh! Now into a modified surfboard right into the back of the neck. Upper shoulder blades of Shalandra. Now just toying with her. Oh! In the hair! Shalandra hurting quite a bit right now. Oh, but there's that fire we know. Leg kicks after leg kicks. Now off the ropes. Bringing Caitlin down to a knee. This could be, Shal this could be Shalandra's opportunity here. Oh, and another crossbody. But not enough, not yet. Shalandra firing up off the ropes. Oh, going for that crossbody one too many times. Caitlin Marie. Who? So close. So close. And now again, choking Shalandra. Caitlin Marie wondering what it's going to take. Shalandra trying to get back up on her feet. Caitlin happy to help. Got her propped in the corner. Something devious in mind here. Charging in. Shalandra rolling through. Charging into the corner. Oh, Stinger splash. Oh, but Caitlin caught her. Oh. German suplex, Shalandra to the floor. Shalandra could very well be counted out here. Caitlin Marie gonna take that count out victory, it seems. Shalandra holding onto that neck. Landing right on top of her head with that released German. It's amazing she's even stirring right now, but she's on her knees. Count up to seven. She's got to make a move. And Shalandra breaking the count. But Caitlin Marie right on top of her. Snapmare takeover. Caitlin, oh, and the senton! <laughs> Ella Envy, probably the loudest supporter in the room right now. Shalandra looking a little rough here. Caitlin's got something in mind. Caitlin going up the ropes. bomb to the back this is it 
Oh. But Shalandra getting the shoulder up. Somehow, some way, staying alive in this. Shalandra staying in this fight. Back into the corner, though. Caitlin sending her off. Shalandra fighting back. Here we go. Got the headlock, but oh no. Again, the distraction from Ella Envy. Oh, and a backhand from Caitlin Marie. Getting her up. Oh! And that's all she wrote. And you heard it there from Charisma. Caitlin Marie, your victor. Ella Envy with a little you can't see me action.
Kiss, one of one of the most interesting superstars you'll ever see. Uh, we are so happy to have her here tonight. I, I I've been waiting for this matchup ever since we signed it. Sunny Kiss, Roxy, you cannot ask for a better for a better match anywhere in the United States. I love this. This is the kind of thing I live for. These are the kind of the matches that. RWR is all about. Aw, oh, the sportsmanship. Roxy, all about sportsmanship. Roxy going in with Sunny Kiss being overpowered right into the corner. Referee counting it out. Sunny makes the break. Clean break. Little bit of showboating on the part of Sunny Kiss. All right, with the waist lock. And there's that athleticism, that maneuverability that Sunny Kiss is known for. Roxy is one of those performers who is coming into her own. She's been training since she was 13. She's only 19 now, but she is the very definition of a prodigy. You'll see a little bit of that technical wrestling prowess right there with the bridge. As you said, that Sunny's very athletic, so is Roxy. Roxy impressing a lot of people over the last couple of months, having amazing showing. She had a match competing for the Impact Knockouts Division Championship against Deanna Parazzo. She has gone up against our RWR Vixens champion, Rachel Rose. She has matches against really some of the best and brightest superstars you could see in a wrestling ring. And there's a reason why she earns those matches. She is very, very talented. And there, we're going to cover. Can't forget also, she's on Ring of Honor. Recent Ring of Honor signee on her way to possibly becoming the very first Ring of Honor women's champion in their rebooted women's division. Earning accolades from other members of that division as well as uh, Maria Canellis, who has spoken very highly of Roxy as they go for a test of strength. It's broken up by some amazing athleticism by Sunny Kiss. Smart move. They're filling each other out. <laughs> Roxy is going to be at a height advantage in just about every match that she's in, and that's no different here with Sunny Kiss. Roxy packs a lot of technical prowess into her frame, sinners. but sometimes you cannot get around the fact that you're going to be put at a disadvantage whenever your opponent has a height advantage and a strength advantage like Sunny Kiss does here. Again, an impressive bridge by Roxy to escape. And there's the flourish. You have to wonder if Sunny Kiss knew what she was getting into whenever she decided that she was going to take this match with Roxy. She probably underestimated Roxy. You know, a lot of people do. A lot of people see this girl, 19 years old, just a hair over five foot tall. But despite her size, she is one of the strongest competitors in a lot of ways that I've ever seen in an RWR ring. And has a lot of experience for her age trying to find a way to turn, to find some momentum. And there we go, sneak attack from Roxy. Roxy using some of that Lucha Libre training. Oh. 
Back up into the double knee stomp, goes for a cover, but only gets a one count. And Sonny is on the outside, taking a breather. Roxy is amped up. This is the kind of Roxy you want to see, someone who knows exactly where her place is. I, I love the newfound confidence that we're seeing in Roxy, inviting Sunny Kiss back into the ring. She wants this match to continue. Consummate professional is Roxy. All right, now they're back in the ring. Let's see, let's see what else that they can do. You can tell that Roxy respects Sunny Kiss quite a bit, and that respect is reciprocated. But both of these performers are not taking anybody lightly. You can see that. Roxy trying to speed the pace of this up. Let's recover one, two. Sunny able to kick out. Ooh, what a kick. A staggered standing sidekick drives Roxy down to the mat. Roxy sure didn't see that one coming. Sonny only able to get a two count, hesitated to go for that cover. That could have been three with just a little bit of a quicker drop. And now Sonny slowing things down, going for that headlock. Wise maneuver by Sonny Kiss. We've seen Roxy trying to speed the pace up, go high risk, move off those ropes, trying to use that Lucha Libre style. Sonny trying to take that away from Roxy. And there's the size and power advantage that we talked about earlier. Roxy is getting rocked. <laughs> Look at the strength of Sunny. Roxy has been put down, but I don't think she envisioned it that way. Kick by Sunny Kiss, only able to score a two count. Roxy still has a lot in that tank. You can see that Roxy is winded, but I've seen Roxy in high in high stress situations like this before. You can't give her an inch. Sunny taking the time to showboat a little bit. That might come back to bite her in the butt just a little bit. Giving Roxy any time to breathe is a massive mistake. Oh, she hit that turn before hard. Irish whip into the corner. Roxy crumbles like a sack of laundry. My goodness, not the laundry. I mean, it's a small pile of laundry, but still. Another two count for Sunny Kiss. The fans trying to. The fans are firmly Roxy behind in. Prodigy, behind Roxy. You can hear those chants. Everyone here has seen Roxy grow into the phenomenon that she is now. Texas wrestling crowds are very loyal, and they know Roxy, and they want to see her take the victory here tonight so that they can see her moving on to that next level. The Sunnies also loved here, too. How can you not love Sunny Kiss? Look at a maneuver like that, and how can you not be impressed? Multiple cartwheels into the corner, slamming Roxy into those turnbuckles. Goes for the cover. One, two, just a two count. The fight and Roxy is still there. Roxy's knee. Roxy has some determination. Roxy may very well be one of the nicest individuals I've ever met. I consider her to be a good friend. I'm very proud of her growth, but when she gets in that ring, she is tenacious. If Sunny Kiss thinks that she's going to pick up an easy victory, that she can showboat her way to a win here, she's gravely mistaken. This modified abdominal stretch that Sunny Kiss has on Roxy. I've got to give it to Sunny Kiss. Working the mat is a smart move against someone like Roxy. Because if you give her an inch, she'll take a mile and pull off something like that. But Sunny Kiss is no slouch. Sunny Kiss will hit you quick. Two. Two count for Sunny Kiss. Not enough to put away Roxy right here. It's 
Sunny trying to set up something for Roxy now. Sunny letting Roxy get herself into position. Sunny not expending energy. Sunny knows what she wants. And Roxy wants to turn this into a fight. Oh! Knee strike as Sunny off balance. Reversal into the ropes. Oh, Lupez press! And look at Roxy go! Now Roxy throwing hands. Like she's in the hallway at high school after B lunch. Tilt a whirl. Side Russian lead sweep. Into a cross, Into a cross face. face. Is Roxy gonna get the submission here? The crowd wants to see a submission. Are we gonna see Sunny Kiss give up here? Sunny Kiss working her way toward the rope, and there's the Gotta break. Gotta break it now. What a match so far. Absolutely unbelievable action here between Roxy and Sunny Kiss. Like we said, the dream match a lot of people didn't know they wanted. Roxy trying to go for that DDT. Sunny Kiss not having any of it. Oh! Spinning kick. Sunny and Roxy jockeying for advantage. Sunny has her up. And there we go. Sandy going for the cover. One, two, two three. And that is it. It's all Sunny over. picking up the victory. Absolutely. What a match, Jacob. An what absolutely a match. Absolutely amazing athletic contest. Ladies Night Out 6, owned and produced by Title Match Network. Watch the director's cut exclusively at titlematchnetwork.com. Introducing first from Toronto, Canada, the hardcore princess, Jules Malone. Clearly, she is new coming here to Title Match. Here being introduced. And her challenger from Houston, Texas, Jenna Lynn! Jenna Lynn, a great ovation right here from the World Gym Arena. Certainly no stranger to this crowd here in Texas City. You know, Barbie, you said you've stepped in the ring before yes. with Jules Malone. This will certainly be a great test for the young Jenna Lynn. If you are in Jenna Lynn's corner, what would you advise her to look out for in this matchup? Okay, so first off, I am clearly seeing that she did not get her barbed wire bat across customs, so that's definitely in Jenna's corner. That's helping her for sure, but the thing with Jules is she might have something hidden. I don't think I saw the referee check her out. She might have something hidden in her knee pad, in her boot. You really don't know. Well, I mean, Isaac Bullion does have wandering eyes. I don't know if he fully checked her out yet, but you're right about that. I think that anything can go off. We've seen crazy things happen at Ladies Night Out all the time. We are less than 10 minutes into this broadcast, and you're already on a roll. I'm firing him. <laughs> <laughs> we have fed him peanut M&Ms. He is on a roll. Oh, whoa. Wow, what a shot right there. All joking aside, Jenna Lynn taking that clubbing blow. Jules Malone making her oh, oh. title match network debut no here at home. Ladies Night Out. Now the headband now is off of Jenna Lynn. I don't know if that's going to have an impact on her performance at all. It doesn't look like it has already. I mean, she just got it with that head scissors. Look at this crowd. They love her. Oh, she can hit it. Oh, oh, another certainly a prospect here in professional wrestling. And she is taking on a seasoned veteran here in our opening contest in Ladies Night Out 6. Very, very good test for her. This is the type of opponent, Barbie, that will really, we're gonna find out a lot about Jenna Lynn by the time the bell rings in this match. Absolutely, but also, you know, with, with Jenna Lynn, this is her home. You know, she's she's home to Booker T's training facility, so she might feel a little too confident right now. Well, oh. In front of a home court. Oh, roll up here, roll up. 
You got to feel a little extra cocky when you're on your home court, but we saw what Clip Nation did the Warriors when they blew that 31-point lead, Matt Topolsky. I say that to say, just don't feel too confident because you're in your own backyard. Body avalanche there in the corner from Jules Malone. Oh! Reversal there as Jenna Lynn returns fire. This is the opening contest you are watching live on TitleMatchNetwork.com, LNO6, the ladies' night out brand, bringing it to you live Whoa. from Houston. Body avalanche in the corner right there. I saw Jenna Lynn's knees buckle slightly. Yeah, at this point, I really think that Jules is just tearing her apart. She knows that she can play with her because she has a size advantage. Absolutely, she's got to use it to oh. her advantage, but every time that she seems to be getting a little bit of steam, Jenna Lynn cuts her right back off. Oh, great strength right there from Jules oh, Malone. And just oh. powers down Jenna Lynn in the center of the ring. Might have even clipped herself there a little bit. Can yeah. she take advantage? I think, I think Jules Malone is just checking to make sure she's telling all her teeth. You know, I don't think Jules cares, to be honest. If <laughs> she does or not. She might not. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting pin attempt right there with that boot across the throat. Isaac Bullion counting it as a pin. I know, we were talking about Jenna over here having the confidence, and Joel's made herself at home right now. Oh, oh man, and then just another one. Snapmare takeover from Joel's Malone. That could be it right there. Jenna Lynn being barked at here by Jules Malone, calling her a little girl. Well, she's not wrong, man. Double underhook suplex here. Perfectly executed. She's going into cruise control now, Barbie. Hey, maybe that's, you know, maybe that's where she feels confident. You know, Cover. slow and steady. Two. The race. And it almost did. Now, it slips out there. Yeah, I think it's no secret to any professional wrestling fan, the great pedigree of competitor that comes from uh, Canada. We you know, obviously there's the heart family that has trained in Canada for several decades. One of the most, I don't know, fruitful places that professional wrestlers come from is Canada and Texas. Right, that's true. It's, it's stark opposites here in North America. <laughs> Completely, you know, polar there. Polar opposites in a lot of ways. But I feel like we always find, our, our, like, a way to be with one another. It's the weirdest thing. Like, I'm always running into Canadians here, and I'm like, you guys just, you're a family, and we get it. Oh, no, no, I would not want to be on the receiving end of this. Jenna Lynn. Oh! Oh my goodness, and then face first into the mat. That's gotta be it. This veteran really taking her here part go. here. One, two. Oh. oh! I thought she had it. Jenna Lynn edges that shoulder up here at the last moment, and this matchup continues. It, Looking it, live at Ladies Night Out 6. Is it ever a smart strategy, Barbie, if you know you're getting me? Because let's be honest, Jenna Lynn's getting destroyed right now in that ring. Shouldn't sometimes, shouldn't you just lay down and let the referee count to three and live to fight another day? I mean, that's actually what I was just thinking for her, especially with her size. And, you know, she is new to the business. It's like, come on, this is this is not for a championship. There's no, you know, there's nothing on the line here. This is, in fact, you know, Jewel's first time being here at Ladies Night Out. So, honestly, she might have just been better off taking that L. I couldn't agree more. I mean, don't do more than you have to. Don't take you know more damage on your body. You can only do that so many times. And you really need to pick your battles in pro wrestling. Oh. Well, there's a sign of life, man. Jenna Lynn slipping out there. Fortunately, she's not listening to the commentary here about going ahead and quitting. <laughs> she's firing oh. back. Oh. Look at this. Whoa. Backhand, backhand, and another. You know, to be fair though, I don't know anything about con like Taekwondo, so maybe this is what happens. You get beat down, you come back with a second fire. I'm not sure. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. if there was ever a second win, this is it. Jenna Lynn. Oh, oh like she was shot out of a cannon. Drop kick here. Is this it? I think this is it. Here we Pin go. attempt. One, one two. two, and a close call there. Jenna Lynn somehow brushing off the last five minutes of getting her rear end kicked around the ring here, and now she's in control. Great strikes and kicks from Jenna Lynn. You talk about a mid-90s video game, very reminiscent of Sonya Blade out there. Or even Chun-Li. Uh, Chun-Li, I like it. Oh! Roll up here, roll up, oh. one, two! Jenna Lynn almost stole it right there. Two and a half. It's gotta oh, be in one, two, it's academic, oh, no! Whoa. Jenna Lynn, talk about intestinal fortitude. Oh this young God. athlete digging down deep, Barbie Hayden. 
Uh, you see Jules Malone, speaking of her digging deep, she's digging deep into Jules' face. Jules is bleeding right now. Do you see this? Yeah, you see maybe. Clearly, those strikes were connecting. A couple of those kicks probably busted the lip or the inner mouth of Jules Malone. Territory looking for a superplex. Jenna Lynn battles out of it. What is going on here? Oh, got her over. Well, that was an innovative suplex there. Off of that roll from no, the top whoa. rope, and she got her. Jenna Lynn with the W. And your winner, Jenna. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check out our great sponsors, Flag Sports and Walker, Texas Lawyer. Being accompanied to the ring by Quinn from the Mystic Rose of Evermore, weighing in at 500 pixies, she is the gladiator of the geeks, Riley Shepard! And introducing the champion from Richmond, Virginia, weighing 160 pounds. She is the current reigning and defending pro wrestling magic heavyweight champion, the Gummy Bear Kid, Erica Lee! You know there's an issue when the referee's the coolest person in the ring. Chris Pankos officiating this cross-promotional title match, the Pro Wrestling Magic Heavyweight Championship, currently held by Erica Lee, the Gummy Bear Kid. The Gummy this Bear is, Kid versus the Geek of Gladiators. This is history. So. This is, oh, hold on, Gina. Before you do what you got to do. The first time ever two women are wrestling for the Pro Magic Pro Wrestling Magic Championship match. It's the first time ever. This is an historic event. I'm so glad that we were able to cross brand and make this match happen at Battle Club Pro. So basically, if Riley wins this, that magic title's ours. Yes. Let's go, Riley! Wow. The stakes are certainly high. Collarable tie from both athletes here. You know, Neither one giving the other the advantage. Look at this. Riley Shepard might be stronger. How well, security yeah, she's here? Because this is normally a magic building. They don't got any of those freaks running around here, do we? No. I'm not that I'm aware of. Because that Steve guy's a little off. <laughs> well done, Gina. Well done. And we have Riley Shepard, the gladiator of the geeks, adaptable, adaptable to all of her opponents in skill set. She's been able to be training. She's been training with Team Adams. Uh, a little bit of an attitude change, a lot more aggressive these days. Which That's what you need to win. Yeah, that, I think she finally saw that after a while. You can't be too nice. She can only go so far in life doing anime and uh, dressing up in costumes in the woods. Yep. Eric Lee able to get out of that. Very efficient with that. Erica Lee, known for her unorthodox style. Gets to risk the waist lock there, takedown. Powers Riley Shepard down, now into a front chance where he grabs it with the tight, with the alligator roll. Erica Lee took out Battle Club's own Darius Carter to win that Pro Wrestling Magic title. So she's Good no point. slouch. Well, Riley Shepard trying to get out, not being possible. Just makes it that more 
amazing once Riley Shepard takes that title from her. You know, Riley Shepard doing the smart thing and backing up. You have to sometimes create space in these type of situations. Absolutely. Takedown from Eric Lee. Grabbing that pinfall to the crucifix. Oh, grabbing a side headlock. Now changing the position, putting that weight and, and kind of wearing Riley Shepard down. Very smart. Riley Shepard now looking to get to a vertical base. She's definitely the stronger of the two and using that power right. to her advantage. What do you think? Battle Club Magic Champion. That's I not a that, bad. That, the, 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 that sounds pretty the, good. The Battle Club Magic some, Champion. Some people might have a problem with that, guys. Huh? Whip into the corner by Riley Shepard. Gets caught. Nice Rana by Erica Lee right there. Goes to the corner. Whips Riley Shepard right to the corner back. Pops back up. Up and over. Clears it. Snapmare. Oh. Riley down. Oh, wow. What a right to the face. To the face. She may have knocked her out. No kick out by Riley. Strong kick out. Riley looking to grab a corner. Try to get herself back to a base. Erica Lee waiting for her opponent. I think she waited too long. That's probably where yeah. there was an error in judgment there. I think Erica she should have right. went in for she the looks kill. Looks like she's hung up a bit. That ring post. Her shoulder hit that post pretty hard. Too bad it didn't hit her head. It would have done Riley so much Shepard damage. Riley Shepard needs to capitalize. She needs to showcase that more aggressive style with a European uppercut. Wow. The purple pixie looking pissed now. What a forearm. She's laying those in. Crowd is trying to get back into this. Trying to... It's a hard battle between... Because I believe both are fan favorites here. Both are fan favorites. Absolutely. It's a hard battle for the fans to choose who's who. No! What a, runs in with the line. But with authority. The runs in again. Pops her with the line. Grabs her. Almost takes her head yeah. off. Geek Exploder. Geek Exploder. I stand corrected, <laughs> Joe That is the Geek Exploder suplex. Riley Shepard really putting the pressure on the champion. This cannot be good. No. I'm sure the owners of Pro Wrestling Magic have to be biting their nails right now. This could be a very strong possibility. It's actually a little late in the afternoon. They're a little late in the evening, so we're going to have to wake them up and tell them tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Up, oh, schoolboy by Erica Lee right there. Goes in. Oklahoma roll. Pins, kicks right back out. Erica Lee mounting some sort of comeback here. Grabs it. Are we looking for the backslide? She's got the hair. She did not have the hair. She did. Yeah. No, she did. Purple, didn't. I saw it. What a kick to the head from Erica Lee. She certainly tried to mount this comeback. She needs this momentum to continue. Big sidewalk slam Look at the coming power. Up. Backbreaker. Held her up and made her think about it. Made her her bitch. Well done by Riley Shepard. Look at that power. End her now, Riley. End her. Big fall away slam. Erica that is Lee what is she pain. refers to as the level up fall away slam by Riley Shepard. Kick out by Erica Lee. It's amazing that Erica Lee was able to beat Darius Carter for that title. Meanwhile, she's in there getting whooped by Riley Shepard. Unbelievable to me. <laughs> These now ladies. Ground and pound. Look at those shots. Riley yeah, but again, she's showcasing more aggressive. Erica is blocking she's them, She's trying though. to, but she's getting caught. She's definitely getting caught with some of those. The Pro Wrestling Magic Champion is in trouble. Riley needs to find a way you know what? to win this match and become the Pro Wrestling Magic Heavyweight Champion. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go to the ringside. I'm going to manage Riley. We're going to win this. Take this one home. Let me go referee. I don't think Riley wants that. Let I, me think, go I think you're just fine here. All right. Chris Banco's doing a fantastic job, as all He's our officials so tonight good. have tonight, in making sure that these athletes... Oh, oh she just wow. totally avoided... A little far away. I don't know if that was such a great 
a smart move by Riley Shepard. Just too big of a high risk. Yes. She had this match. She was. She had the advantage, and then she made a stupid mistake. You should have let me manage her. That never would have happened. And Erica Lee <laughs> having enough sense at this point to move out of the way and allow for Riley to crash and burn. She didn't have any sense. She saw something shiny and ran towards it. What a forearm by the champion. Block, form again, throwing everything she has in that strike. Now it's time for the champion to step up. This is what champions are made of. Goes kick for the, the kick. Pops oh. away in the face with the Izaguri. Owen oh, Hart like Chris Bankers has to check to see if Riley still has her senses. Back elbow from the champion. Here comes a bulldog. Bulldog. Spot on Picture bulldog. Perfect bulldog. Huh. Erica Lee has to go and try to put an end to this match while she still can. The momentum is in her favor. German suplex. Release German suplex. That 90s kid is starting to flare up here. She's starting to get. Uh oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, shiny wizard! What? She kicked out! Ooh, Riley Shepard. Riley Shepard showing some incredible gusto by kicking out of that. That was full blown contact. I have seen way bigger men stay down to that shining wizard. Yeah, seriously. Erica Lee grabbing that waist lock. Is she going for a suplex? She going for her patented seatbelt suplex known as the Scrunchy Crunch. <laughs> so it could be a power bomb. Power bomb. Power bomb. Up. No. Wow, what? what a counter. It, I don't know if that was momentum or her back gave That out. was definitely, it, it had to be something, but uh, Erica taking something. advantage of it. Now they're both on their feet. It looks like they're both going for broke. Both, both women a little wobbly right now. I mean, it's been a hard-hitting match. What is Riley going for here? Very big contrast to our last match. Yes. Spear! Oh, spear by spear. Spano. Oh, that's it! Here is your winner, and still, the wrestling magic heavyweight champion, Erica. Pro Wrestling Magic Champion stays in the Magic Kingdom. Whoa! Oh my! Stop and here we go. Let's ring it. Here we go. We're just getting started. She was not waiting for any kind of pomp and circumstance here. And that's smart, Dave. Absolutely no. Sunset. Whoa! That's a fast count. Angelina's got to get involved here. One, two, another two count. Woo. You know, not a, not a lot of people know just how talented Scarlett Bordeaux is in the ring. I mean, she's on Impact Wrestling every week. You can see her on Pop TV. And you can see her as more or less somebody looking for some talent, uh -huh. but she's not competed in the ring. Oh, so we're not very aware about her in-ring ability, but we do know about the alien Chris Statlander, one of the, oh Ooh. my goodness, up and go, oh boy. That's how you get pink eye, folks. Dave, we I talked about it earlier. Chris Statlander, we are no stranger, facing some of the top female talents here in WrestlePro. Uh, a lot of interesting maneuvers here by Scarlett Bordeaux. Scarlett in control of the alien Chris Statlander. Chris, obviously, graduate of the Creative Pro New York School mm -hmm. Academy, as are you. Yes. She's trained by the best. Like so I said, expect no her to put up a good fight. Club uh, behind the smoke show here. But you know what I noticed? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 look at whoa. this. Look at this right in front of us. Where the heck, how, the, how fast did she get up Wow! Here? It's like a teleportation of some sort. Dave, I think she teleported. I think so too. That's, very, that's a record time. For but her. hey, if you can teleport, you got to use it in a match. Absolutely. Why not? One thing that I was going to know, and as we're seeing right now, Oh! Pins are interesting, twisting leg drop there. One thing I wanted to know, Dave, is the size advantage. 
that Statlander has. As far as strength and ability, yes. She's the bruiser. In this she match. is the bruiser. In this oh! match. We've right seen the wow. We've seen a lot from Chris Statlander over this past year. She is on fire when it comes to being on. Oh my oh. God! The biggest and the best of WrestlePro shows, including our debut right now tonight, as you're watching on Fight TV. Dave Sturchio, along with the smartest man in professional wrestling, Smart Mark Sterling. That's right, Dave. Do you think? Look at her just working on the face. Do you think that she's? Doing that for a reason, Dave? I, I mean, think look, so. Uh, honestly, to be completely honest with you, if Scarlett loses her face, boy, oh boy, is she in for a world of hurting. That is her moneymaker, and I mean that in the kindest regard. Well, Dave, she's obviously showing that she can wrestle here, but... Oh! Look at Next. this! St taking care of All the way down here. to the basement is taking the alien now. And can she finish this off? Oh, oh she does. Top rope buckle. Those aren't forgiving. So now, a fisherman, maybe a hook. Wow, hook yep. in the arm. Oh, wow. It's a pinning combination. Two. Wow, kicked out. Oh. Just short, just short, just a two. Two count, To Dave. special referee Angelina Love. She got it up just in time. And we still have a match here. Skin break. Oh. oh. Short arm clothesline. Dave, Dave, I said it. That's the size and the strength. Advantage. Absolutely. Size, strength. She's just able to pull her right into a clothesline and took her head off. Chris Statlander, no stranger to big matches. Into the corner now is, oh, the smoke show is in the corner in a bad way. Oh, another corner. Now she's trying to channel whatever yep. planet she's from. Oh! oh! Catches a back elbow right to the grill. That rock there. Catches it. Oh, I've no. seen her do this before. Oh, it's God. electric chair move that she loves. Oh, no. If she can hit it. Oh, my God! Oh! On the face again, Dave. Chris Statlander on fire. Oh, my. You better check on the smoke show. Oh, just a kick out. Folks, how do you kick out of that? Go Twice, on, nonetheless. I think she took a little too long before she pinned her, but... Oh! As long oh, one. as she can keep her composure here, that aggressiveness... Wait a minute, you know, look at this. ...is going to pay off. Whoa. Look at this, wait a minute. Oh! Good Lord. I think there's more to the smoke show here, like you were saying. Competitor that uh, people don't really know that much about, but we're seeing it here tonight. Taking a beating, giving it back, but still Statlander in firm control. You know, Dave, we've seen Chris uh, sort of blow up on the East Coast here as a late. Uh, Fight TV, no strangers to uh, Chris this is, Statlander. This is a great, great stage for Chris to score a big victory here tonight, but we'll find out. Oh! Sherman landed right on the back shoulder blade. That might have knocked it out of the socket. And you could tell she's feeling the effects right away. Oh, man. Both of them down here. Referee Angelina Love up to three already. I, I'm pretty sure Statlander looks like she's got a plan. I can see in her face an alien plan. Oh, no. Oh, big clothesline there and another one. The smoke show on fire. No pun. Not today. Oh, no. Not the, oh, the oh. pun again. Oh! Ah. Into the turn now what? buckle. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! The whiplash effect. Scarlett Bordeaux is showing us something here tonight in her debut here at WrestlePro. That's it. Come on, Chris. Whoa! Oh. Scarlet wasted too much time calling for her maneuver there. Statlander took advantage. Oh! Great kick. And oh, another kicks. one. In the face. And now up and down. That's got to be it. Oh! How is it not? How is it not? Those kicks put people away. Now, wait a minute. Like you said before. Look at this. Now, what's going on here? Whoa, wait a minute. Heads up. 
What, why is the ref getting in her face? The ref Dave. is not more. Come on. The ref Dave, is not in her face, is, clearly. That, oh, oh, wait a you minute. Can't put your hands on her. This is an abuse of power. Oh, wait a minute. That's Come right. on. Yep. She doesn't. That's. What the? Wait a minute. You can't, Dave. You can't do that. The opening is there. What the? What is this now? Oh, no. Oh! God! Dave! You gotta be kidding me! Oh! I don't even want to ring the bell. Here is your winner, the Smoke Show, Scarlett Bordeaux! have a point this could be a different strategy for the mysterious one but I'm pretty sure he has those years of experience all over to pretty much hold his own or at least think of a suitable strategy against a guy like Sam Stockhouse. Sam Stockhouse is the epitome of you know we well, need that bell there we go had to wake him up there I was saying Stockhouse is just the epitome of the uh, you know every fan here looks at Sam Stockhouse in the way that I look at Sam Stackhouse, I'm like Sam Stackhouse. You know, I'm a little overweight. You know, I'm a guy that, you know, doesn't dress the finest. I don't have, you know, I'm not the best looking dude. Who in the says world. we have to, right? Come on. I'm the best looking dude, but here's Sam Stackhouse is arguably one of the biggest stars on the show tonight. Oh, yes. And is known nationally, internationally. Look at that. Vicious color and elbow tie. And look at this down there. Wow. Not very often, because I mean, Mysterious Q, one of the strongest on the roster as well. Yeah, definitely think uh, Stackhouse got to get his cardio in shape if he thinks he's going to. Uh, I and mean, have you seen the way this man moves? I'm pretty sure that's his cardio workout. Yeah, he's doing tremendous. Well, it definitely is, but you know, if you're you know near 500 pounds, I mean, you only have so much cardio. Trust I mean, me. Then again, speaking, oh. speaking from a speaking from a fat guy to a fat guy. What did you just say to me, sir? Okay. Oh! It, look at that. He was able to get shoved back. That was like another 18 wheeler hitting a 16 wheeler. The 18 wheeler still won, but that, it was impactful. How many people who could back up Mysterious Q on the shoulder? And, oh, oh, or take him down let on the alone first take, try. Let alone take him down. You know, speaking of down on the outside, I'm going to have a word with you with that comment earlier, pal. Well, look, Q, Q is a little lost right now. He is, like I said, it's not very often he's the smaller guy in the match. Oh, yes. Not very often as he is a big man. But Stackhouse, look at that, not deterred. It's like this is just another Saturday for him. Well, I mean, Mysterious Q may have under, still even have underestimated him a little bit. Stackhouse can move a lot better than he looks. And, oh, the hell, could take a 250-plus-pound a man's running shoulder tackle like nothing. Not just 250 pounds, 250 pounds of built-up muscle. Indeed. Sculpted out of granite. Wait a minute. What is he? Oh, and the, oh my God. Wow! Leapfrog into a Hurricane Rana. And Sam Stackhouse, who sculpted out of butter, just ran to the God outside. Dang it, into a oh. beautiful corkscrew crossbody. Man, that Good was Lord. beautiful by a mysterious Q. Yes. And notice, he is not very often for the air, but he is an aerial assassin when he needs to be. Well, you definitely need to be against. You gotta keep. You gotta keep a guy like Stackhouse on a swivel. Chop down him that, on that red one. You gotta keep him on that bicycle. Oh yeah, man! And that was not a bicycle. That was just a 747 crashing down in a corkscrew cross body. And both these men brawling outside. Please, oh. not another devil countout. These fans are still kind of feisty about that. Well. Oh no, well, they that got chair, ooh, violent well, chop. Well, referee Shane Matthews may have learned his lesson because he hasn't started that count. Yet, <laughs> but let's, oh! Uh, what was that, about $1.50 wasted right there? Oh no, I don't know how much that was. Oh, well, that was a brewski, that ain't no $1.50. All right, what, $1.75? I don't know, I don't want concessions around here, buddy. But oh man, these men using the arena as their weapon and the fans' uh, merchandise as well. And some of that Big Fish Mots, that Big Fish Brewery Company Ooh. Mas Lucha. More Lucha, I'd like to say. And look at that, getting himself a a, a mid-match brewski, I suppose. Get that adrenaline pumping, thin the blood out. Oh, until I just said that. Ouch, and again, oh. Hey, 
you notice, he didn't even hit the post, he hit the beam, which is worse. And Trust me. Steps. Man, those steps aren't used for hitting. Come on now. Look, I knew this match wasn't exactly going to be, you know, you know, the Briscoe Harley race, you know, Matt Classic, but this is more this like a, a Cactus Jack Terry Gordy territory here. Good Lord. They're looking like Memphis 1975 out here. <laughs> you weren't even around in 75, Nick. I wasn't even thought of. <laughs> good, good. Wait, oh no. Using the arena. Oh no! Big ol' axe handle. Well. That's a way to take down the stack house momentarily. Oh look, stack houses are big as some houses, so you gotta do anything you can to. What do you think houses is and then look at that another I mean that's a great souvenir for a fan. Hey, mysterious cute touched by Bruski. Oh look, if you're gonna fight a 500 pound man, you need some liquid courage. <laughs> Perhaps. Oh man. As it's a little tough to tell what's going on here. We're a bit obstructed, but it still looks like to be a brawl on our hands between these two men. Yeah, well, uh, Scott didn't give us those fancy monitors like he, uh, like he normally did. I mean, Christmas is coming up, hint, hint, but uh, either way. Oh, my goodness. I thought the chairs were done earlier. Looks like they're still taking a beating. Yeah, our producer, Scott Clayton, is going to have to make sure he doesn't get into the crossfire there. If not, well, one of us has got to do roaming, buddy. Well, and I do not volunteer. Well, we can always send out, send out some people. Yeah, true, true. I, I got my people. I got my people. All right, Nick, I got you. <laughs> As they're finally back in the ring here. For the safety of the fans, I'm happy that they're back in the ring. Yes, please. They could have gone a few more feet over here to our table, but please, no. I would prefer not. Yes. <laughs> As, wait a minute, Stackhouse, like a runaway train, misses in the corner. Oh, Shotgun drop kick. And a, oh, back elbow. The serious Q is going to have to use his quickness to try to keep the big nope. man off balance. Trying to give him a lati goal, but nope, too big. Oh, oh my goodness, almost like a big bear running at you. And drop kicks him and just tries to keep him down, and he's on his back. Going for a cover. Academic at this rate. And oh, he's he able it. to get him down, but not for a three. Yeah, we got to help him imagine. He caught him right on the beam with that one. Ooh, it's kind of like, you know, those uh, those scooters when you hit it right on your ankle, right on that shin bone. Ouch. With that drop kick we just witnessed. And oh, look at this. Mysterious Q not wasting any more time. Oh, he's getting hyped up. Yeah, no but rest. Stackhouse is almost up. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Pop-up Samoan drop. Shades of the Link Great Umaga. Yes, sir. Rest in peace to the Samoan Bulldozer. And both men are down. That was a last-ditch effort. Remember, that leg is probably still tingling from that drop kick. That's why he's not able to get up as fast as he normally would. And up oh, there we go. The brick house, Sam Stackhouse, is back up. What's he going to do here? Oh, stomps him down for good measure. Stackhouse hasn't had a lot of, you know, say what you will, he hasn't had a lot of big opportunities like this. Can you imagine what and, a uh -oh. win would do? Yes, take it off. Revealing the singlet, ladies and gentlemen. Shades of King Kong Bundy with that old school singlet. Well, I hope our sensors don't uh, don't uh, get on us for that nip slip. Hey, uh, <laughs> more like a double. Oh my goodness, here's what you were talking about. Man moving like half his side, folks. Get your recorders on. Well, that could have not been an ESPN moment, y'all. Uh, he uh, got stopped in his tracks. Wait, what is, what is Q thinking? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's trying to get the power from the heavens. This is not a good idea. No. <laughs> you have got no. Q, what on earth? Do you want to have a back? Oh, my goodness. No. Holy mackerel. Oh, my him. God. He kept it through him. With the last bit of energy, he got the power from the heavens. That's got to be it. He's trying to steamroll him to his back. Is this going to end it? Two and no! Oh, how deterring. How deterring. And think about that. How much energy did he exert getting him and just tossed him down? Dale, you've been in the ring. How disheartening is that? Very. That was probably my best shot. Even academically at this rate, it still kicks out. I don't know how he got, I don't know how he even has a C4 vertebrae anymore after ho hoisting a man like Stackhouse up. Adrenaline's one hell of a feeling. That's all I got to tell you, Nick. Adrenaline mis mixed with some, some Bachfish some Brewing Company strength. Mas Lucha. Listen, buddy. <laughs> 
Well, wait a minute. As I was saying, he's going to go to the sky. Might as well. He's down. Is this a way to keep him down? Off the top. Oh, missed the foot stop. Stackhouse is back up. And, oh, my goodness, Black Hole Slam. Or the Boss Man Slam. Yes, sir. Rest oh. in peace, the Boss Man. And no. So close. Two close calls from a man each. At this rate, it's going to take one more big move, probably to get one of these men down, just barely. Well, ba based on what these guys do, the next move is going to finish it in your eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Shane Matthews pretty much astonished at all that, and I don't blame him. This brings the uh, the term boss fight to a whole new uh, whole new limit. Oh, yeah. So I think we need, new, yeah, we need a new terminology for that. Quite literally like King Kong and Godzilla. Oh, yes. Wait a minute now. Off the rope. Oh, pump kick to the skull. Wait, what is... Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. He's got him hooked into a poison runner. A grief. Leaning on his head and neck. Oh, my goodness. Did that stun him enough? But no, he's using the corner to get up. What is Keel going to follow up with? No way. This is very important. He's got to follow up here. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Shades of Hogan and Andre, brother. Boom. He drops the elbow. He slammed him, Gorilla. One, <laughs> two. Oh, my goodness. Will you stop? Wait, oh, no, no. He's going back up. Shades of earlier, Nick. Will we see that foot stomp? And oh, drops oh, the elbow. Oh, oh. Tried it earlier from the running, did it from the oh, top. Oh, it kicked you out. kidding me? How do you keep this mammoth of a man down? Nothing's going to. Q got in way over his head. Not even an actual house. Unbelievable. And listen to the crowd here. Oh my goodness. I cannot translate that well enough, y'all, but let's just say, holy you know what. You know, a handspring. Oh my goodness! Spinning heel kick! By a man that is 500 pounds. At oh least. my word. This is my first time seeing him live and in person rather than online. I'm impressed as hell. Wow, he left his feet with that spinning heel kick. But o notice he's not done. Oklahoma's best kept secret, Sam, Sam Stackhouse. Can't even speak. Uh, Shasha French. Uh oh. He's signaling the air. Oh my goodness, Nick. What on earth is this man doing? This is a Vader bomb and a half. This is a stack. This is like a house falling on you. Oh, here we go. If Shades he of the great big Van Vader, perhaps. And oh, a stack house moon, somebody misses. I think Q saw his life flash before his eyes. And not a final flash for those references of a Dragon Ball Z that he surely does love. Wow, how's the ring still intact? The sturdy ring. Oh, yeah. Well, look, that stack house fought Camacho and Juicy Finau last week in this ring. So and what was that, 1,500 pounds of humanity? What'd you call that? 12. 12. 12. Yeah, I was, sorry, I, I went the 500 route. Yeah, I was generous, by the way, on that weight limit. Listen, pal, they're going to watch the playback. Handspring oh. roundhouse! Still going to knock him down. Oh, he's loopy. Super kick! And he's still not down. Man, he is just inches away from going down. Off this the might. top! Oh, oh, no. Went for Q-Cutter. The Q-Cutter gets, oh, my God, double underhook. Oh, my, oh my God. God! Double underhook pile driver! One, two, done! Wow. Wow. Holy wow. mackerel. A hard fought victory. When the bell sounds, the man in command, your referee, Mr. Corey Price. Introducing first, spinning in the corner to my right, from San Francisco, California. She is the challenger.
Mark. You need to no, put that hammer on down or I'll fire you right now. You shut up. You shut up. Okay? You Go get her shut up. Shut up. When the time comes, hold on. Oh. Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared? Come on, bitch. You need object since she brought it into the ring with part of her entrance? Well, I think it will be once the bell rings. Oh, okay. Well, this is the prelims, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't mean we're trying to take away from the main event or anything, but I'm saying we are live. We're live, pal. Well, Phoebe, the referee is trying to tell Phoebe that she cannot have that hula hoop inside the squared circle. The hula hoop has to take a powder to the outside. You know, this official often um, makes some very unsavory decisions for the crowd here at the World Gym Arena. Well, you look at him. He's ugly. Well, they yeah. let's go Phoebe chant here, Ivory. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I feel like Phoebe's the life of the party, but Vanity is the party pooper. So, I don't know. Well, we'll see if Vanity can crash the party here tonight. Both women making their ladies' night out debuts. Phoebe, of course, we have seen her in Shimmer, Rise, Sabotage, of course, Queens of the Ring. Roughly three years in the professional wrestling business. Interestingly enough, Phoebe and Vanity are both friends outside of the ring. They met at a wrestling camp and um, broke into the business here together. Well, Matt Topolsky, I also want to thank that Phoebe almost has an advantage and an experience here just for this reason. When we had the reality of wrestling row on the Rise show here a few months ago, Phoebe w competed in that match. She was in here at the World Gym Arena before, so the fans know they're going to be on her side, and it's not a new territory for her to be working in. Well, the bright lights of Ladies Night Out brings out a different edge of competition here at Title Match Network, and I can tell you that these two may be friends outside of the squared circle, but it's every woman for themselves in there right now at L 7 yeah. Yeah. Ivory, do you remember your first time stepping inside the ring? I do, and uh, it was scary. I Is it worth remembering? Oh, I can't forget that. I got power <laughs> bomb. I got the power bomb from hell that knocked my vision. I saw like two or three different colors at one time, and then I got chopped in the chest by a 400-pound man. That's something you can't forget. Well, there you go. Sure is no hula hooping. We want to thank everyone that has taken advantage of that free 14-day trial here tonight. When you're done with Ladies Night Out 7, make sure you check out the other offerings on TitleMatchNetwork.com, including over 120 promotions from around the world. Hey, yeah, Matt Topolsky, I have my title match subscription. I fell down the rabbit hole. Ended up watching a title match for almost eight hours straight the other weekend. It's definitely worth the price of admission. Oh, what is going on here? Some unorthodox type movements. Oh! Drop kick right there to the bread basket. Sends Vanity to the ring apron. Phoebe looking to make her impact here. Ladies' Night Out has oh, been a proving ground. Out. It's been a career starter for a lot of female athletes throughout the country. And now Phoebe charging up here. Uh oh. Swing and a miss there for Phoebe. Oh! Good Lord. Well, Vanity made full contact on that one. Ooh, I think she might need some oxygen after that one. Wow. Vanity, will it be a short night of work? Phoebe kicks out, but um, I think her form hula hooping is definitely going to be <laughs> shifted significantly. 
after that chop. I know I blundered it at the start of the show, but Renee Michelle is somewhere in the building here. I was a little verklempt, Brad Gilmore. Hey, I don't blame you for obvious reasons, but this is our second prelimi preliminary matchup. We still have seven major matches going down. A lot of first times here tonight, Matt Topolsky. And I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to that Diamonds Division Championship match. Alex Gracia, Miranda, it's going to be good, man. And you know, as, as, as we look ahead to that, Ivory, there was a time in your career where you were a first-time champion. You were walking into that first title defense. That's what Alex Grossi is doing later on here tonight. And she's taking on Miranda, who quite frankly is one of the most dangerous female athletes in the game today. What advice, if any, would you give for Alex Gracia if the pink dream is looking on right now? She has to understand that once that title went around her waist, that she was a target. Oh, wow. She was a target for any and everyone that wanted that opportunity to dethrone her. So she's going to have to give it her all. Cover here, hooks both legs, kick out at two. Especially going against someone like Miranda, because I don't know if y'all remember at the other ladies' night out that she attacked someone from the back as they were coming out. So, Oh, ooh. man, wow. I can hear that. that was a thud, Matt Topolsky, to the back of Phoebe from Vanity. Clubbing blows continue. And Vanity's going to have to break the hold here. She does not want her ladies' night out account to be opened with a disqualification. Perfectly executed suplex there. A perfect 10 on the landing, and that is trouble for Phoebe. Vanity trying to use that strength advantage. A second one here. And Phoebe may need to see a chiropractor after this matchup. She's not going to be hula hooping anytime soon, let alone stilt walking. Well, you know, Vanity, I think, had an opportunity there, right, Matt, to, to finish this match off. I think she should have gone for a cover right there. I thought that maybe Phoebe was out of it, but she wants to inflict more damage. I don't know if that was wise. Third attempt here. Oh! Brings her off that top rope. This could be it. She got the hat trick on the suplexes, but it still wasn't enough. Phoebe hanging on. See, the thing about Vanity that a lot of people might not recognize is that she's from both sides of the track, meaning she knows what it takes on both sides. So hopefully we'll see what she has to get this W at her first ladies night out. Oh. Yeah, in that elbow there into the carotid artery. She's trying to slow down this match a little bit. She wants to weaken Phoebe. It seems like Phoebe's all about energy, about trying to jump around a little bit too much. And I think Vanity's right. Slow it down. Bring the match to your pace. Sunset flip here from Vanity. But Phoebe... Rolls out, I don't know, perhaps the momentum carried her over. Shot to the dome there, is it enough? No, one and a half. And she clutches that low back again, man. Right after that, she clutches the low back. And you saw the energy, the, the almost a nonchalant cover. That wasn't purposeful, that wasn't boastful. It's because she's running out of energy. Yeah. Well, one has to wonder, Ivory, if it's smart for her to be coming out here and hula hooping before a professional wrestling match oh! to begin with. Reverse neck breaker out of desperation. I think to compete with these women that are that come to the Lady Night Out, like all the shows, they're all hungry. They're they're wanting to prove themselves. So you don't necessarily want to take up too much energy with things outside of this ring. It's cute, but you need to save that energy. Agreed. Oh. Reversal Lariat. Backhand here from Phoebe. And perhaps that second wind is kicking in, just a little bit of adrenaline. Oh, wow. Face plants vanity, but will it be enough? Rolls her over, a little delay there, cover two. Just enough time for vanity to stay in it. Later on here tonight in our main event, Eva Lisa Diamante, a matchup that will make your mouth water. This is a battle of who came first. Row Diamonds Division Championship up for grabs here tonight. Thunder Rosa back in action off her oh. impressive showing at Queens of the Ring. So much still to come here tonight at Ladies Night Out 7, the premier women's invitational in professional wrestling. 
Oh, no. Oh. oh. She calls that the cookie cutter. I wonder why. Well, I do not envy Phoebe's position right now. I can tell you that. Cover here. Oh, and gets, gets her hand on the rope. That's one way to escape a pin. Phoebe's still reeling from that, uh, what was it called, the cookie cutter? The cookie cutter. From the cookie cutter. <laughs> but Vanity has had several opportunities. Ow, that one hurt. She had several opportunities to try to end this and what be the ring positioning. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And then goes downstairs. My goodness. Is that not a disqualification? Well, I'll tell you what, Isaac Bullion may have had his eyes closed there. I would say when one goes low, the other goes high, but they both went low. And they're both feeling it right now. Vanity calls herself the fiercest doll in the game. Well, I think she is feeling how fierce oh. Phoebe can be. Hula hoop or not, she has another degree to her here. Two, three, Phoebe gets the dunk. No one likes you, David. Shut up. David, please come back to the team. It was just the song. Alrighty, Danny getting a little mouthy over there in the corner. I think she's showing the fans what's in her book. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Welcome back, David. I had to give some love to my overkill partner over here, Danny Jordan, the mean girl. And the mean girl has... This is an interesting situation. We got Danny Jordan who's appeared numerous times on AEW and NWA. And we got Savannah who's, like I said earlier, newly signed to Impact. So we gotta have, we're gonna have like a star quality match here. Uh oh. Break it. Yes! Yes! yes. Woo! There we go, Miss Evans! That is a big mistake. That is a big mistake. Danny Jordan Wait, loves that burn book. Danny Jordan is half uh -oh. of Savannah Evans' height. Yeah, but she's scared. She's going overkill. That's right. Yeah. Go for the legs, Danny. This is a smart tactic. Savannah Evans is a huge, huge competitor. And Savannah Who's Evans just This looks like it's not even phasing Savannah. Oh, Ooh, big punch from Danny head. Jordan. One thing you cannot take away from Danny Jordan, you can take away her size, you can take away anything you want to, but you cannot take away her strikes. Oh, oh, basement drop kick from Danny Jordan. Vintage Danny Jordan. Vintage. <laughs> uh oh, trying to get, trying to muster up Savannah. Oh, another. another drop kick. A couple more of those. And a pin. And she oh. kicks out at one. Miss Evans not seeming, seeming to be phased at all. at all. You're right, sir. Thank you for completing my sentences. That's what us uh, Danny renegade pissed. Oh. Look at that huge uppercut from Danny. I noticed. Oh. Danny eats a hard buckle. Uh oh. Danny's too quick though. Oh, oh big comes splash. in with a splash. That's kind of, it's probably going to be the story of this whole match. Is Savannah Danny, Evans pushes her off. Danny trying to out muster Savannah Evans' size and strength. Uh oh. Danny going for a patented German that she usually goes for. Savannah. Oh. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. She's throwing those thunderous oh, she's elbows. She's going up. Yeah. Danny's going up. Oh, oh, oh! oh. With the big old, what would we call it? She hit the ropes. She yeah. Hit the ropes. That's Not my, off. Uh, that's my friend there, Danny. But that's why they call it high risk. Oh, just wait. Just give her some time. She's gonna go overkill and win this whole thing. That's we'll the one thing you cannot take away from us. We'll see. Okay, it's the cannibal Savannah Evans. That's who we're talking about. Uh, you have to remember that, David. I know you love her. But. I know you guys aren't as in. Wow. Overkill really hasn't been showing their own oh, wow. today. I mean, you came out and you lost your match. Let's hope Danny doesn't do the same thing. 
I know you guys are as uneducated as two teenagers probably would be, but Brain always, always takes out Braun. Oh! I'm not sure. Savannah Evans is throwing Danny J around the screen. If Danny can survive, like if she can survive Savannah's, if she can survive her offense, Danny, Danny can pull out. She can pull it out. Oh! She's out for blood. Huh? Yes. Uh, also, let's talk about those braids. I know us the games. Oh hell braids. no! Butterfly suplex from Savannah Evans to my overkill friend. Kick out, Danny. You got it. You got it. Yes. 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 Very yes. weak kick out. Looks like Danny might be done. She ain't done. She ain't done. People can call us whatever they want to, overconfident or overzealous. But one thing we do have is heart. overdone. We, are, we have heart. Overdone. What's overdone is twins. Come on. We've, we've seen a, a bunch of that lately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When was the last time you saw the twins in any promotion other than, than Mission Pro, AEW? Uh, we got some AWE coming up. Let's talk about that. I'm sorry, but we see overkill on every show all the time. And it's, like it's getting a little bit. Overkill? Over, yeah, oh, there you man. go. Just like that slam she just gave Danny Jordan. Hair bump. So she said she didn't touch the hair. One thing they, they got across earlier in the match is that they have done this too many times before. So Savannah has Danny's number, and Danny has Savannah's number. It's just who's going to dial it up first. Now, oh. Big old who body slam. Oh, my goodness. Oh no. Look out, Danny. Look out, look out. Oh, leg huge drop leg from drop. Savannah Evans. Come on, and Danny. One, two. Yes. And Danny kicks yes. out. That's the heart we're talking about. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Danny and I have known each other for a very long time. Um, I actually gave Danny her first bumps in wrestling. We've trained together since her inception in wrestling. And there's always been that respect between the both of us. Did Danny slap just slap Savannah Evans in the face? She did. Oh, no, and we've seen this. She came back with a strong right hook. We've seen these two yeah. go back and forth with strikes. Oh, oh, Danny oh. Danny thought. Danny She's thought. Oh, oh. Danny, caught. come on, turn around. R2, R2, R2. Big old power oh. slam. Oh, my gosh. Big old nice. power slam from Savannah Evans. And the people here are just thirsty for action. Cheering on Savannah Evans to be a cannibal here. Un unlikely scenario. Right now. Yes. Really cheap, really cheap pin by Savannah Evans. Really cheap. I, I'm kind of surprised that Savannah is just underestimating Danny as many times as they've battled before. Not just here, but like everywhere across across the nation. Well, I mean, if you look at her, yeah, come on, the Savannah's hair. probably twice the size oh, of Danny. She's got her in her and rear. Right. Look at what she's doing right now. Look at the submission of Again. the ring right now. And you think that Danny's going to be able to... Again, again, as you teenagers begin to develop and to grow into your own selves, become women, you'll understand that brain always beats brawn. How old are you? Brain always beats brawn. How old are you? Old Why are you enough. calling me a teenager? I'm old enough. Sir? How old are you? Old enough. Exactly. Legal. Exactly. Let's talk about it. Okay. But, but, but barely. Oh, wow. The Danny barely. is still Just like up. Danny's barely oh, in this no. match. Second. That's, That's the second. That's two. Hold it. Hey. Yeah. Yes. She yes. Yes. catches it. Yes. Savannah Evans is now realizing she's in a Come lot on, of trouble. Come on, a Danny. A lot of trouble. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Danny. Come on, she's Danny. giving her a couple shots, trying to break free. The one thing that Danny and I have in common is that we are always going against giants. People are always oh. trying to underestimate our size, but we come back with heart. Yes. Yes. Come on, Danny. Stay on top. Stay on top. Oh. She just cut her off. No, no, she's not today, baby. Oh, what size is it? Is it 16? Oh my god. And the cannibals. What size does Danny wear? A size two in children? They want me to get it. Compared to Savannah, yeah. Can we talk about how Savannah is just piping off at the mouth? At every chance she possibly can get. Oh my and gosh. With Danny with a code breaker out of nowhere. Oh. Okay, so that clothesline uh -oh. still uh -oh. hasn't gotten her down. Uh oh. Still One hasn't more still knocked her down. You got it, Danny. You got it. You got it. Oh, oh. Kick to here the it knee. is. Oh, hey, yes, kick. yes, yes, get it, get it, get it. One, two. Ah. Savannah kicks out. Stay in it, Danny. Stay in it. Stay in it. 
Stay in it, Danny. Come on, Savannah. Get up to your feet, girl. Savannah's doing the same thing you two did. And that's the overzealous. Nice. One, two. Oh. Okay, oh, Savannah Danny. kicks out. She's still alive. Beautiful Danny. shining Jordan. wizard from Danny Jordan. There we go. Danny looks like she's ready to give up. Danny's staying in it. She's strong. She looks mad. One thing Danny Jordan can do is she can do this all day. Oh, uh oh, going for the J drop. That's her finished move. Savannah, today. oh no. Going for a choke slam. 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 Yes. There we go. Savannah on, Evans Danny. just leveling Danny. Danny Jordan. Come on, Danny. You got One, this. two. Yes. Oh, and she kicks yes. out. Oh. Yes. Crazy. And that, Savannah. that twins, that is overkill. And Savannah yes. Evans should have put her down on her back, stayed one, two, three. The fact that Danny Jordan has kicked out of that huge choke slam is a huge thing for Danny. Good job on Danny. I have to give her her props there. These two are Danny basically veterans the in the women's division here. Danny Jordan Ooh. being trained. Uh oh, uh oh, finish Danny DDT oh, right here. DDT? Oh! No way. Triple DDT. One, two, oh. and Savannah Evans kicks out. Kicks out of the triple DDT. Danny asked the ref, what are you doing? Oh my God, I'm so tired. She is not saying that. She Danny Jordan is trying to figure out what she has she to do to take care of Savannah Evans. I mean, hey, I get it, it's hot out here today. She might actually be tired, David. I know uh -oh. you were a little High bit risk. Man. High risk maneuver. I don't get tired. Going to the top. I'm sorry, David, but that's I get why you cheated lost. on. No, that's why you I lost. I get cheated on. on. Got tired and let him cross body. Yes, huge cross body from Danny Jordan going overkill. The only way she knows how to do it. Coming back with the yes, e. yes, right. another shining wizard. I don't know, Danny Ring, Ring awareness. Can't. She's too close to the ropes. Danny couldn't get the pin. Savannah Evans climbing to her feet. Come on, Danny. You get the strength, baby. You got it. Come on. Come on. Burn her book. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. DDT. Oh. Huge DDT. From Savannah Evans. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. Beautiful. And that's it right One, there, ladies and two, gentlemen. Three. Oh. That's it. There we go. Savannah Evans winning this match. In spite of it all, you have to give it to both these women for coming out here. And we have a bell rung and Richards just eyeballing his opponent in Chandler Hopkins right across the room there. I don't know if Debbie Richards knows what to make of Chandler Hopkins. Oh, I think he knows exactly what to make of Chandler Hopkins, man. As Chandler Hopkins extending the hand here. Oh, little fist bump there. Sign of respect. Debbie Richards extending a Can handshake. You you love Consummate it. professional here. You know, I think, uh, oh, I think Debbie oh, Richards. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. David oh, Richards yeah. usually, uh, you know, he usually sees his opponent a little more serious, and, you know, standing across from him in the ring. Might kind of uh, confuse him a little bit. Chandler Hopkins being so so smiling, right? Yeah, so, so happy to be here. Hey, look, man, Chandler Hopkins definitely is, uh, you know, should be happy. He's 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 here in Pele Pro, baby. But now both men trying to jockey for position, and Chandler Hopkins remains smiling. Again, like I said, man, that confidence just exudes from this young man. He is ready to be battle against one of the best in the world, looking to prove why he is one of the best in Texas, bro. And you know what? There's a lot of on the line when it comes to representing an entire state, the biggest state. Yes. Both men. Chain wrestling on the get here is now Chandler Hopkins trying to go for that arm. This is the waist lock. Richards with the first switch. And then grab that Gamora hold and connects it to a head scissors. Nice one. Nice leg scissors there. Chandler Hopkins trying to get out of it. He's so quick. Oh. He's so quick, dude. That was He's impressive. So Able to get up to a vertical base and eye down his opponent. 
letting David Richards know, hey man, I'm no slouch, I'm ready to go, let's do this. All right, we have to pick apart the situation and refocus. Yes. Roman Greco blocked there. Both men jockeying for the position, test of strength here. Davey Richards into the... Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, oh wow. Rolls through. That was Clutching beautiful. the wrist there. Bringing both arms across the throat. Going to cut off the airflow circulation of Chandler Hopkins. Bringing him down to a knee. Smart wrestling from Davey Richards, man. Oh, my God. You can see Chandler Hopkins trying to fight back as much as possible, oh, but wow. torquing that back, that's not helping that's, at all. That's experience right there. That's 17 years Whoa. experience in pro wrestling, but Chandler Hopkins oh. showing the quickness there, able to reverse the hold, and Richards, well, he put him in the hold, he's gonna, he knows how to get out of it, and look at this. Oh, oh yeah. Rolls him through, drop toe hold. Both Taking control in. here of the arms. Spin him through, pinfall two, no. Did oh, you he see? That rope. Did you see that? He Can't, kicked that rope. Yeah. Put his just, just the way he like contorted his his body to get the foot on the bottom rope. That's a lot of that's a core strength right there. Yeah. That shows experience. Behind the down. Single leg takedown. Budging the head here, going for the cover. Hopkins staying in control here with the headlock. Beautiful ring awareness from both of these competitors yeah. so far. Hopkins up to his feet, vertical base, both men. Hopkins still clutching the side head lock. Davey Richards trying to break away. Both kind of at a stalemate. Yeah, bringing him over to the ropes, though. Richards. Oh! Nice. Kind of great finding the arm oh. into the middle rope, kicking it. Hey, it's legal. Yes, he's, it he's is. In the ring. Oh! Just snapping that arm. He's picked his shot. He's going to focus on that arm there. Chandler Hopkins. Trying to fight back. Oh, Richards. Oh, oh yeah. That left arm is going to get just torqued. Yeah. Head. Richards clutching the hand, the wrist there, looking to, to stretch out the ligaments in the hand, the, the, the uh, forearm. And now look at this. He's picked his limb for the night. Yep. He the tricep area looks like it is just being stretched out. Stomp on oh. the head. Yep. Oh, that can't be good. And attacks the arm, the tricep, Chandler Hopkins. May not be in a good way here. That might uh, deplete some of his offense already. Oh, yeah. I hope Hopkins is right-handed. Well, I mean, Richards is definitely going to make oh. sure that he uh, takes down one of those arms. Look at this. Oh, the grinding the shoulder. Yep. Hopkins rolling through. Bringing him down. <laughs> Giving him a taste of his own medicine almost. There go. Looking for a cross face here. Davey Richards is fighting that. Oh, he's got it. He's got it locked in, Richards. Richards right now playing victim to the cross face right now is Chandler Hopkins. Well, oh, rolls it through. What's he got here? Oh, oh wow. No. Ah. Kind of a modified Texas clover leaf right there. Yes, it is. And Hopkins grabbing the rope. Just in time. Should be illegal for anybody that's not from Texas to do a Texas play. Well, look, like man, that. you know, look. Chandler Hopkins can take a breather here on the outside and nurse that knee back into commission. You know, really, Davey Richards is playing it smart here. He's, he's keeping the high flyer, the young gun, down on the mat. And that's just smart technical wrestling by part of Davey Richards. That's showing into the experience. You know, Davey Richards held has held many accolades for a reason. Yes, he Ricky has. Ricky Asada, and he is showing <laughs> Chandler Hopkins exactly why he really is one of the best in the world. Oh, Ooh. thought we were going to get a test of strength, but thought Chandler so too, Hopkins but swings Look at that through. look. Like, really, dude? Here we go. Oh. oh. We're now going to the striking. Both men. Oh. <laughs> trying to rattle one another. You can definitely feel, oh, oh, that kick straight to the chest, taking down Chandler Hopkins off of his feet. Uh, Chandler Hopkins is just, just almost knocked out. Oh, Oof. might be losing his breath just a bit. Oh, they're definitely frustrated. In this matchup, oh, no, oh, here we go. To, In a hammerlock the position, picking him up. Oh. In and, oh, wow. Oh, a back body drop right there from a hammerlock position. 
Davy Richards in control of this contest here. And that frustration starting to set in with Chandler Hopkins. Well, I mean, you know, Richards has been has been dead. Oh wow, look at that! Oh. <laughs> wow. Interesting way to get into an arm bar, now into a, to a hammerlock position. And Richards going for the other arm, making oh. sure one arm is secure. Oh, wow. This is just oh. barbaric looking. And just, oh! Almost just tearing the, 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 tiny, the ligaments, the tiny muscles in that shoulder from Chandler Hopkins. I mean, Davy Richards is just going to make sure both arms are just out of commission for the rest of this contest, and Hopkins off the ropes. Sunset oh. flip. Richards Is he gonna get him? looking to clutch the rope. Oh, oh. Into, a, into an arm bar. Reverses into an arm bar. Hopkins. Try not to let him get all oh, of it. He's got it, he's got it. Chandler Hopkins fighting through as much as possible. Hopkins looking uh -oh. to stack Richards, and now a Texas Cole relief there of his go. own. Chandler Hopkins fighting as much as he possibly can. And Richards grabs the ropes. Oh, man. Both of these gentlemen are equally matched in this contest, and you, folks. And you see how Chandler Hopkins almost collapses down onto the mat just out of sheer exhaustion. Both men giving it back and forth to one another. This has been one heck of a contest, Ricky Asada. It really has. And now Chandler Hopkins favoring that left arm. And Richard's gonna continue that attack on that arm. Oh! Uh, tying him up on the ropes there in the corner. Taking almost all of that count. Referee, yeah, referee, you know, if he could've gotten up to that fifth, that, that number five, it could've been, uh, this match could've been over in a disqualification, but Chandler Hopkins trying to gain some offense, but Richard's just saying, no, not today, sir. Davey Richards looking to get Chandler Hopkins up to a vertical base. Oh. Definitely trying to lift Hopkins. Be trying to get him into a, a brain oh. buster type situation. Oh! Just big forearms. Forearms back oh. and forth, Bethel. These guys just showing no stop, no oh. end. Spinning back kick. It's Sagiri. Rocking Richards, Richards off the ropes, sending Hopkins to the outside, but he's, he remains on his feet, rolled through. Oh, oh my goodness, rolling wow. through. <laughs> One, two, three, oh, just two. And Chandler what Hopkins. What a roll through, what a roll through on that. That was beautiful, yeah. man. That was beautiful. On that flat, that flat liner, I was beside myself there, beautiful. A lot to take in. Just fluid motion from Chandler Hopkins in that ring as we're seeing the, 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 the young gun and the experienced Davey Richards going back and forth here in this contest. And now Richards in trouble. Big oh. chop from Hopkins. Well, that chop may have uh, rattled Davey Richards just enough to get him refocused. Here we go. Davey Richards calling for a chop fest. Oh, oh, no. No, he gave him a kick to the chest. Both men fighting for the position for the upper hand. Chandler looking for a kick, sweeps through, kick, give him that little back oh. kick. Little Pele kick for Pele Pro. And now oh. big diving forearm. Picks him up, mm. suplex there. And oh, nice! You know, Falcon Arrow one, two, no, two point nine on that Bethel. And Chandler Hopkins, Hopkins cannot believe it. Just eyeballing the referee, saying, "For real, really, really?" Oh my goodness! Throwing everything, everything at Davy Richards, trying to wake that arm up, bring it back to life a little bit, yep. trying to get a little bit of feeling. Well, this fan to finish this off. Well, these fans, Ricky, they're behind. The young gun, Chandler Hopkins. Yes, they are. And shoulder. Know, David Richards has something to say about it. Clutching, clutching the leg there. What's he doing here? What's he got in store for him? Uh-oh. Oh! Dragon screw off of the middle rope. Five minutes remaining. And five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining in this contest. Both men have put it on. And Richards from the top. Double stop misses. Chandler. 
No, schoolboy. Picks him up. Oh, uh oh, 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 oh. I thought we were going to get another modified clover leaf, but. Indian leg lock there, applying the pressure right on the Hopkins knee. Trying to fight as much as possible. Looking to, looking to grab the rope, oh. but he does. Oh. And Hopkins can get a breather from that. That knee has to be shredded at this point, man. Both men just putting it all out there on the line. Davy Richards just so beside himself right now. It, it is, it is ridiculous as to how both these men have just been going back and forth in this matchup and just still able to compete at the highest level. It's it's wild to me. Jimmy Richards getting Hopkins up. Uh -oh. Oh, stalling yeah. it. Stalling suplex. Hopkins connects with the knee, spinning back kick. Oh, and now here we go. Trading moves here. Oh. It's Sagiri, but into Jimmy it. Jimmy Richards caught it. Turned it into an ankle lock. Has that ankle lock applied. Richards. Oh, no. Hopkins able to roll him through to the outside. Richards back into the ring. Hopkins trying to nurse himself back oh. to health. But Richards wasting no time here. Oh, oh, my God. A Spanish fly. One, two. Oh, my goodness. What? What? And I Hopkins am, is feeding off this crowd, Ricky. I am stunned, Bethel. We've seen this before. He's going up top. Going to the high red district is Hopkins. All that energy has been exerted from him. He's He's got to get up there. He's got to get up there. Might be taking a little too much time. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Richards catching him at the crossroads with that headbutt. Him on the chin. Oh, this is not safe for either man. Both fighting Whoa. on the top turnbuckle here. Hopkins raining those blows uh -oh. out. Oh, and Richards, Davey Richards with giving that, that look, that death stare. Uh oh, headbutts here. Headbutt, 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 headbutt. Taking Hopkins out. Hopkins just might repeatedly just knocked out, man. And Richards oh continued. Oh my God! How many is it? How I many is that? I, I can't. I lost count. Wow! And Richards getting up on the very top rope. This is scary, Ricky. This is very, very scary. Oh my God! Looking for a superplex, maybe. This can't be good, Bethel. And Richards looking to put this one away. Superplex! Oh! And Hopkins looks like he is out cold. That has got to be it right there. One, two, no. Are you kidding? And now, turn, trying to turn it into an ankle lock. What Kicks. a hard fought battle. Davy Richards is going up top. Richards, all adrenaline here. All adrenaline here. And oh, a double, double stop. stopped. Cover here, one, two, no! What? Wow. We only have 20 seconds now! Davey Richards trying to finish Hopkins as quickly as possible. Hopkins fighting through. Hopkins, not Hopkins giving up. Desperately, desperately trying to tap. And Richards has that in tow, that leg. That was the toe. end of the match, folks. What? That time is up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. What did we just witness, Bethel? What a, what a contest. Yes, yes, the fans are saying it, both these guys. What a contest between Chandler Hopkins and that man, Davey Richards. Wow. What a hard fought battle. This was a war, Bethel. Just just both men going back and forth. We witnessed it here at Pele Pro. And the fans asking for five more minutes. Davey Richards looked like he wants to oblige. Oh, oh he definitely does. And five uh -oh. more minutes. What? Five more minutes. Wait a minute. Five 
That's our champ. Well, Cameron Cole out here. This is a problem around here. I should be the one having the five star matches. I should be the one having the standing location. Oh. Not the walk and not the cowboy tweet. Oh, come on. Come on now. Chandler, you literally make me sick when you're a party city outfit and you're goofy with a cowboy hat. Hey. You'll never be a champion like me, and you'll never do business with a champion like me. Well, Cat Cole with some words here. I see the same violence. I see the same aggression in your eyes that I have. We can do business. Wait a minute, huh? Yeah, we can't have something to say to you. Oh. Cameron Cole approaching the ring. Well, it sounds like he might have a business proposition. Trying to appeal to Davey Richards. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty apparent that, you know, I mean, both Davey Richards and Chandler Hopkins just had one heck of a matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And now, Cam Cole, the Paley Pro champion, looks like he might have a business proposition for Davey Richards. And let's see if Davey Richards obliges. And wow. Whispering in his ear. Some sort of alliance. He's Some extending the handshake. And Richards. Maybe considering it. Well, he's thinking about it. That and million well, dollar whoa. smile. Wow. From Cameron Cole. Oh! Hey! And oh! Well, oh, wait a minute. These guys are working together now. Davey Richards taking on the young gun Chandler Hopkins. And Chandler waking that knee up. Yes, baby. It's time to fly. Oh! We just went through a whole match, and Chandler Hopkins still looks great. Look at that. What a sign of air. respect right there. Davey Richards handing the Pele Pro Championship to the young gun, Chandler Hopkins. Wow. Ultimate sign of respect between these two, Ricky Asada. Oh, 
collarbone. Well, the referee don't creep. That's not true. He's not creepy at all. Taking part. WSU competition. Yeah. Yeah. ODB, victim of the vertical suplex. Nice suplex. Havoc. Lateral press. Doesn't hook the leg though, but still able to get a two count. And ODB doing a smart thing, trying to create some separation, trying to clear the cobwebs. I thought there were a couple of uh, the wrestlers here about. One of, the, one of the most interesting comments I heard was from Alicia. She said that she wouldn't mess with her for, for, for a month, I guess. That's not exactly what she said. She wouldn't mess with her as the point. I'm probably sure that's not. She has that reputation. This guy has a very, very tough, no-nonsense individual as we're learning. That's why they invite her in to join her army, be her enforcer. But, oh, Bullseye. You have to believe ODB didn't expect this. No, not at all, especially after her, her previous outing the last time we were here in Union City when ODB would want to own Porsche Perez. I mean, a completely different contrast in style here, and especially just in her two points. And right now, ODB being dominated here by Jessica Havoc. Get out of me! Get out of me! What if he was in trouble? Yeah. I don't think it takes a, a genius. No, no, I might be. No, I mean, it definitely doesn't. That would does it, but you, 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 you got to make sure what we say. Whoa! She magnifies the bear hug with a wedgie. Never quite seen that strategy before. I would imagine it's painful. But nonetheless, I mean, the Havoc's doing a smart strategy. She's got the form. Her form right across the lower back. That's a lot of pain there. And it's hard for ODB to get full, full breath of air. ODB is tied up at the end of this one. Let's see how it can be. Use her power and strength to come out of this. Havoc just using her, using her height and her, and her upper strength just to dominate ODB like I don't think anyone expected. It's, it's, it's tried to, I mean, they're going to cheer, but they're kind of stuck. Right, this picture right here. Havoc up and OB, ODB down, just, you know, kind of lackadaisically uh, taunting her at this point. No, this is an image that nobody, nobody expected. And you've got to know the championship committee is looking on at this match, and the winner of this one is probably going to find themselves skyrocketing into contention for any of the singles titles here in WSU. Be it all best for glory. Well, let's steer tight. Yeah. This is the first time here coming in with a big resume, a big reputation. This ain't going to help you unless you've uh, got, got a plan. We've seen, we've seen this scenario work before. Yeah. Well, I don't think too far back. In the meantime, ODB unbossed the havoc. Took a mouthful.
Dream Girl Ellie joining us here at AML in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where ladies' night out action will take place. And it's bigger than just that because the LNO Championship will be defended in this matchup. And we thank you for joining us here on Title Match Wrestling's YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help push us over the 1 million mark. Very close to that celebration. And Dream Girl Ellie with an opportunity to put the biggest feather in her cap in her young career by capturing that LNO championship. Dream Girl Ellie wants to prove that she is one of the top female professional athletes in the world of professional wrestling today. In order to do that, she'll have to get through the LNO champion. Ivelisse has become the godmother of Ladies' Night Out. She has dominated the Ladies' Night Out division and has appeared at multiple Ladies' Night Out events stringing together one victory after another, and that's why she carries the biggest prize featured on Title Match Network, the LNO Championship. A perennial veteran in the sport of professional wrestling, Eva Lise, has competed with some of the biggest stars in the sport. We'll find out this week just how dominant Ivelisse is taking on Dream Girl Ellie. Ellie, the first time that she and Ivelisse will be locking up will be happening right here at AML. The Ladies' Night Out Championship as you see it right there. And more Ladies' Night Out action to come on February the 29th. Ladies' Night Out will be streaming live. Go to TitleMatchNetwork.com for more information on where you can see it. And also take advantage of that 14-day free trial of Title Match Network. And look at Ivelisse. Mind games early on here. She is cerebral, and that is a big part of her playbook inside the squared circle, getting inside the head of her opponent. risk control early on here. One thing the champion will do, and that is attempt to establish her dominance and do it early in the matchup. Momentum plays a huge part in the work that you see from Ivelisse inside the ring. Trying to take that arm off early on here. Green Girl Ellie recently made her WrestleCade debut and has also wrestled in the United Kingdom as well. Trained by Matt Seidel and Offa the Wild Samoan. There are plenty of tricks up the sleeve of the Ladies' Night Out champion. And I'm quite certain as this matchup moves into deep water that Ellie will start to experience the breath of experience, if you will, that the Ladies' Night Out champion has. Evil East right now on top of the challenger. Wrist lock arm drag there from Ellie. Challenger here trying to string some momentum of her own together. Champion moves out of the way. Boot to the face. Shot to the temple. Courtesy of the ladies' night out champion who tries to make it a short night of work. And Ellie in trouble early here. Pin attempt one. Just a one count. be stated enough just how dominant Ivelisse has been since debuting in Ladies' Night Out and then capturing that Ladies' Night Out championship in a battle between the two true number one contenders at the time for the LNO title, Ivelisse and the superstar Miranda Alizé. Kick out here at two this time from Ellie. Ivelisse here great finds the leg. 
the first Texas Cloverleaf from the LNO champion. Perfectly executed center of the ring, and Ellie now in trouble here. The challenger now slips out. Knee to the jaw. Trying to steal it here. Kick out a two. Ellie again cut off there. She tries to string together some offense. Not enough. Perfectly executed side suit play from the LNO champion. Shout out to Gordon Soley there. Covering the one, two, and a kick out. This time from the challenger. Eva Lee's first defended that Ladies Night Out Championship outside of the World Gym Arena in Houston, Texas at WrestleCade. She defended it in a four way dance against Kiera Hogan, Diamante, and Miranda Alize, who she defeated for that championship at Ladies Night Out 8. This is just another example of the fighting champion that is Eva Lee's. Now a flurry of kicks to the back, showing you that she's got some educated feet as well. Will this be enough to put away Ellie? No. Kick out again. Ivelisse not short on confidence. Not now, not ever. Ellie defiant there, and perhaps to her peril. Knife edge chop from the champion. Goes to the well again, now Ellie trying to fire back here. Both champion and challenger exchanging shots. Center of the ring, powers are down, hooks the leg, two, two and a half. Ellie slips out and gets that shoulder up. Punching her ticket to Second Chance City and forcing this matchup to continue. Walked right into it there. The challenger looking for the upset. Kick out again, this time from the champion. A seesaw battle now. But Ellie has yet to be able to string together offensive maneuvers. Gain some momentum and take over control of this matchup. Ivelisse traps that leg down on the knee, and then powers down Ellie this time. Package power bomb not gonna be enough. Two and three quarters, and the match continues. Although Ellie has not been building a lot of momentum and offense in this matchup, she is now visibly frustrating the champion. Painted all over the face of Eva Lee, wondering what she has to do to keep dream girl Ellie down. A head full of hair, Tosses her across the ring like a human crash test dummy. And now Eva Lee's turning up the volume a bit here as we've seen in previous encounters. Clubbing blow to the back from Eva Lee's. Shot downstairs to the bread basket on the challenger. Now mounts the challenger and she's trying to strangle the life out of her here as the official could get to a count of five, would disqualify Ivelisse, but the title will not change hands that way. She knows that and now drives that knee into the small of the back of the challenger as Dream Girl Ellie is starting to experience a nightmare in there with the champion. Drives that knee into the small of the back again. Tendons, muscle, and vertebrae all being extended and compromised here, courtesy of the champion. Ellie, does she have any gas left in the tank? Goes for a standing drop kick, and the rug just pulled out from under the challenger here. Ellie, up to the second rope. Missile drop kick, this time it does land. 
Ivalice, call it momentum or call it a high ring IQ. She rolls to the bottom rope, preserving her ability to get some rest and not be pinned in the center of the ring. Ellie attempting to get back to her feet. That missile drop kick may have taken everything out of the challenger that remained. Ellie back to a vertical base, as is the champion. Larian, make it two. Forearm shot there from the challenger. Ellie blocks the shot, sends Eva Lee's face first into the mat, super kick to the jaw to win the Ladies' Night Out Championship kick out at two and three quarters. A flurry of offense now that is growing into a blizzard here for the challenger, Dream Girl Ellie. Double underhook, looking for a suplex. Champion powers out again. Devastating powerbomb with a bridge, center of the ring, still won't be enough. Ivelisse now looking for what appears to be, no, I thought maybe a sharpshooter in the center of the ring. Ellie with a code breaker. Rolls her up here, bridge two. Ivelisse slides out. Shock painted across the face of the challenger, wondering what she's got to do to keep down Ivelisse. Ellie now calling her shot here. Climbing to the second rope, perched up top. That's why they call it high risk. Knife edge chop. Oh, dream girl Ellie. Crash lands. And now Ivelisse looks to put the challenger away here. And she taps out. Vicious, dangerous. And without mercy, yet another victory for the ladies' night out champion, Eva Lise. A valiant effort from Dream Girl Ellie. But it was not enough as Eva Lise remains on top of the LO brand, making a massive statement here at AML in Winston Salem. Thank you for joining us on Title Match Network. Again, hit that subscribe button. Help push us across the million mark. For Ladies Night Out, I'm Matt Topolsky. We'll see you next time. with an amateur wrestling background. Lindsay Snow trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This has the potential to be one hell of a fight. And the dramatic cries for Nancy coming across the broadcast here. Nancy looks a little alive. I don't know how we're, necessary that was, but hey, we're back in the we're ring. We're alive, pal, you know? Nice work, you see? That's what she was being called. There you go. Sizing each other up here right now. You know, Brad Gilmore, you and Booker T talk about MMA quite often on your successful radio show and podcast, the Hall of Fame. Let me, let me ask you, looking at what you're seeing here in the room right now, what are your thoughts on Lindsay Snow and her, her jiu-jitsu background that she has? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing her implement a little bit more jiu-jitsu. Right now, she's too busy turning uh, her opponent's chest into chopped beef. Oh, man, look at that high knee, too. 
Lindsey Snow an enigma in many ways, Matt Topolsky. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Look at that, boom. Strength, size, ability. Layla Hirsch may be down for the count here in the opening seconds of this matchup. Oh man, swing and a miss though. And Layla Hirsch. Oh! Oh my goodness. Off the Smirnoff, Layla Hirsch. Layla Hirsch! Jeez. Like a compact wrecking ball here. Taking the fight to Lindsey Snow. This is what Ladies Night Out brings to the table. What a fight. These two look like they should be in an octagon, not a wrestling ring. Well, you can't do that at the UFC. A big dive to the outside. Well, it's a good thing the governor of Nevada's not sitting here ringside right now. Wouldn't be the first time he's been putting harm's way. Oh, my goodness, and she comes for seconds. She's like a Russian nesting doll. She just keeps coming out, Matt Topolsky. Wait a minute, though. Oh! Lindsey Snow. Rolls through here, going for that arm bar, center of the ring. This is a fight, make no mistake about it. Both testing each other's physical limits early here and both testing each other's respective disciplines as well. And now Lindsey Snow, judging by the hair, you'd assume there's relation to Evan Snow. Able to get back oh, up. You see a hip hop drop? I, I doubt oh. it. I was, I was wanting to see one. One, two, three, into the four. Here comes Lindsey Snow. One. That the referee said there's, there's only kind of one. I'm glad that he pointed that out because I almost missed it. You know, we have some of the best officials in all of professional wrestling. You know that? We do. We do. My boy. We've really upgraded over the years. I mean, if that's what the one looks like, I can't imagine what the three's got. Oh, man. Big kick to the side of the thighs here. What a European uppercut from Lindsey Snow. Layla Hirsch and Lindsey Snow beating the ever-loving hell out of each other. Trying to steal the show here at Ladies Night Out 8. Oh, man, wow. Devastating Lariat. Will it be enough? Two. Here again. One. I think that was just a one count, Brad. I think you might be right. Only one. Oh! Could you imagine if there was a count out in this match? And here we go back. Oh, man. Trying to go for a knee lift. Don't think she got all of that. German suplex here. Oh, man. Oh, beautiful. My goodness. Beautiful. A snap German suplex, oh. as Gordon Sully used to call it. Cover here. One, two. Oh. Somehow, Lindsey Snow rolls the shoulder over and slips out the back door. Oh, man, look, I don't know if she just spit a tooth out or what. Or she was... Here we go, though. Come on, come on. Layla Hirsch. Going up top, Matt. Lindsey Snow, oh! Oh! Oh, Layla Hirsch and Vince. Oh, 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 oh. Sit up, power bomb oh, to finish two, it off and win her go. debut! Kick out at two and a half! Layla Hirsch, a can't miss prospect coming in to Ladies Night Out here tonight, but Lindsey Snow proving to everyone that she may be the one to look at in 2020, especially here on future Ladies Night Out editions. Well, wait a minute, though. Layla Hirsch able to go through and looking for that arm bar. Once again, does she have athletes, no stranger to Matt wrestling. 
But she cannot get that arm extended, Brad. Lindsay Snow, look oh, at look the at power! That. Incredible power oh, from Lindsay man. Snow! But you, see, you see her shoulders, you see the strength that she's got in her upper body. Lindsay Snow, another display of it right there. Perfectly executed suplex, almost a brain buster! But not a three count. Layla Hirsch showing incredible intestinal fortitude, and Lindsay Snow looking to oh, take her effort One, to the referee, two. but no, a schoolgirl there, kick out, high knee coming back this time from Layla Hirsch. It's hard to keep up with the heavy hitting action in there. Now Layla Hurst, what's she thinking here, man? Oh, oh my. A springboard moonsault. And now both these women continue their battle inside the squared circle. through here. Layla Hurst will be interested to get the suplex on Lindsay Snow this time. Wait a minute. Now Layla Hurst up to the penthouse level. Oh. So perfectly executed this time. Cover one, two. Layla Hurst with a victory in her ladies night out debut. Well, break out the Russian vodka. What a fight. Oh, oh, my goodness. And it's not over yet. Well, Lindsay Snow, not too pleased with that loss that she just suffered. Oh, and this brawl's continuing on the outside here. The official has to get between the two of these. Probably be the most popular thing he does all night. This brawl continuing to the back here between Layla Hirsch and Lindsay Snow, all hell breaking loose. Early on here at Ladies Night Out 8. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you going to touch me? Ready to go. I'll make you cry next, Mr. Clean. Sit your ass down before I come out there and make you shut up.
you got, Ian? Huh? That's all you got? Masha Slimovich versus Dasha of Orlando, Florida. I'm excited to see what Dasha has for Miss Slimovich here. Yes, I am too. Uh, also, we are back here at uh, the TIAA Bank Field for the TIAA Bank, TIAA Bank Taco Festival. Just feet away from the entrance of Daily Place, known where AEW has their dynamites before they went back on the road. That's impressive that you remembered all that. Oh, Did course. you practice much? It's just a couple weeks old. Oh, okay. All right, okay, the tie up. We have a lock up. That's right. There you go. She has her from behind. And they reverse it. 
Masha Slamovich has got to be worn down after her match earlier today. Impressive, though. She did beat two other women, so this should be easy work. It should be easy because she has one opponent, but she did wear her body out in taking out two women earlier today. Well, it went from a Dasha took it out of the side headlock into the head scissors. Head scissors submission. Oh, oh Masha slips go. out. Reverses it. There you go. Again, we are joined by Lane Rosario, the referee in the ring. Two years experience. Having tried out for the WWE, she's been the, official for, she's been the official for every match tonight. She's got to be tired. A pin attempt by Masha on Dasha. As the crowd starts getting behind Dasha here, only because she's the hometown girl. I mean, let, let's be honest. Right. The fans are going eight bananas. Right. There you go. Masha Lou, some pretty impressive acrobatics. There you go, arm drag taking down Dasha. Now she has her in that arm bar. She did get her style from Dynamite Kid. That is very reminiscent of Dynamite Kid Japanese style. She's getting in there. She's got a wrist lock on. Ooh, she works that in. She gets that yank in the arm. Dasha trying to break the wrist lock by grabbing the rope. There you go, but you know Masha's strong, man. I'm, t I'm telling you, man, lugging those potatoes around. There oh, she look is. at that oh. move. And a top wrist takedown. What a reversal. Arm drag Dasha. by Dasha. Taking the business to Masha Slamovich here. Oh, One, two, and a oh. kick out. That was only a two, thank God. Oh, they hooked the arms. Dasha's got something in mind. Taking Masha out. She takes to the ropes. To the ropes. There you go. Look at that. As, da as Dasha actually sends Masha out of the ring. Masha's going to gather her thoughts, recuperate, and then step back into the ring. She might have to make herself at home outside of the ring if she is tired from the earlier matches. I mean, she does have a 10 count. Masha coming off of a fresh win in a triple threat earlier tonight. And Masha very, very smart. Rolls in, rolls back out, gives her a fresh 10 count. Masha giving the fans the finger. What a heel. What are you talking about? She was just pointing that she's number one. That's all I saw. I, mean, I could agree with that, but I'm not sure I want to. To the ropes, reverse, double reversal. Oh, oh. trips her into the rope. Oh, wow. Kick to the rope, Masha into her neck. Masha kicking the center rope, giving a nice... F you to the throat of Dasha. Look at that by the hair. A snapmare by her ponytail. I don't is think Dasha legal? was explaining. It, it sure is. It's part of the head. It's just a regular snapmare takedown. With the hair? I, I, I saw no hair pulling. I totally saw that. There was no hair pulling, sir. I beg to differ. And as her attorney, I would have to object to your objection. Back to the action here. Dasha with an elbows to the gut on Masha Slamovich. Ooh, she takes her down oh, by you, the hair. What are you talking about? Dasha that just tripped. She slipped. Down. There was a wet spot in the ring. She went to run the ropes and slipped. So you're saying the 90 degrees is creating precipitation on the surface of the mat. Suplex to a pin. Masha only gets a one count. But that absolutely can happen. Do you not know physics? I do. But that's a uh, canvas. Canvases can get wet. Masha. Wow. Masha giving her the heel treatment. Her hair that over slap the to the chest. Rope. What are you talking about? She had put her back to it. The ponytail is long, and it just happened to hang over the top rope. That's I all I saw. I don't know what match you're watching. Watching the same match you're watching over here. I definitely saw some hair pulling in the past two minutes. That, that's, that's a mistake. Into the corner. Look that at that. That seemed very deliberate. Masha misses as Dasha steps away. Dasha. That arm hurting from that there top wrist lock in the pool. A, with a foot to the gut. Masha Slamovich being slung into the... Oh, with a reversal. There you go. She misses the splash. Dasha. Oh, look at that roll-up. combination here. Wow. 
it was impressive. I will give her that. It was very impressive. Down to a schoolboy. Another near fall two count. Surprisingly fast paced match with a crucifix into a roll up. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Dasha, she might have taken this match. Oh, and that's how that works. And with that's how that drop works. Drop kick to the sternum. Dropped her like a sack of Idaho oh, potatoes. It could have been a shotgun drop kick, as short distance as that was. It's an Idaho drop kick. Man. It was definitely a Russian snub nose drop kick. The fans, as you can see, she's working that neck. The fans, oh, there you go, Dasha. Rooting Dasha on. She's working her back and her neck in that position. This is quite the submission here. Looks like Dasha is actually getting up from this submission. Headbutt by Masha and another headbutt. I've got to tell you, the resilience of Dasha is quite surprising. And here goes Masha for the pin. A two count. Dasha will not give up. She kicks out. She's trying to get this match right back underneath her so she can take Masha Slamovich right out of this match. I'm sorry. I think Lane is counting slow. I think she might be tired. And there is... A drop kick from Dasha. To the belly. That was illegal. Two feet to the gut. That's illegal. We'll let them slide. Oh, it's okay for her to let slide, hey. but you're trying to take off. I mean, you've let her slide a lot on those hair pulls. What you, there was no hair pull in you. Was just Masha Slamovich did quite a few hair pulls. I'll give her the drop kick to the gut. Hey, I'll tell you right now, Dasha, scales. Dasha has long hair, it gets tangled, it happens. Short fine. Dasha's firing up here. Dasha with the elbow. Yeah! Masha Stamovich goes to the corner. All right! Dasha has been on AEW recently. That's right, she has been on AEW. But look at that! Cartwheel to a backflip. Did she just do, ladies and gentlemen? That is acrobatics at its best! She comes in through the middle rope. Leg sweep. See, that's a Russian leg sweep. That's it. She gave her a taste of her own medicine here. Oh. That was a close one. Russian Two and three sweep. quarters. Gave Masha the Russian dynamite. Russian, not Idaho. Russian dynamite, a taste of her own medicine. I don't think they have medicine in Idaho, man. Right? And she's going for the... For the, for the crab. She's going in the for Boston the Boston crab. crab, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the pain Dasha on Masha's face. Has Masha Slamovich in a Boston crab? Will Masha tap out? Really? No, she won't. Look at Are the you pain sure? on her face, though. Look at that. Oh, that is strength. That is it. upper body strength. She definitely got some core strength. I'll give her that. And the fans chanting, this is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. The fans are going ape bananas in here. Dasha trying to get, oh, look at a small package. Again, we want to give Lane Rosario all the credit she can. She's in there on every pinfall, having worked every match today in this 90-plus uh -oh. degree weather. I think I know what's coming. Here it is. The White white knight driver. Knight driver. This is oh, oh, she gets out of it. Reversal. Dasha reverses Dasha it. Taking advantage of the reversal, throwing Masha into the corner. Vinny, what do you think is going to happen here? I think here? she's choking over there. I didn't see that choke. Uh oh, she's coming. Dasha misses. Back spinning kick by Masha. Catches her. Oh, I think this is it. I think this is it, Rob. There White it is. Night drive. White Night Drive. Drive. Over. This has got to be over, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, and it's all over. I told you, Rob. I. Will always side with the Midwest. Masha I will concur with you. She does have the resilience of a Texan bull. She took on two other opponents earlier tonight in a triple threat. Those being uh, Kelsey Reagan. Yes, right. And she took on Chelsea Reagan, and she also took on Layla Gray. Yes.
uh, you know, a little bit closer to Sibyl, Tennessee, where we're running the show out here. And uh, the Squirrel Morton uh, fans came out, you know, for this one, and uh, we were glad to see them. I feel for both of these competitors because not only are they just dipping their toes into the world of professional wrestling, they're also the opening contest of the pre-show that is taking place at Flawless. Do you think that went into any of the nerves, knowing, okay, we're the first, you know, match that these fans are going to see for a new promotion? Uh, you know nerves had to play into it. I'm sure that it did, and, I'm, and, and you know, I'm sure that it is now. It's rich as the hard man. And, uh, you know, Raleigh Rocket's a fight. I don't know if you've watched her much, but... Uh, you know, a very, a very young worker, but also a very good one. Yeah, they said that, uh, I think the announcer said that she hails somewhere from in the universe. She has a cosmic concept about her. And it's interesting to see these women not only grabbing hold of the professional wrestling world, but also... Ooh, Smack, but also grabbing a hold of that hand because Envy just gave her that hand. Exactly right. And not an ounce of arm drag there. Right. 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 But you gotta think that Ricky taller than that. You gotta think that Ricky did. Uh, being trained by someone like Ricky Morton is definitely gonna come into play here. But uh, this is, again, a concept like Riley Rocket, a very cosmic person, that must weigh on him because she probably doesn't know where her opponent's going to come from with that back spring elbow right there. Nice back spring elbow and him kind of come Oh, another one. Yeah. Again, she's, Envy doesn't know what to expect out of this one. I think that's, I think that's where it's, I think that's where my, well, you know, this was a first time match with, you know, these, these two at these two had never met the Rangers. We see Mario uh, going to shoot into the corner now. You know, Ella, you know, Ella is, is, is young. She seems like she likes to, to joust with the crowd. And, uh, mm, mm. She, she seems like she enjoys eating those back elbows because probably Rocket, oh, Matrixed out of it. Ella Envy Matrixed out of it back mule kick since Riley walking to the ground and now this is the, her opportunity she needs to stay on the offense fact, not a very unorthodox maneuver there by Ella Envy and a kick to the back that seemed very painful with the tip of with, with the tip of the boot stiff kick there to the butt it looked like it was to the lower back the L4 mm. L5 oh dragging her down by her hair there man and uh we saw the head. ref there. The ref was even saying, you know, watch with the hair. Watch with the pulling of the hair. Referee Casey Dillon, you know, that, you know, again, we're going to make sure that, you know, we had someone call this one right down the middle and she shoots her in again. And, you know, at this point, Raleigh Rocket's probably thinking, uh, maybe I should have did a little bit more scout. Maybe. Maybe. But Envy is uh, taking opportunities here and... You can tell just by the skull on her face that she doesn't enjoy the crowd too much. She doesn't enjoy the severe crowd. Too much. No, she only seems to enjoy jousting back and forth with the crowd. But uh, she, she, it seems like she cares more about herself than she does than well, anyone else. And then and Riley again, almost lifeless with a big splash there by Envy. Riley almost lifeless there in the corner. Whenever Envy came out earlier on, she had the little microphone attached to her. It gave me this, like, 90s pop star vibe. Mm, double knees. Kind of like if Casey. Britney Spears was a villain. There you go. Uh, that's one Give way to look at it. She just rose her into the middle of the ring. Her in here one, two, two and a half. And right now, man, you know, it's like this. Ella's in the and But she doesn't need to take her eye off the ball there and be, uh, be arguing with the crowd. And, oh, Riley Rocket tried to dodge it. Came back up and just uh, just ate that second kick there. You know, at this point, Ella has been pretty much in control of most of this matchup. So we look for another one there. Two. And, man, you know... When you come out and you're starting in a preliminary bout, you know, it doesn't seem to be bothering Ella, though. It really doesn't. You know, they're treating this like it's the main event. Nice hold on. Ducks. 
ducks again. Other one. Oh man, I got enough of it, man. Face first into the face first into the corner. It was almost like Riley Rocket was still reeling from everything and could just barely pull off that head scissors, but it was enough to send it was enough to send Ella in the face first, which almost looks more painful. And you know, it's all about right now just getting back to our feet, finding that second win right now. Get to right Oh! You know, we, this could be it. It's a modified X Factor there, as uh, Envy went for another pin, but only a two count. Now she's arguing with the ref. This is not this is not a smart thing to do in the middle of a matchup. He's arguing with the ref to turn your back on your opponent, especially a opponent like Riley Walker. Not a smart thing to do at all. Just basically uh, just kicks her down though. I mean, for every little thing that she's done wrong, she seems to have to keep confronting me. But now she's losing herself, though. You saw whenever she got on top of Riley Rocket and just started throwing blows, the rep had to pull her off. She's getting emotional, which is something she can't do in a match against Riley Rocket. Because you see Riley Rocket there, that's what happens. When you take your eye off the ball and you get emotional, Riley Rocket has taken the opportunity. Big drop kick, another spinning kick. Riley Rocket hits the ropes. Sunset oh, flip. flip, one, two, kick out. By Envy, there. Just, just not enough. As both women make it to their feet once again, Envy goes for a clothesline. Riley dunks it. Boom! Modified double knee. Code breaker right maneuver. One, get this. two, three. Out of nowhere. set for cruiserweight action here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. There you see that is what the championship is all about as Miranda Alizé, yes, the current Hurricane Pro cruiserweight champion, the Lucha Batty, an intergender general defending her cruiserweight championship against the Serpent of Evil, Vipress, live here on Title Match Network. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sammy Kiss. Women's wrestling action has been a cornerstone here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling, but ever since Miranda Alizé captured the Cruiserweight Championship, she's become an intergender general, defending her championship against male competitor after male competitor, and has decided to now move that championship defense into the women's division as well. The cover here, I believe this is the first all-female Cruiserweight Championship matchup here at uh, Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Miranda Alizé going on almost a full year as the Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion. She sits as 330 days as the HPW Cruiserweight Champion. Has been a dominant force in the division since capturing that championship from Buku Dao last October. As putting on a technical display here against Vipress. Well, again, it's no slouch. Reversing that hold, forcing Miranda to get her foot on the bottom rope to break the hold. As the two will reset in this championship matchup here in Beaumont, Texas. Live from the home of Hurricane Pro Wrestling, the Ford Park. 
Thank you all for joining us here live and those joining us on Title Match Network. The best professional wrestling you will find is here on Title Match Network. Nice standing switch from Miranda Alize. Back and forth we go. And there's the head scissors from the Lucha Batty, but Viper is rolling out of it. Goes for a clothesline. Miranda catches her. Now going for Wilbarrow. Almost for a Casadora, but again, Vipress still made out of it. Oh, tilt a whirl into an arm drag. And Miranda takes it to the corner. Thought she would take it easy, but there's a drop kick from the Vipress. Catching the champion off guard. Here's our first cover. Got a two count. Man, two Vip Vipress really. Caught the champion off guard with that drop kick in the corner. Miranda Alize, one of the toughest women's competitors in professional wrestling today. She made it all the way to the finals of the Ring of Honor Women's Championship Tournament recently and has been a fighting champion here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And now Viper's digging her foot right into the throat of Miranda in the corner. The serpent of evil. A Disney villain come to life is Vipress. Again, using that flexibility and foot right into the throat in the corner again. It's been nonstop offense from Vipress. It's been catching her in that corner. And throwing that arm into the ring. And then again, throwing the hand, the fingers. Miranda Alize is going to make it hard for Miranda's ascension. Miranda writes that submission hold that she's won so many of her matchups with that she has no use of her left arm or her left hand. Smart strategy from the Vipress while scouting this champion. Here. What do you say? No. Now, from our vantage point, it looks like maybe a hammer lock going into an arm bar lock with the bridge, exiting that little bit of extra momentum, that force leverage into the arm. And now he's another cover. The far leg, Miranda Alize able to kick out. And Viper's catching her off guard with that kick and now throwing the champion to the outside. Stopping all the momentum that Miranda was trying to catch there, but of course the Vipers cannot win that championship on the outside. She's got to get her back in the ring here. I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Someone had a championship belt on the outside there. Big chop from these two women on the outside of the referee line and allow this go, but he's got his count going. These two women have got to get back in the ring. Headbutt from Miranda. Referee's count is up to four. Five now. I gotta say Miranda Alize is used to fighting from underneath. But since she's won the Cruiserweight Championship, she's been tangling with many of the male superstars here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling who typically seem to underestimate Miranda Alize, who again is one of the fiercest competitors. But the Vipress, conversely here tonight, seems to have well scouted her opponent, had a game plan, and has had a strategy here. Another cover again from Vipress. Clearly focusing on the strengths and the weaknesses of Miranda Alize, keeping her grounded. Now picking her up into a fireman carry. Oh, Miranda gets out of it into a backstabber, great separation. And you see the anguish on the face of Vipress. But the champion, Miranda Alize, the Lucha Batty, has taken so much of a beating so far, she cannot capitalize on it. Both women are down. Reverie's count is up to seven. And both women buck up, back up to their feet. And now blow for blow, exchanging strikes in the center of the ring. And here comes that fire of superstar Miranda Alize whipping Vipers into the corner. And now you see the expression, the attitude changed Miranda. That focus 
that tenacity, and there's a drop kick from Miranda to boot. How does Vipress like it? Double or underhook to a suplex. Hooks the near leg as the champion and got a two count for it. And some applause from the champion respect to the efforts of Vipers. I mean, how can you not be impressed with how Vipers has performed here tonight against a superstar of the caliber of the Lucha Bat. He's now setting her up. Oh, but Vipers catches her. To an Alabama slam. Planting the champion, setting her up. Twisting neck breaker, and that is it, says Vipress. Are we gonna see a new champion? No, Miranda got her shoulder up at the last possible moment. Now Vipress throwing Miranda's face head first in that top turnbuckle. Now taking things up a notch in this contest, grabbing Miranda by the hair. Let's see where she's going. Oh, we might never find out. Viper's falling. Stuck in the corner on that middle rope. Oh, Miranda's got her by the head. Oh, drops her with the DDT. Hangman DDT out of the corner. Miranda very smartly drags her to the center of the ring away from the ropes. But again, even with both legs hooked, Viper's able to kick out. I am very impressed with the Serpent of Evil showing how much she wants to become the new Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. Vipers drops it out with a knee right to the side. The temple of Miranda Alizé looks like she was knocked loopy. Referee almost out of position. Cover got a two count. Miranda almost in the ropes there. Back and forth we go. Viper saying this is it. Miranda going for the cutter, and she hits it! And Miranda has her set up for the whizzing, Vipers to the center of the ring, and this time that's it! way to start a tag team contest and no longer is your majesty Jennifer Cruz alongside me we have Jana the lovely Jana the WSU Hall of Famer hello 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 
way. Well, it's good to see you here back in WSU. I know under you new management, it's great to see you at full steam ahead. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. It looks like it's, you know, so far with the show, it's, you know, like the, like the name is, full speed ahead, you know. We're going full speed, nothing's stopping at WSU from doing what it does, and that's probably the best in women's wrestling. Absolutely, that's absolutely true. You know, and right now we got a big tag team in attraction. You know, you know, Annie Social and Kimberly really wanted to have this be a WSU tag team championship match, but due to the fact they really haven't had a chance to move up the rankings, such to get a championship match, WSU management told them the petition. The petition was unsuccessful, believe it or not. And now Annie Social and Kimberly, they are looking to gain themselves a tag team opportunity the hard way. And look at that double team continuity there. From Kimberly and Annie Social, nice drop kick from the top, and now here comes Sassy Stephanie. You know, I've, I've had a chance to face the Midwest Militia. Unfortunately, I wasn't as successful as I would have liked to have been, you know, me and Latasha, but you know, they are, they're an excellent tag team. They know what they're doing. They know who they are as a tag team. So, you know, you know, Kimberly and um, Andy Social really have their work cut out for them. Absolutely. You know, you had the tag team championships at the fifth anniversary show. You won them for a mere matter of moments. And it seemed the Midwest Militia cashed in on their number one contendership very quickly. The WC management at the time allowed it. And you guys lost the WSU tag team championships and then lost a return match a few months later. Yeah. It it's one of those things where you're kind of put in a situation where, unfortunately, you know, the cards aren't decked, you know, stacked in your favor, and, you know, they, they took advantage of, of a situation that, you know, I kind of have to respect them for doing. Because, you know, you have to take, adva take advantage of every situation you can. This is not, you know, a ballet. <laughs> Absolutely, that's true. But meanwhile, the Midwest Militia look like they're having problems against the team of Annie Social and Kimberly. Social, the double clothesline, taking down the champions. Again, if they defeat the champions here in a non-title match at full steam ahead, I can basically guarantee they might be in contention sooner than later for a WSU Tag Team Championship match. Now, you know, Jan, I do want to ask you one thing while I have you here, you know. It seems like you've been on, you've been stressed out, it seems, as of late in WSU. Jennifer Cruz really has your number. I have to ask you, what's your mindset right now? My mindset is, you know, basically to do everything I can to make her life a living hell. Because that's what she's done to me for the past, what, year? Yes, yeah, absolutely. You know, ever since the king and queen, I believe, when you hurt your shoulder, and then she she cheated the win. Yeah, that I mean that put me out for a little bit, but you know what? She 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 wants to sit there and say, "Oh, I'm undefeated for 2012." That doesn't mean anything. Well, and unfortunately, uh, that kick meant yeah, a lot. Yeah, social. It definitely did. Social got kicked extremely hard right in the midsection with that kick. It was vicious in its delivery. Yeah. Oh. 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 Ow. Alice and Kay really digging in with those AK-47 oh, Referees letting a lot of leeway go, especially with the militia. You want to tag team three? There you go. Alice and Kay is relentless. I have, I have a really bad feeling that if they keep pushing Kimberly, she's not going to, you know, let herself be restrained too much longer. She, because this, you can't, you know, when you're dealing with your partner, that's, you know, that you travel together, you train together, you strategize together, that's almost like family. You can't. You Allison Cage, you're unrelentless with those strikes to the back. Only two, says referee Johnny Q. But this matchup continues regardless. Allison K, you know, the AK 47, the pupil of Jessica Adams, we alluded to earlier, but. She truly has learned a viciousness and evil nature. Oh. Of Jessica Havoc, but this is coming into a serious situation here. Any social couldn't even run and make it across the rope. Social's getting kicked extremely hard. Yeah, when it's your stomach, you have no ability. You can't breathe, you oh. can't move. But there's the heart of social there kicking out at the last possible second. Kimberly stuck on the apron. She can't even get in the ring. Really just laying in those strikes to the back. Shot to the back again from Sassy Stephanie. You know, the Midwest Militia, when it, once they focus on a little body part or an injury, they will attack it like a piranha in the fish tank, Jana. Yeah, they stay on, they stay on it, and that's, 
you know, that is you know, one of the best strategies to do is to, once you find that weak point, you stay on and stay on and stay on and you break it down. And that's what they're doing. So I can't, you know, as much as they're not my favorite people, I can't really, I can't really blame them. They're the champions. They have the titles. They can, you know, it, you're absolutely right. You can't fault their factions. They are the champions for a reason. You know, and, and it's up in if they, if Annie and, and Kimberly want that, that opportunity to become tag champs, they have to really fight for it. So, Absolutely. And they're not going to make it easy for them. Oh, and at the last possible second, Social dropping with a split, split-legged face buster. Can Social get to that corner and make a tag? Can she do it? He's a tag to Allison K. Can Social get there? Oh, Social makes a tag, but here comes Kimberly. Split-legged jaw checker. Into Gure. Kimberly, the proverbial house of fire. Whoa! High and tight on that German suplex. Only two. That was close. I mean, Kimberly's been waiting for a long, long time. She's got a lot of aggression built up, and I think she's going to put it out on them right now. Here we go. Kimberly climbing to the high risk district, risk or reward. Oh, wait a minute, Some, Kimberly just landed hard, high and tight on that left knee. She landed high and tight on that left knee. Wait a minute. Oh, kiss by Sass to Annie Social. Well, Social is not the legal woman. Kimberly. The rest gotta get them off her. I have just been informed by referee Johnny Q that Kimberly is unable to continue. Therefore, this match has been thrown out. Well, this match has been thrown out by, as I was told by referee Johnny Q, this match has been thrown out. Kimberly might have really, she might have definitely, definitely tweaked some, that more than tweaked something in that left. She can't even put any pressure on it. Yeah, when, when you're dealing with the injury. Oh! Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? You know, it takes a lot for a referee to actually decide to stop a match due to injury. Wow! For them to do that, you know, that shows that they have no sense of respect for their opponents. It's just... Unbelievable. This is getting to be... That, did you see that kick? That was unnecessary. Un I, I'm speechless on that, on that fact. I am speechless. Spe the Midwest militia should be damn near ashamed of what just transpired. Unbelievable. There's Unbelievable. People don't forget to shit your fucking mind. Now she's going into this match after having been attacked. Uh oh, no, Ma Masha Slamovich starting this match hot, diving it out of the ring, taking it out the mother effing king. Masha wasting no time here, even before the bell even rings. Clocking Kylan King is Masha Slamovich, but Slam Slamovich now on the receiving end from Kylan. This looks sort of like the absolute brawl that erupted at the end of Battle of the Throne. Masha's ready to take the fight to Kylan King, and the bell hasn't even rung yet. Oh, what a kick. Masha Slamovich absolutely teeing off on King, but King slamming Slamovich into the barricades, tossing her opponent back into the ring. King, so noble, wants to start this match. And it looks like we've got an official matchup here in the ring at CCW. We've got a brawl right out of the gate here. 
blow with a knee to the rib cage of King, driving the air out of the lungs early on in this match. Slambage wants to waste no time on her main course. The up drop toe hold from Kylan King. Favor to the ribs of Slambage and a huge shot to the jaw. King looking to cover. Not enough to keep Slamovich down. I mean, Russian Dynamite, you think about the, the training of Slamovich, trained in Japan under Chibusa Nagayo, but certainly some incredible training from Kylan King as well into the Dudley Boys. Dustin Starr, Billy Gunn. Oh, but now up on the shoulders is Slamovich. Kylan King looking for somewhere to go to break the hold. A sacrifice maneuver, but it is effective. Tossing herself out of the ring to dislodge Masha Slamovich from the midsection. These two competitors are going on an all-out war here. Definitely two very trained and skilled performers bringing the fight right out of the gate here. And both with some incredible, I would say, deadly striking ability. Masha is someone that is so known for leaving it all out there devastating her opponents. At this point, you wonder if it's even about winning or if it's just about hurting Kylan King. I mean, Masha Slamovich is the inaugural Combat Fight United champion, so she's definitely one who is no stranger to bringing the strikes and bringing the inevitable power to Kylan King. But no also, str Kylan no stranger King, to no stranger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kylan King with a huge chop to Slamovich. Slamovich able to create a bit of separation. Firing off again on King. Attacking back on the midsection once more, but Slamovich now looking at Kylan King with a full head of steam. Barrels toward, oh! Clipped by the elbow. A lot of back and forth action here as both competitors are, are really trying to get that power gained, but no one can really keep it for a long period of time. They've got a real power struggle going on here. Oh my gosh, and speaking of struggle, I think Slam is just going to be struggling if she wants to keep going in this match. Just barely. Ella J, you got to wonder if you're Masha Slamovich, is it a little disorienting to find yourself on the receiving end? of devastation like this. I think Masha Slamovich might have underestimated Kylan King just a little bit. I mean, Masha's definitely a big threat to this tournament herself, but Kylan King is the mother effing king for a reason. The mother effing king wants a mother effing crown here at CCW. Propping up Slamovich up on the top turnbuckle, Kylan King, it's that she understands Masha's mindset. The two are very similar. They're both strong competitors. And Slamovich wants to make a statement here at CCW as she is just unrelenting with headbutts on Kylan King. King down on the mat. Slamovich, what does Russian Dynamite have in mind? Huge initial drop kick from the top turnbuckle and both of our competitors laid out. Moments were lost. Masha Slamovich could have opted for a cover, but now driving Kylan King down to the mat, slam, oh my goodness, unceremoniously dragging Kylan King down to the mat to cover. Ella J, this is anybody's game, Kylan King is still fighting. Kylan King has six years of MMA experience to back her up, like I said, Mosh is the inaugural CFU champion, but Kylan definitely has many years of martial arts experience herself here. You were absolutely right about that, Ella J, and I think that Masha Slamovich would be hard pressed to find a, a competitor in this competition that can give her a fight like Kylan King in this very moment. These two are so incredibly matched as athletes, as fighters, as absolute warriors here in the ring. Kylan King lifting Slamovich, Slamovich going behind, reverses and a big release German suplex to the King. Big German right there. Who's gonna gain the momentum here though? to maintain, but tit for tat, go these two competitors, anything you can do, I can do better. Frustrations mounting as Kylan King drags Masha to the center, hooking the leg, looking to advance. Just Lambage will not give her the satisfaction. 
No, these two competitors definitely love the fight, and you can see Kylan King is de is ready to take over and gain the pinfall from here. Now, tossing slamage back, slamage lands on her feet. Huge kick and a question mark to the king. King able to duck and kingdom falls. Kylan King looking for the cover on Masha Slam, which has been enough to put Russian Dynamite away. It is! Wow, what a match between two of the most powerhouse and strong competitors in this entire tournament. From the graveyards of Tijuana, Mexico, La Meta Meta, Thunder Rosa! And introducing her opponents from Waterbury, Connecticut, she is the Latina sensation, Mercedes Martinez. Neither one of the resumes of these two female athletes needs to be reproduced for our fans at home, but we will be talking about it as the night goes on. If you are a fan of Title Match Network, you know all about Thunder Rosa, and we start there. She made her Ladies Night Out debut roughly a year ago and has been a tremendous ambassador for that brand. Oh, wait a minute here. Olay. A bit of show womanship there. lock up and the matchup begins. If I were a betting man, I would say early on, both of them will be testing each other. Thunder Rosa, Thunder Rosa there with a little bit of gamesmanship as well. Think about the titles that Mercedes Martinez has held across the United States. What she has done as an ambassador for Shine. No stranger to the extreme with CCW. The history that IWA Mid-South brings to the table and what she's been a part of there. Worked at Shimmer as well. A lot of people were surprised by the result of her in the Mae Young Classic. Don't let that take away from everything that she brings to the table. Thunder Rosa here. This is her game. She is cerebral. As much as she loves to play games inside the ring, she also will isolate a body part if she can, find an advantage where she can, pick her spot, work at it, and exploit it. So look for that early on. Still to come here tonight, 17-year-old sensation, fresh off her Greyhound bus, will be here taking on Priscilla Kelly. And that, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, that tells you the passion that the women have to be on this card here tonight, pin attempt, kick out of two, is that they will do whatever it takes to be here at Queens of the Ring, to perform in front of the audience here on Title Match Network and here live at Ford Park for Hurricane Pro. There is a true revolution going on in professional wrestling today, and it really starts with the women's revolution. And that is what is on display here live on Title Match. 
Also interested to see what Hyon and Amber Nova bring to the table here tonight with the Sabotage Women's Championship hanging in the balance. It has been a story 2019 for Hyon, including her tour in Japan, that we'll unpack later on here tonight. And now it's Mercedes Martinez on top. Trying to separate that neck from the shoulders. So many similarities between these two in their style. An attempt here again. And their journey as well to the top in professional wrestling. In a lot of ways like wrestling in a mirror. Rosa cinching in that single leg crab. Reversal here, one, barely a one count. Thunder Rosa, great ring awareness, slips under the bottom rope. ways this is oh my here we go again I, I have a feeling she's trying to uh, unduly influence the official there in a lot of ways this kind of feels like that diner scene from heat between but De Niro and Pacino you know Breaking the fourth wall, two athletes, two competitors and performers, warriors that both know each other very well, but have never really shared a squared circle together. And here they are tonight, both wanting the same thing and both knowing they've got to go through each other to get it. Mercedes there, double leg crab. here, but I do not believe that would count as a pin attempt was under the rope. And now look at this, an ankle lock. Seeing some unique offense here from Thunder Rosa. Back to a vertical base, both reassessing the situation. Well, this is Queens of the Ring, not Dancing with the Stars, but I won't complain. Perfect 10. Mercedes Martinez just told Thunder Rosa to get to stepping right out of Ford Park. What a right hand, a haymaker that puts an end to the dance off. I doubt either one of these will be taking the other one to prom later. Oh. 
in attempt to end it here. And I would have to go out on a limb here and say that uh, Thunder Rosa's dance off and the other things that she's attempted here tonight in terms of gamesmanship and to get it to Mercedes Martinez's head has not worked. What a painful submission hold Thunder Rosa has found herself in now. Thunder Rosa asking her, how do you like it? Face planning her in the mat here, and now she looks like she's gonna rock the baby to sleep. Oh! One, two, look out again. Despite all the games inside the ring, it has been a methodical pace from both of these two. And make no mistake about it, they will, at some point, kick it into another gear, and it looks like Thunder Rosa may be heading there now. These are two wily veterans. They know exactly what they're doing inside the squared circle. Perfectly executed drop kick there to the stomach from Thunder Rosa. She could have gone to the head, but she knocked the wind right out of Martinez. of steam there in the corner. Usain Bolt, she is not. Martinez coming back. Big boot to the face right there. Head of steam again. Slides into home and could be sliding into a victory. Thunder Rosa kicks out at two. And I think she's starting to reconsider whether or not coming here tonight was a good idea. Martinez now has taken control. Night where we will see two titles defended. Don't forget that Ladies Night Out 7 is right around the corner. It's August the 17th, and it will be streamed live on Title Match Network. And we invite you to check it out. It will be the biggest, baddest, and best Ladies Night Out yet as they continue to push the envelope. And of course, check out, after tonight of course, the brand new Ladies Night Out Underground series on Title Match Network as well. Telegraphs that face first to the corner. Nothing that Thunder Rosa can do about it. Oh my goodness! A thudding shot in the corner there. Abusing the sternum of Mercedes Martinez. And I told you a minute ago, these two were gonna kick it into another gear, and here we go. Make no mistake about it. Snap Mare over the top. One, two, kick out from Martinez. Under Rosa, in many ways, a, a, a godmother of Ladies Night Out. And although her record may not show it, you look at what she's done at Ladies Night Out, she is a tremendous competitor. She has pushed so many young talents to the limit. Face first here, Martinez trying to finish it off and hit the showers. That close, but not close enough, two and a half. For those of you joining us here tonight, a full recap and an inside look, an exclusive look into Queens of the Ring will be available tomorrow at flagsports.com. We're gonna take you behind the scenes and give you an up close and personal view of what you're seeing here tonight live at Ford Park.
Sunset flip and over the top there with a cross body. Both these women understand that this is a marathon, not a sprint. With no time limit on this matchup, they can take it to the next level when they are good and ready. And I believe Thunder Rosa thinks that time is now. Martinez was just a step ahead early, but as this matchup starts to head into deep water, you are seeing Thunder Rosa establish herself. Wasted motion there. Rolls through, sprints into the corner. And a thudding blow to the back. Rolls her up, rolls up both legs there. Looks for the accordion pin. Martinez kicks out yet again, and Thunder Rosa has some frustration written on her face. Women's Revolution on full display here tonight. Trap suplex. Maximum impact, but will it be enough to keep Thunder Rosa down? Now she kicks out. Get the sense that these two can go all night and do this. Two remarkable talents. Two leaders who, frankly, could be on the Rushmore of women's wrestling right now. Ooh! Knife edge chop that rings out here. Martinez comes in, misses the mark. Thunder Rosa flying Lariat into the corner here. Over the top, swing set. Double knees right there. And this could be it. Thunder Rosa now. Cannonball in the corner. What a drop kick, what a vicious drop kick. And Martinez, the momentum of that, her equilibrium being shifted from inside to outside of the squared circle. I don't think it was a conscious decision for her to get the hell out of Dodge. She was kicked out of the ring there by Thunder Rosa. Cannonball onto the floor, onto that exposed concrete here at the Ford Park Exhibition Hall. There's no soft landing outside of that ring. Now up in the high rent district here. This is a very dangerous place for Thunder Rosa to be right now. As I stated before, that is a concrete floor that awaits the loser of this scenario. This is a very dangerous situation here. Thunder Rosa now in the 500 level. Martinez trying to turn it around, oh my God! A power bomb on the ring apron that will rearrange vertebrae, no question about it. That is the hardest part of the ring. There is wood and exposed steel under that canvas. And I think it's safe to say the official could just count to 10 right now. There is absolutely no way that Thunder Rosa or any other human being for that matter is going to get up after that. When Martinez breaks the count. She is not done inflicting maximum damage on Thunder Rosa yet. It is written all over her face and she tries to fight back here. The vestiges of war. And you are seeing it on display. Face first, face first. Miss the post, but hit the guardrail. Martinez breaks the count yet again. She has dangerous things on her mind. Like sandwiching Thunder Rosa's head between steel and kneecap. Go. 
I want to remind everybody at home, this is not a no disqualification match. Martinez has gone far beyond the rules here at this point. One, two. How in the living hell did Thunder Rosa kick out there? Terrible here inside cradle. Inside cradle, you know that back injury prevented her from being able to hold it for a three here. Another pin attempt here for Thunder Rosa once again. She is standing at this point after that power bomb on the ring apron. Is a question that I am not suited to answer. Looking for a swinging DDT off the top rope. Martinez with a snap suplex. Hangs on here. Shades of the late great Eddie Guerrero. Hangs on one more time. She's looking for the trifecta. Oh, Thunder Rosa reversal into a DDT. A devastating DDT that spikes Martinez right on the top of her head. What an exhibition between these two warriors here at Queen to the Ring. Rolls her up with everything she has left, too. Martinez again, spectacular ring awareness and the match continues. The pain and the disbelief written all over the face of Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa really wanted this match up here tonight because she had to know. Can she take it to the next level? Can she beat Mercedes Martinez? Oh, she got it. Center of the ring here. Center of the ring. Looking to put it away. And you can see the pain, the anguish written all over the face of Thunder Rosa. This is hurting her as much as it is Martinez with that back injury she sustained earlier. Sacrificing her own mind, body, and soul right here just to try and get a victory. Oh my goodness! A spine buster, center of the ring, folds her up! Thought for sure that would have been a three count. Thunder Rosa is digging down deep and showing us the type of intestinal fortitude that we have not seen before. Tried to telegraph it here. She gets perched up on the balcony. Jumping European uppercut out of desperation there from Thunder Rosa. Didn't get all of it, but got enough. And now look at this once again. Back to the high rent district. High risk last time had a devastating effect to Thunder Rosa. And it does not work out yet again. She continues to go to the well and lose. Fisherman suplex. Be dead weight at this point. Code breaker to the face. Flying knee to the face. Rose out of desperation and now look at her again climbing up to the nosebleed section for the third time here tonight. Eats a fist right to the jaw. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh no, Martinez has Thunder Rosa up top in a fireman's carry. Oh no, oh my goodness, come on! A sit out Death Valley driver from the top rope. That has got to be all. Martinez still can't put her away. Somehow, some way, the match continues.
Thunder Rosa has been treated like a human crash test dummy in this matchup, and yet she refuses to stay down for the three count. Back up to the high rent district again this time she got it Herna Carana Oh my goodness this matchup what a dangerous affair it has been a drop kick with authority she hit the turbo button on that one And now Rosa high rent again this time, will the check cash it does. That's gotta be all. Kuda brought in the back. Make it so, it's a three count. Here is your winner, Thunder Rosa. What a spectacular, spectacular performance by both of these female athletes here tonight. But when it was over, when the streamers hit the ring, your winner, the woman who continues to take that next step to the top in women's professional wrestling.